because we're not in control of the outcome. We're only in control of what we think, feel, and do and don't do. Coordination and loitering on any one of my property that I may not, that I may or may not own, that you may be trespassing on. See how easy it was for me to just completely remove you? Right. And it is. It's it was easy for you to remove me, but not to rebut or rebuke me. That's the difference. It's absolutely insane. So what I'm imploring my people to do, and when I say my people, I'm not even talking about just black people. I'm talking Anton about is very people stoic, that rock with me based said. off of the content of their character and not necessarily the color of their skin. What I'm imploring, imploring my people to do is think. Think. Assess what it is that you're dealing with. Let them say dumb stuff that then make them look like a whole fool. He had a whole story that he thought that he had about me going into court and getting divorced. And I'm like, who is he talking about? I'm talking about you. You think that marriage is being with one woman successfully and not telling anybody else what I know about you, that you won't be real with your woman about. Or if you are, you need pre or post nuptial agreements because you don't trust that woman you live with and she don't trust you because neither of you stands for nothing. You're both comfortable hoes and bag chasers. And she's overly masculine just by one image I saw of her because she's got a shaved sides haircut and a mohawk. So you're basically in bed with another little boy. And that's why you got on a broadcast last night, went on a whole rant for 10 minutes about a woman looking like a whole man in the bed and how it shouldn't be like that and how women should really enjoy sex with their partner. They should really get into it. If a man's going to pay for everything, a woman should at least have to do her service and fuck you and enjoy it. You can't figure out where that's all coming from because that woman you're with doesn't enjoy you. She's not into you because you don't stand for nothing. You don't really activate her. All you got is comfortable lifestyle. And that's all she is, is just like you, a comfortable hoe and a bag chaser. She's not a principled woman. She's not a high value woman. You're not a high value man. You just have high value ticketed items. That's the difference. Stoic Anton, as you like to say. Who? Who wife is, is divorcing and taking half? How he know what my paperwork look like within my marriage? How he know what me and Rita got going on with our lawyers? Because it's all the same. H H Harpo, how? How do you, how could you possibly? I don't know, but I can make a pretty good uh, presumption based on what I've seen generally. And that at best you have a provisional business relationship where you don't really enjoy each other. You're not really into each other. And that's why you spend your whole day bag chasing because you don't really have love in your life. You have that fake love shit, the same shit you put forth on your broadcast to try to pimp and mac and convince people you're a loving, godly, responsible, accountable man. We know what's in our our paperwork as far as to determine how, how it is that we rocking out. You don't know what I got. You don't know if I got a post nuptial agreement. You have no clue whatsoever. Right. Right. So you probably do have a post nuptial agreement because after you got to that bag you've been chasing, you got to that woman real quick. You went to chase the bag. Then you chased that woman down and said, hey, sign here, baby girl, because I can't trust your hoe ass just like you can't trust me. And we know that inherently in most of these modern day relationships. So sign here because I don't want you taking half my shit. So whether she's going to be able to or not doesn't really matter. She's going to want to uh, because she doesn't really trust you and doesn't have security in her life. And she's going to find another bozo to come up on and take care of her and be her daddy, but not fuck him because she ain't into him. How? But this is the state of how things are today. This is exactly what I keep trying to tell y'all. This is what, when, when they start failing, right? When, when people start losing egregiously. And let's be honest, this false strength presentment of being a high value, powerful, successful male, it's all a front for somebody who didn't have a real man in their life, who was probably raised by a woman and has that spirit of their mama in them. That's why typically in these homes, these African-American homes, when they are married or in a relationship, the woman is usually more masculine. And that's why she's got that haircut. And I bet you if I talk to her, she thinks and acts just like you. That's why you think she's the perfect mate. Okay. So you got that spirit of your mama in you. She's got that uh, toxic Jezebel Harlot spirit in her, and it's pretty much one and the same. 
You know, it can tend to look like masculinity in women. It can tend to look like femininity in men. So next you're gonna, uh, you're gonna attack my voice, dude, just because I talk up here, Paulie. Yeah, what's a, what what's going on with all the heat? Oh no, Pineal Pie. He don't know what me and my woman's up to. Oh, you mean me up here? I'm talking up here, and you're all down here like this. What's that about, man? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's like all the fucking skin cream he rubs on himself. Maybe it has like some estrogen in it. Um, you know, maybe something about, again, that spirit of his mama in him, where he wants to pretend to be monogamous and only love and be attracted to one woman. Uh, and then we'll, we don't know what goes on behind the scenes, but we know how they talk on panel. And I don't know, something doesn't add up, especially what I know about me and typically other men. And what I know about the Bible, which is it says seven wives. So there must be a reason for that, Anton, the scripture quoter. Right? I don't think you'll ever have that problem because you'd be lucky to find one masculine bag chasing, comfortable hoe to deal with you for 19 years, let alone you're going to find uh, five or six more. You know, what high value woman uh, is going to want to have to not only deal with you, uh, but deal with another woman like you and like her in that type of lifestyle and situation, doesn't matter how many comforts you give them, they're always lacking peace and love and care and fulfillment and freedom and personal choice. It's all an ego power struggle, uh, ego power struggle day in and day out is what I see in most of these relationships. Unless they finally come to terms one day where, hey, you know, we're not in love with each other, but we don't really love and care for each other. This is a business provisional relationship. We're going to get to a bag together and we're going to do our thing on the side and not really tell nobody out in the public which I suspect it either is that or is going to get to that if it hasn't already after 19 years. It's not hard to tell, especially when every other rant you do of stream of consciousness is right out of the subconscious with you, right out of how you're not, men are not fulfilled with their woman. The woman look like a whole man. She don't enjoy the sex, blah, blah, blah. You ain't talking about men and women. Typically you're talking about your relationship, but you won't do it directly. So I'll do it for you because I see it in all of your relationships and I don't see it in mine. The number one thing that you're going to see them do, and this is the biggest red flag, guys, is they're going to start saying, well, God told me. I never said that. God told me. I never said God told me nothing. I don't hear voices. You might want to listen better. I said the spirit moves with me or within me, uh, and it leads me to do certain things at times, my intuition, my instinct. And it turns out every time after the fact, no matter how crazy it looked or weird it looked or uh, sort of improbable the outcome looked, something happens and I and others become better for it. So that is true spiritual faith as far as I see it. God don't tell me nothing. I might get shown some things at times. I might see an image or a flash. I might get a, a what they call a download, I guess you could say, where I just seem to know some things that maybe I should know. And then I see it play out and go, okay, that's something beyond just me as a body, right? I told you to come up here lean to your own own understanding and then make a whole fool all whole fool out of yourself you could have just went away no nah, you could have just disappeared what fun is that anton i tell you i willingly play the fool you folks come on and try to be serious and real and uh, get to a bag and you wind up unwillingly making a fool of yourself so i don't mind if that is the case i willingly play the fool you unwillingly do it one of us is in a control power position at least within ourselves the other one is feigning power and control and strength for presentment. In no way, shape, or form, even with regard to your teeth, I'm better than you. My teeth are cleaner than yours. They're whiter than yours. <laughs> Boy, you ran up on the wrong one today. You ran up on the wrong. And now he's trying to compare of where he going to possibly be for what it is that I've already achieved. Just goes to show you. It just goes to show you just because they white or just because they got freckles does not mean that they better than you. And you don't even have to stoop down at a level sometimes. Sometimes just let them talk themselves into a corner. Who are these broke, poor, insecure, fearful, divided African-Americans and other folks he's talking to exactly, pimping on? 
who walk around every day feeling less than for somebody who has freckles, right? Just because just because somebody got white skin and freckles don't mean they better than you. Who, what world did you grow up in? Because I grew up in a world where we all dealt with each other. You keep saying content and character, but who are these people walking around all day, every day who think I'm better than them because of the way I look and how I present? Uh, maybe you have some insecurities that you, you're dealing with because the majority of us, I haven't seen that. What's real is real, right? Real recognize real. It don't matter the color even where you go. I've gone all over the world at certain times and certain people who are real and authentic and genuine, they respect me and they resonate with me. So nobody's looking at anybody going, this person's better than me because they have X, Y, Z. You do that, Anton. And you're revealing that. And your audience probably does that. That's why they're attracted to you. Let them talk themselves into a corner. This man is smoking, smoking. Uh, <laughs> he's smoking dirt. Reggie, as he says, smoking Reggie. He's smoking Reggie. Right. This dude was in a car. <laughs> that's been funny. That's he, been funny for the last smoking Reggie. decades, by the way, Anton. That's trying hilarious. to tell me about how it was that I'm in family court. And it's like laughable. Like, you know. The, the, the reefer that I use is some of the highest quality because it's grown properly. So what would you know about smoking dirt versus smoking real cannabis when it's only motherfuckers on the land or who know motherfuckers on the land who even get good cannabis anyway, just like the Jamaicans. So you could sit here, tell me all about how I smoke Reggie's and try to do ego high school competition games. That's cute for all your little young hip hop douchebag viewers. Uh, but real folks know the deal, right? Doesn't work like that. You smoke that shit full of chemicals and pesticides that rips your throat up. Since when? Since when? Bro, you smoking Reggie. You was just homeless. You was you you yeah. just got out of jail. You got arrested the other day. Why would we even got arrested this the other person? day? All right, Ty. The only reason that I'm that I that I let him on a platform is because I had to make an example out of him. Right. It wasn't enough that I had to put him on a summer jam screen on a million. I'm so show. thankful he made an example out of now me. Now we had to make a real example out of him. And then he tried to stun on me by talking about how much he got in, how much he made at the top of his game. <laughs> you know who I well, Anton, I didn't try to stun on you. I said that I didn't have to sell my soul to get to something and whatever I got to is nothing for you because you wake way more, but I didn't have to be a house slave, quite the opposite to get to it and everything else. Viewers going viral with five, 10 million views on a video, all the experiences everybody says they want and need. I didn't have to be a slave and sell my soul and pretend to be somebody to do it. I did the opposite. So I get to something you don't get to. It's not about the fiat. I don't need to stunt with that. I can't stunt with that. You could give me a billion dollars if I have to be a hoe and a house slave and sell my soul. It don't mean nothing to me. That's the difference between us. I wouldn't rub skin cream on my face and tell men to go order a customized box and get 30% off for bag chasing like you do every morning. I wouldn't do that for a billion fucking dollars. Because I have to live with myself at the end of the day. That's the difference between me and you. You're a hoe. I am. You know how in, in, you know how crazy my accounts are and what my assets are? You know how much God loved me? Anyways, um, anybody else want to come up on the panel? The, 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 <laughs> the link is pinned to the top of the chat. Uh, you're more than welcome to be able to come up. Marriage politics and sports says there isn't anything to disagree with. Uh, on point again, Anton. Shout out to you. Uh, also says Anton. Derek Jackson is still getting the bag from the hyenas. Don't feel sorry for. Well, let's get to it. So Talcott and Scott come up at some point. Yeah, here we go. Talcott couldn't stay away. He had to. He had to keep going and then suck Anton's dick to try to work with him. And pretty much insult me and then say at the end, Anton, I agree with everything you just said. And he pretty much three quarters of it was shitting on me. Hey, I don't want to speak for anyone but myself. No, Jack, you wrote a whole letter in my email for him. He, he said that God, God used you to get in contact with me.
Right. So Talcott will use my name in order to get into the conversation. Then once he's in the conversation with Anton, he wants to leave me out of it, not defend me or the truth and say he's only speaking for himself and what he wants to do with Anton. Right. That's the point. Need to give him more visibility. That's what he said. It can, you know, the facts can indicate that. I mean, here, I, I mentioned that myself and you brought it up as, as a, um, I understand how the appearance can seem, but I'm telling you, man. This man is smoking Reggie in the car with his chick, possibly about to get arrested. Right. And uh, regularly going to jail. Talking right, I'm smoking Reggie in the car with my chick, about to get arrested, and I'm going to pop out that motherfucker like you've never seen before and come out your bitch ass all over again. That's what the fuck I'm known for. And about money. He didn't come up here to have a civil conversation. He came up here to try to stunt and hold me accountable. I I saw what happened and I saw you how you dealt with it and I admire that. I admire the way you you maintained your own control and control of the experience. I respect that. And before I before I tried to reconnect, I was considering I was going to send you an email anyway. Okay? <laughs> So to try and better explain, because it is faith. It is faith that I'm following. Um, the Live Without Fear was inspired by spiritual. I got to take that off now, because that wasn't the interaction that I thought that I was going to get, Jack. I thought I was going to get something different. Now I got to put my teddy bear on because he was soft. Hey, I like it. Whatever, <laughs> man. Um, hey. <laughs> Regardless of the way this started out, okay, myself, I don't know the ins and outs of the common law, the way that Paul explains, but I tell you what, there's a lot of value in it, okay, there, it's, the governments, the way, you know, there's corruption, <laughs> the laws are written to protect the bankers, so as long as we're focused on this fiat currency, well, Slavery and oppression continues, and please forgive. I understand the, the slave term. I'm not, I don't think that you're racist, Jack. Thank you. <laughs> Some of your generalities, though, about white man, brother, made me question your. your Why I say the same thing about black people? I say the same thing about everybody. Okay. I joke on. I joke on everybody. I'm an equal accountability smoke giver, and no, nobody is absolved from the jokes. Hey, fair enough. So here's. Let me get to the point. I reached out because. Well, I believe in my purpose and whether other people accept it or not, I believe a world without wars is available. Mm -hmm. And I believe that our role this time of history and humanity, our role is to shine the light in the darkness, to expose the lies. And I tell you what, I've been learning about, I served the military as a kid, um, did a couple of enlistments in the army. As thank a you child. for your service, Jack. Well, thank you, brother. I'm thank you for your service. Back, so Jack. now I serve veterans for peace. Nice. And I live. Thank you for genuflecting constantly to your service that we've agreed was not service, but you'll use it anywhere you can to get points and then get thanked for it. So you can propose to be some kind of leader for your agenda. Just every positioning with people like this. And this is, again, a lot of folks embody these qualities somewhat. I'm not, you know, my father's here. He's finally getting it, it seems. I, it's like, hallelujah. I can't believe it. I've been telling you all along. And I'll go the, the extra level like I always do. Like I told my father earlier, we spoke earlier privately and I told him just like this, you and Talcott were identifying with each other. You'd be a fool to not look back at that and reflect a lot of the qualities that Talcott has, you have. Not the laziness, not the procrastination, not the lack of will and dedication and commitment in certain things in life, but the inability to be accountable and admit when you're wrong and when you're being delusional and egoic and arrogant and unable to respond in a fashion that is functional and, as I said, accountable and communicative. He's doing that constantly, playing the victim, blaming everyone else, and never taking accountability for where he's done wrong. So the fact that you're getting it now and the fact that you identified with him for so long on here has to cause you to pause and reflect as a, as a self because all criticism is self-criticism. We identify with folks for a reason and we have to figure out later, if we don't realize while it's happening, why we're identifying with certain people, places, and things. And that's going to communicate a lot about who and what you are and what you need to work on. So watch that. Live. Paul, Paul has find a way to build community. Pay taxes. Pardon? Paul hasn't served his country. He don't even pay taxes. He found a different way to address the corruption. 
You know, for all the money that he said he, he, he got on that one month, I'm going to call the IRS and make sure that. There he goes. He's going to call the IRS on me. He's going to snitch directly for, for income and revenue I don't have. So um, I never served my country by upholding God's law, God-given rights, turning down benefits and privileges and securing rights and freedoms into the future, along with property for myself and others. That's the most service you could do for a country, especially this country. Putting on a costume and following orders and doing wrong is not service. Bozo. When you figure that out one day, maybe we'll get somewhere and you can stop chasing the bag uh, and you can start chasing accountability and self-respect and self-worth truly. They audit him so that they can get they so that they can get their share of what it is that he's out here getting. I need I need Paul. Paul, I'm calling the IRS on your ass and I'm gonna make sure that either you pay your taxes, pay your fair share or get audited and go to jail. One or the other. And you better have your paperwork right or it's going to be fraud. If you want to listen, Paul, either you paid your taxes and you obeyed the laws of the land or you're going to jail. I'm calling the IRS. Now, it all better be reported. It better be reported, Jack, because he said he's playing with the wrong one. I'm calling the IRS. How about snitches that? get stitches, Anton? I'm not speaking as a representative, but for an advocate for peace. OK, how does that represent you as a man who goes and calls the enforcers to tell on someone who just. As really, a how does that represent me? That's exactly what we need to do. We need to be holding people. Like a hoe? Right. Well, fair he, share. No, Are you aware of the levels of corruption? He tried to laugh at me for paying my taxes. Okay. Said, Can I laugh at you? All right. I got something for you. See, I was See, listen, I wasn't going to say nothing. I was just going to secretly call the IRS because I got some friends over there that I coach. And I was going to have him do an audit on him. But now I just so happen to announce it because they want he want to play. He want to do the whole thing. Right, Anton, I'm telling you right now, you announced it because you're an egoic fool. And now you just. You're you're already borderlining on criminal activity. You can't use personal feelings and beliefs to activate your friends to use their official position in office to do harm to me. Okay, so if your friends would smart, the ones you coach, they'd say, "No, nah, Anton, we're going to stay away from that because it doesn't apply to him, and he's not on record with any income or revenue." Um, and again, anything I say on this broadcast is for entertainment purposes, so. Um, I don't give accounts here of what I do and don't do and anything else that is talked about that is perceived as a claim made uh, is for, again, contributions, donations and various gifting. So it's not a taxable event. That's right out of the code. It's a non-taxable event. So your friends over at the IRS better stay away from me um, and you better stop trying to activate them for your own personal feelings because you're going to get your ass sued for malicious prosecution for trying to cause loss, injury, and harm and deprive me of rights. And I'm a bag chase on you, bitch-ass motherfucker. So keep playing with me using a system to get power and see how that works for you. Because that's not what we're supposed to be doing here as honorable men. He came over here with false information, said that I was going to be... As godly men, that's not what we're supposed to be doing. I'm getting divorced and I'm in family court. I don't know where he made up this lie and this information. My wife is literally sitting right here next to me. Okay, Jack, let Paul know. We gonna see just how powerful he is in this. No, 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 because he said that he's more powerful and he better than me. Okay. No, no, you said that, Anton, and now you're in your ego and insecure, and I triggered you. So you're gonna go to an IRS to figure out who's more powerful as a being. So we're not gonna go to God, even though it's God over culture. IRS is apparently connected to his God. Well, maybe he serves the God of this world, because I thought IRS was culture. So I'm kind of confused. So I thought we went to God or we went to self-knowledge to figure out who's more powerful. We didn't go to the IRS. But the godly folks like Anton are going to go to the worldly system to figure out who's more powerful. OK, we're going to see. We're going to let the IRS determine who that is. Mm. Mm -hmm. See, Anton, I recognize you're already what, coming up a couple hours into this. <clears throat> I don't know your schedule. I know you've already been sharing your. You know, Anton, your time's very important. And I know you've been going for a while, so I want to respect you and suck your dick more. I just really want to work with you about me and you. Forget about Paul Unslaved, even though I used his name to get here in the email. You're the lowest form of life, Jack. I've seen you from day one. I've tried to love you <clears throat> to my own detriment. Folks have tuned out and not even watched any longer, a lot of them, because they don't like you and they see you for a snake and an insane person. And they don't understand why I would not only love you and care for you, but want to try to help you and work with you and get you some kind of an audience because I also find value in the content. I'm fascinated with you. I think you're an entertaining character on the world stage. Um, and again, for all of those reasons, uh, I was there for you. But I'll read the email at some point, what you sent to me today. 
that I never really helped you or did anything for you. You said it again after telling me you love me every day and thanking me every day and saying I brought so much into your life. You said that last night. But after this interview, you know, I've done nothing for you again. I've not helped you and I never got in contact with your son for you. If you'd stop being such a bitch and a hoe and a narcissist, your woman and child would still be talking to you. But you still won't. You don't or won't get that because you'd rather become famous to prove to your wife and son that they never should have left. You're off on an ego trip instead of figuring out where you went wrong to cause all of the shitty interactions you've had with everyone and the horrible terms you've left with everyone and the bridges you burned with everyone. Take some fucking accountability for once in your life, Jack. Time and your platform. Mm -hmm. I would love to have some conversations about the things you're saying because, you know, I'll laugh at you for paying your taxes, <laughs> but um, I want to do it respectfully. Okay. And I want to explain to you why I find that. Tell you what. I'm yeah, y'all get y'all getting real quiet when we started talking about the IRS. I thought he wasn't scared. Oh, here, I'm not. I'm not afraid of anything. And you know what? This this BS IRS mm -hmm. IRS came in 19. That's why he's the Federal Reserve. The day mm -hmm. and time where our nation was sold out to the corruption. Ever since then, the laws have been built and built and stacked against in order to protect those who already had power. And the power has been passed down through generations. So right now, we're playing with uh, you know. I want to level the I want to level the playing field, so to speak. And I know the true power comes from knowledge. I've been mm -hmm. dedicating my time and energy into absorbing knowledge. Well, Jack, know you know you got all of y'all friends is in here, right? I see some more white people in the back. Let me let me surround myself with let me surround myself with some more white people. <laughs> However, you're comfortable. And, and sir, sir, what would your name be? Um, you can call me Keith. Keith, you got a you got a weird description of your name. I see wizard, weird wizard. What is that? What is that about? Word wizard. Word wizard. Okay. Have you paid your taxes this year? You don't pay taxes. Oh, you haven't paid taxes either, either, Keith. No, I don't pay child support. I don't pay fines, um, fees, penalties, things like that. I will pay a finance charge, uh -huh. which is the sum total of all charges, uh -huh. as long as you give an equal consideration as contracts are required. Uh -huh. And under the IRS law, if you look at uh, 26 USC 509, mm -hmm. it describes the private foundation, and that is the codification, whereas the regulation is under the tw uh, five C or excuse me, 26 CFR 1-508.1, mm -hmm. subpart B. And it talks about communication with the IRS and that a private foundation is or an old organization or new organization is presumed mm -hmm. to be a private foundation. And it's all based on your I'm going to have my guys check that. I'm going to have my uh, my IRS friends check that out. Don't worry, don't worry about it. We'll fix that. Dro drop well, your last name in the back chat when you get done. But go ahead. What did you want to say, uh, Word Wizard? Well, and the next one is 26 USC 1031. Well, hold on. Word Wizard. Word Wizard. We're we going we gonna to solve for the IRS problems. I promise you I'm going to get my guys. Well, like don't worry about it. See that? And that's wait, 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 wait a minute. I know that you a friend of Jackson Paul's also. So my only negotiation on the internet. I've been doing this much longer than than a lot of people can than, than a lot of people realize. My mom worked for Social Security Administration for 29 years. Mm -hmm. My dad was a state appraiser for the government all of his life, mm -hmm. and so I've been to a lot of the different information. And one of the things is is that under that we're gonna verify all of this later. I got my guys on it. Don't worry about it. Yeah, under 26509, there's a private foundation, and it's based on private communications. Mm -hmm. If you don't communicate with the IRS, Jack's laughing and giggling. He's blissed out. He thinks that's funny. Yeah, and wait, and, wait, till and we, again, wait till we come to the stamp issue. A postal service worker can say, and that just doesn't seem right. Well, it doesn't matter if it seems right or not. The knowledge is there, and just because you don't partake of it doesn't mean you get to dismiss it. Right. It's just the point is he thinks it's just cute and funny that Anton says he's going to get his guys on everyone. Yeah, my boule buddies are, are coming. Don't worry. We, my boule buddies are around the corner, sir. Right. Well, that's the thing with all these monogamy boys who are with masculine women for 19 years and claim to only be with them uh, behind the scenes. You know, when he's talking like uh, Oprah there with that high pitched voice and that emotional way that he does when he gets triggered. Yeah. Odds are he's he's got a car full of buddies that he chases bags with. Right. All the little uh, African-American boys who are culture freaks who claim God and have all the lingo. Uh, and the uh, accessories uh, and laugh and giggle behind the scenes, right? The ones with the skin cream on behind the scenes, they're riding around with four or five other little boys a lot of the time, chasing a bag. They don't have boule women. bag chasing, right? Boule bag chasing bitch boys, as some might say. So. Boule, yeah, boule bag chasing betas, right? And then they like to present like they're so godly. No, they're latent homosexuals, a lot of them, uh, but we won't get into that. You know, that's where a lot of the narcissistic ego comes from is the inability to cope with life on life's terms. So I suspect Anton, I can't prove it like a lot of things, but I'll make a lot of suspicions. I suspect Anton's a latent homosexual. Um, and we can't talk about that because that's un that's unacceptable in African-American culture. But you'll notice Anton does videos every other day on homosexuals. 
white homosexuals and sits there and laughs and giggles and makes fun of them and talks down to them, almost like thou doth protesteth too much, almost like he's got white dick on the mind. Notice how right. he interests it when he looks at his watch and stuff. Right. And I'm just saying, you know, he's he's got a manicure, a pedicure. He's got nice soft skin. He rubs lotion on himself. He talks like an effeminate woman when he gets triggered in his emotions. Um, and he's got all the cute accessories and says 30% off for a customized box bag chasers. Put the promo code in. This is what we're dealing with psychologically. This is why these folks can never really connect with women. They connect with other men better than they do other women. They have no reason to believe that you are conveying a debt. And that is the debt. Oh, don't worry about it. I'm going to get, I'm, I, we going to fix that. We gonna, I think that, the, listen, Biden is hiring 80,000 new agents. And I think that we need to go out and figure out who the fuck is paying taxes and who's not paying taxes. We going to figure this out. We gonna, we gonna, we gonna, hold on, hold on. Hold on. We gonna, realize that statistics show that 98% of the income taxes are paid voluntarily. Because okay, you keep thinking it. You keep thinking that. We don't. We, don't worry about it. Um, I'll have to. I don't have it off the top of my head, but it is a voluntary code. And then again, mm -hmm. you, so you voluntarily, you voluntarily not paying taxes, right? Right. And in the same way, Good. you voluntarily pay taxes because okay. it's not required. Mm -hmm. Now, under 15 USC 1692A, mm -hmm. there's a set of definitions, and under that, you'll see communication. Communication is a conveyance of. What a state you in, Key? Huh? What state you in? I'm in a state of being. Hmm, okay, we're gonna fix that. <laughs> you're gonna fix that, huh? <laughs> you're, you're looking for this. You're looking for the corporate state, Iowa. Okay, Iowa. All right. Yep. Don't worry about it. Keep. Okay, go ahead, Keith. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious as to see what it is, Charles. Iowa now. About. Well, it's it's about the taxes and the communication. So, so you came up here to talk about the taxes and the communication. Right. You said you were going to communicate with the IRS and make sure that Paul was paying his taxes. Now, Paul's already had his communication with the IRS and set his trust up. And so he no longer has to communicate with the IRS. We're going we to make sure. Don't worry about it. Yeah, it's already recognized. See, a trust mm -hmm. shall not fail for want of trustee. So Paul, as a benefactor, is expressing the original trust by the grantor, God. So, so God, so God, so oh, wait, wait, wait. So God, God told oh, Paul. So God, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I'm just curious. Listen, 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 listen. Word wizard. Word wizard. I'm trying to get clarification. I have to get clarification because I'm a C student. I'm not that smart. I got lucky. Oh, I got not. lucky and got rich. Not. I'm not that smart. Any of us did. Okay, so listen. Just to clarify, God told him not to pay his taxes. No. Or not to voluntarily pay taxes. No, the law of the land is the scriptures. Mm -hmm. And in those scriptures, it says he is a respecter of no persons. Mm -hmm. The person that the, the tax codes apply to is that such person. Mm -hmm. It's a characteristic only. When nope. we think of the terms grantor versus grantee, trustor versus trustee, mm -hmm. and benefactor versus beneficiary. The benefactor is the one that gives to the beneficiary. Mm-hmm. What fucking grown man, Thaddeus Anton Daniels, what fucking grown man wears a, 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 a bucket hat with a teddy bear on the front with a rainbow teddy bear, right? Anton, you dress like a pedophile. You dress like somebody who wants to relate to little children, right? Oh, look, it's Anton. I'm the paper chaser with the rainbow clothes and the teddy bear. Hop up on my lap. What grown fucking man dresses like this? Seriously. You know, and then wants to say, I'm soft. It's laughable. I got you. Okay. So if you're the one that gives the data elements to the IRS, the IRS becomes the beneficiary. So if you want to remain with your own person as a beneficiary, you keep it in a private trust and you never express it as part of the public trust. Gotcha. And that's what Paul was talking about. When okay. you express it as a public trust and, and see, when you set that trust up, it should be a private um, payment system account. Oh, trust and me. I have tax. I have tax strategies. And I got my guy. I'm gonna have my guy pocket watching with JT re review everything that's going on here. Uh, Do you have a trust account set up with the we, postal we, service? Listen, listen. Anton is smart enough not to dispose certain information on the, on the internet. Okay. okay. Agree. Uh, agree. I, how, agree. However, however, one more code, I'm out. say what now? One more code, I'll give you one more code, and then I'm out. So, is, so that's the only thing that you reason. The only reason you came up here is to is to express this. Yeah, just, I, I don't want any controversy. I just want to give you some information to look deeper into the tax codes. Mm, okay. Because that's a true problem. Twenty six USC six zero zero one. Or, excuse me, 6201. Look up 26 USC assessment authority. Mm -hmm. Under that code, I think it's 6201. Um, it will tell you that taxes are duly paid by stamp. So let me ask you no, a question. Uh, nowhere, where, else, let me okay, let me, let me nowhere else in the code will it tell you any way of paying taxes. Okay, so let me. Stamp, and that code, the species, is a stamp. Oh, cool. so let me ask you a question, Keith. How long has it been since you paid taxes? Never. So you're telling me you've never paid taxes? Nope. The taxes I pay. Let me show you something. I've got a receipt right here. If you look on this receipt. And hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got you. I got you. Give me a second. Go ahead. See how it says U.S. debit? That's like three, $3.09. Yeah, but it says U.S. debit. 
Okay. Right there. Mm-hmm. Right down here it says credit sale. Mm-hmm. Okay. You can't, you, I, I can't, I've got, I, I don't have a bank account. Okay. Mm. I've got a PayPal account that is hooked up to an old bank account from 2011 that was closed. And then I opened it back up. And just to be clear, this guy has a whole bunch of moderators. And if you say anything to support me or against him, he just blocks you. Yep. Oh, yeah. Immediately. Immediately. Yeah, that's the godly, righteous, uh, spiritual folks who stand on truth. They hire moderators to metaversely silence, cut people's tongues out so that there can be no uh, speech against Anton and there can be no support for anyone else. This way, it just creates a narrative that that's the world we're all living in, right? A lot like his masters do, shadow banning and such. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I technically have a bank account, and now that bank account that was used for for cash or for for deposits and withdrawals is now used specifically as a pass through. It's just like a zero balance account. It operates as a pass through only. And by the way, you'll know a lot about a content creator by their audience and chat. So I specifically mm -hmm. pulled up the live chat so you get a good look at the specimens in the chat. And then all you folks from Anton Daniels channel who are here today, I see there's a few of you. Ask yourself, is this who you want to be grouped in with? A bunch of low life miscreants who use cartoon faces to express themselves because they could barely use the English language. And when they do, they think they're cute and clever by talking about someone shopping at Dollar Tree. That's probably what the person making the comment does. So we could be real with ourselves and each other, or we could pretend to be above everyone bag chasing. Like Anton says, everyone's pretty much poor and broke who's not a millionaire. So that's the majority of you, I suspect. Um, but you're bag chasing. You're going to be just like him one day. So he ain't talking to you and talking about you. Someone else probably, right? Mm -hmm. Gotcha. So so when we operate in this manner, it's just a pass through and the bank becomes nothing but a trustee. And they can't benefit except for that minimum percentage for that transaction. And that creates that U.S. debit. That's gotcha. what it is. A, public li a liability on the public. If I'm a private being, I don't have the capacity to put a liability on the public record. Therefore, I got to keep it in my private trust. Hmm. Okay. I got you. That's the only true way to take on your own liability. Jack, what do you think about all of this, Jack? I don't, I don't run with all the USC and all the details like that. Brother, I am. Focused I don't on run with the USC ending, and all the details. Like that, but the yeah, the are corrupt. They're, they've convinced the masses to pay for war, to go along with generational debt. It's nonsense. It's corrupt. And we, collectively, we receive the government we create. We receive the government we allow. And I think there's a lot of room for improvement. And Anton, the reason. There you go. The slave in the chat says tax evasion is treason. No, there's dual jurisdiction for natural persons and legal persons. Legal persons are subject to income tax. Natural persons that are deemed to be on the land and of the soil are not. And tax evasion and tax avoidance are two different things. Tax evasion is a crime. Tax avoidance is not. Right. And I was going to get to that uh, as well uh, and then add on to the fact that um, – uh, again, there's a legal society and a law society. You might want to understand the difference. So you could argue if this is God's country and we're under God's law first and foremost, then even everything after the certain amendments that create the dual jurisdiction are essentially against God's law because you can't create fictional entities and tie man's body to those entities in order to extract revenue under false pretenses and false contracts. It's literally like USC 1 through 10 about how they're going to fraud you out of your personage. That's why it's security of the person. So you folks have given up the security of the person because you don't understand personage and banking. And you've tied yourself to a person, given up your God-given rights for policy and code in a commercial capacity. Uh, that ain't no sob sit mumbo jumbo. You better go look at the words and terms and you better go look at the United States code. and You better go look at how it all fits together. And what they did, it's a magical deception. It's a grand and magical deception of pimping and mac and double speaking words and terms they've done on everyone. Uh, I would implore you, as Anton says, to go look at it for yourself. The reason I reached out to you, like I said, why I'm on here on YouTube is to share motivation, inspiration, spiritual messages mm -hmm. with the heart of an activist. Because I believe if enough people will change their ways of the past, stop holding themselves back, start becoming more kind, more brave, more generous. We're going to create a new world just like that, man. Hey, Jack, I'm curious. Why are you? Y'all started the oppression. See another dumb slave in chat who get who Anton gets started up and hooked 
with his white pimping and macking propaganda when all of his friends all of his life have probably been white. That's the difference between us. Um, so again, another false idol race pimp uh, hypocrite. Um, but yeah, y'all started the oppression. No, you might want to get the facts straight. Uh, the masters of all of our world since the beginning of time have started and or uh, pushed on the oppression, fed by the masses and their dollars and their energy. Um, and it was y'all, because you're talking about white folks, it was y'all who got the black slaves out of slavery. Do you not remember that story? It was the white folks who got together and said, we ain't gonna let you uh, pimpers of culture, all you worldly masters and esoteric gods on earth. We're not going to let you trade these black folks as property because it's wrong. It was the godly Christian white man that got together to save your black ass. So you might not want to forget that. And it ain't about race and color. It's about what's right is always right. So just like Georgie Washington wrote in his letters, it is incorrect to trade a black man as if he is property. You're trading in the minds and hearts and souls of men, okay? And guess what, Anton? Back in that day, it was considered legal in some states to trade black men like property. It was never lawful under God's law, which is the uh, foundation of God's country, is God's law, right from wrong, objectively. But it was considered legal. Would you have reported someone back then, you fucking house slave? Would you have reported your fellow man, your fellow black man for leaving the plantation and not being under their authority? Right. I'm sure you would to get up in that house and get all the comforts. You'd turn on your own people and sell them out to the lowest form of white scum there is. And you'd go against the white people and the black folks on the ground who want to free them. That's who you've been since the beginning of time. And Tom, it's a state of beingness. It's not a personality. Why are you the leper at a group? I heard them talking greasy about you. I have a, there's a, no, no, because I'll tell you why. Well, here's where Anton employs his pimping and macking routine. See, I've taught you folks a lot about pimping and macking, either proper instruction, motivating people, or how the deception game works to, to, to play on the, the ego with power dynamics. So he's appealing to Jack's ego and emotion, seeing that he's desperate and knowing the dynamic of the panel because he wants to turn Jack and use Jack against himself and me to prove he's more powerful of a being and he's able to manipulate Jack. And of course, Jack is so easily manipulated. We've seen that so many times that it wasn't hard for Anton to spot somebody who was a mark and a trick and trick them out of position, right? Anton's pretty good for who and what he is at pimping and macking and deceiving and playing power games, but not as good as I am at seeing it and exposing it because I know me. So I know you and I don't play that way. So you should neither because it's wrong. Anton. I'm asking you, you seem to be the most sensible of everybody. You able to dodge the issues, the problems you, you're, you're very relaxed. You, you actually, you know, want to have genuine conversation. You have, why? Okay. So, I had an opportunity to, to see a small little reaction of, of what was going on, right? And they paint you as the leopard. They look at you as the problem. Why do they say that you're the problem? Why do they say things like, you know, I didn't fuck with Jack and all this? Jack, what the hell is going on over there in your group? Um, I'm following my path of faith, and there's an energy about me which, it for some reason, people feel encouraged to bring their egos out and show me their big, bad egos. And so I deal with a lot of egoic nonsense. Mm. Frankly, no offense, Anton. That's what I saw between you and Paul. You that's fair. That's fair. I'm just listen. You know, I am who I am. I am hey, very much a big personality. But Jack, I think that they painted you wrong. Yeah. Hey, Keith, why is Jack painted as the bad guy? Um, I think basically because a lot of people think his concept of ending secrets and ending wars is kind of um, impossible. And it's it kind of goes against the balance of the system. If you don't have something that's. No, that's not why. That would just be lofty, unattainable goals, some might say. The reason Jack gets shown to be a bad man is because he says he's very loving. He stays in a bliss state, so you'll be endeared to him by his energy, much like a chameleon would. He changes his spots, uh, his colors, in order to draw you in uh, and then prey on you. So he's a selfish, greedy, unthankful, ungrateful, unprincipled, unwillful. 
but lacking in dedication and commitment, lacking in purpose and meaning, and he's egoic and arrogant at that while being inept. That's why he gets shown to be incompetent and or a bad man. And he claims to be above everyone and better than everyone and knowing of a Christed way when he's nothing but a two-faced backbiter who constantly tells me I've done nothing for him after telling me daily on here, I do it all for him. Here so which go. is it? Are you lying then or are you lying now or both? Because you don't know yourself and you don't know the truth or you won't speak it in public because you're a punk ass bitch. Can you drop the link, Paul? absolute wrong you don't know absolute truth or right and so it becomes a, a, a back to the nature the natural principles of law uh, of nature uh -huh. um you have to have a balance somewhere of what might be seemingly wrong um it might seem wrong for a bear to attack somebody but that would only be wrong in the man's mind because in the bear's mind it would be right to be a protecting mother to protect her cubs see what i'm saying so y'all got infighting in your own group over there but then y'all y'all think that y'all gonna come over here and stop me no, no, I don't think anybody I've seen y'all on the panel. Listen, one thing about Anton from AntonDaniels.com is that I do my research. I've seen y'all all on the panel when y'all were gathered together, one man indivisible, the whole nine yards, and y'all was strategizing and y'all was trying to figure it out, but y'all are divided yourselves. Anton couldn't figure out the dynamic once again, or he's just lying because he knows the dynamic and he wants to see what we know or what you all know and how you're going to respond or react. So he knows I've said it many times and how I conduct myself. There is no fucking group here. Uh, any day that anybody thinks there is, uh, test me or ask me and watch what the fuck I do and call it ego. I don't care. I'll throw every fucking person on this panel out and I'll do days or weeks without anybody up here. I really don't give a fuck. Okay. So there's no group here. I facilitate an open panel where folks come through and we discuss the truth if you're willing and ready. If not, I fucking turn you down and throw you the fuck out. And it's not because I'm scared. I'm tired of wasting my time, energy, attention in this realm with a bunch of incompetence. Hey, uh, Paul, can you hear me? Yes, sir. So I did a deep dive on our little friend, just a quick one on our little pogo friend, Mr. Anton. He uh, did a pogo seg segment with Dr. Phil. Uh, there's him and Dr. Phil clips of him, but he also used to own a restaurant, no longer owns it. Uh, got a couple phone numbers. He has a social media business with 25 employees. Uh, he, he's linked up to mainstream media Pogo completely. Uh, I definitely should send some of this information to you. But what I thought was funny was the Dr. Phil segment with him and the narratives they were talking. Um, I could post it in your private chat. And, no, he uh, was on with the guy, Dr. Phil, actually. Yeah, he was on Dr. Phil. Yeah, he was on. I Dr. am shocked. And this I am is what shocked. I mean, and this is what I mean. I'm not going to talk about Dr. Phil doing bad work. He brings up some good points and perspectives. Um, I was just pointing out the mainstream media. Sir, uh, I did that. I did that. I, sir, 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 sir. I appreciate that. And I get that. And that's why I told you all uh, over a year ago, probably now, I'm going to start showing different aspects of myself, how I grew up, the people I grew up around, what I learned from that, what I've studied about culture, psychology, sociology, and I'm going to be a fisher of men. And I'm going to insert myself into a conversation about truth and understanding where I see everyone else talking like they know it all. And here we are. And I also told you I'm going to get more African-Americans Right. Or at least I'm going to get into a conversation with African-Americans. So they kept asking me, well, why are you playing gangster rap every morning and doing the trigger music and blah, blah, blah? Because I'm setting the bait because I like gangster music and rap music anyway and creates a spirit in me or or energizes a spirit in me where I'm going to do whatever the fuck I want when I want. Not out of ego, but what out is true and what's right to me and how I live. Get it how you live. Isn't that how they say? And again, that's what I grew up on. So judge it however you want. I told folks, listen, I've dealt with a lot of black folks in my life. Uh, it's near and dear to me, that community, if you want to call it that, those people, right, that culture, uh, uh, what I've seen, right? Because, again, I, I, you might even call it just potential. I'm a person who sees potential in everything and everybody, and then I work from that. It's not even really necessarily have to be about endearment. When I go to certain neighborhoods and I see motherfuckers who are willing to do life in prison or die over some bullshit, I say, these are warriors in the making. If they stood on what's true and what's right and God's law, they're immovable. 
the conversation is going to have to change. We got to get these young people right on the legal, lawful, spiritual game so we can see change. I can't use the, the white collar suburbanite who's a punk ass bitch. I can't use him and God can't use him, but God uses the least among us. So God will use poor, disenfranchised, disenchanted black folks who got nothing else to live for to give them principles and understanding to become warriors of God. Right. And I could see how I could facilitate that. So I decided to be part of a conversation with folks like Charleston White and others. And this guy sits next to Charleston White rather regularly. So I went over there to build with him one day. And just by speaking truth, he got set up by the experience and threw me out. I went over yesterday. He talked about me again, did a whole segment. Then we had a whole conversation yesterday. I'm getting more and more in the conversation. My name is in their mouth. They're watching me. And we're going to change the dynamic here because it's what needs to happen right now. So Yeah, you're such a loser, Paul, that, uh, you know, you just found yourself in another thumbnail, it seems. On his shit? Yes, sir. Wizard dropped it in the private chat a while ago. That's what I told you, bro, that uh, he's he might need me for content, which is kind of silly because he keeps saying I'm powerless. The more he keeps talking about me and using me in thumbnails, the more I keep getting power in his world. Right. Like I said, I came out of a tent with an android talking and living on God's law. I continue to do that. And then I just trigger these insecure egos who have worldly power. So now I'm in. The more with, viewers you'll get. Now I'm in a conversation with worldly people about worldly power. Uh, and that's why I'm saying that I'm not really interested in having a train of folks show up and, and, and talk. Because, again, if folks knew what I knew and did what I did, they'd be in the conversation with everybody I've been in the conversation with. They're not. So, like, you know, I, I'm just going to need Jack and, and, and Scott and, and anyone else, again, it's not personal, even if I say the wizard, because really the wizard kind of came up and brought some clarity and understanding for some people out there, if nothing else. But again, um, it's you could call it ego. Right. I, I have a, a history at this point, if not in life on the metaverse of being an influencer, as they say. So you, they call all these bozos influencers. They don't do shit. The way that I move and live, I'm an influencer everywhere I go. I influence the field like the rat slave says. By how I walk, talk, carry myself, uh, what I will do and not do, and how I will not comply with whoever's around me if I think it's wrong and incorrect. Okay? So, um, again, I'm in the conversation for a reason because of how I live and what I stand on. Other folks are not. Let it be that way. Don't try to create a conversation off of what the fuck I'm doing and not doing because it starts to disrespect me, <clears throat> Right? And these are all the people who claim they love me and respect me and what I do so much. If you would, you stay the fuck out of it. OK, and if you were going to be in on it, then you better fucking for yourself. Either defend me, which I don't really need defending and the truth doesn't either. So just promote the truth and correct the record and hold people accountable when they throw me the fuck out and claim to be powerful. Hold them the fuck accountable. Right. It's like, you know. I I left that. I got to go. I left that in your thing. I just want to say uh, these Anton, I got your number. You know what edge theory LLC is Anton. I know exactly what you're about. This guy's mainstream media connected. He's pogo up the fuck, but uh, I, I yeah, left we already thing, know, bro. We already know. Yeah, it's self-evident. Self yep. So, all right. Much love guys. And also I got numbers and you're, your I got your right. All right. All right. Leave it alone, bro. Leave it alone, bro. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. This is what you don't get. This is what you don't get is I already ride the line of talking way too much for everybody's own good. Don't get into the backstory necessarily about that because no one cares about that. Just fucking do. See, this is what I mean. And then I have to look egoic and say, play the fucking part and position. I talked about it yesterday. And what happened? Folks played the part, some of them, and got banned and thrown out of chat. So that shows everybody something right there. Then other folks decided to run their own program. And nobody's above the program. It's like we're on the block and folks go, Paulie boy wants to lead. He wants to control. He's this, this, and this. And then someone somewhere, if not me or the person next to me, has to remind them, no, he's put in that position for a reason. So get the fuck out of your imagination and ego, right? You're not in the conversation for a reason. I'm sorry. Get better and do that. I'm in the conversation. You folks are my support system. So fucking do that. If you see value in the experience, 
me being in the room and in the conversation with my crooked yellow teeth, smoking reefer, and being talking to Anton and Charleston White and the rest of these rapper bozos. It's not for you. The majority of folks here, sorry to tell you, it's not for you. I don't even know if it's for me, but I'm on record. When I go to the panel with the eight black guys and they go, Paulie's going to get it. And they start trying to punk me and I wind up owning the room by the end. It's not for most of you. So there might be some here it's for, then play that position. If it's not, don't try because you fucking embarrass all of us and you detract from the conversation that's supposed to happen. Right? So that's just how I see it. If I'm being egoic, then let it be that. But, I, you know, this is my lane for whatever reason. I have no other lane in life. Motherfuckers got a lot of other lanes and opportunities. Explore that, right? Don't come into my lane and try to do it better than me at a certain time when it's not appropriate, especially. You can't do it here on a regular panel day to day. Don't fucking do it with Anton and people who are in the room and in a conversation and get into a bag and have a platform and have worldly power because you fuck the whole experience, right? Even with Talcott, it's almost like no matter how much he fucks up and embarrasses himself, something about it is cartoon-like. And we all just sit there and go, this is like so fascinating. It's almost good that it's part of the experience in a bizarre clown-like cartoonish way. But, you know, the whole point is I came into this from a fucking tent and an android. And I decided in my head, I told the woman next to me, I'm going to be in the room with Charleston White and guys like this. And we're going to have a conversation about white and black and culture and God and what the fuck it all means. I don't have to be right. I'm here to make it right. So if that's not your lane and you can't do it as good or better, stay the fuck out of it. Because I'm not so sure I could get it done once I get in that room, but I'm damn sure going to try. I don't think most of you got it in you from what I've seen here. What the fuck is he going about even calling it like that? Your thoughts, penile power, Rob Cleveland, Wizard Brian, and we're going to get back to the dick sucking fest. Wait till Scott comes up. It gets better and better. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll just say from my standpoint, I don't really see anything too egoic about what you're saying. I, I mean, that's about all I got. Right. Wizard might have it in him only because he stands on God given rights and freedom and has cases and he's battle tested. But he even said the other day, he's probably not an on-screen media guy, whatever that means in quotes, like I can be perceived as. So he's at least like Zetetic Warrior. He's kind of reading himself in the room and others and trying to find his position and whatever. And like I said, um, I don't, you know, I, I guess there's a thing in me, you could call it ego again, that you might call loyalty, where I guess I get disappointed that everywhere in my life, I expect motherfuckers to kind of show up for me or the idea. And very rarely do I feel that energy from anybody where it's like, we're going to die here today together. We're going to go to the box here today together. I just don't feel it. And they well, say, Paul, is that at war. It's, you know, and, and it's like, this is how I am, you know? So uh, again, maybe that's my downfall because I also talk about being loving and caring, being my best power in a lot of these situations, even with policy enforcement. And that's why I said, I don't even as much mind it if I come in as the guy who, I'm going to light it on fire. I'm going to get the conversation going. I'm going to be the heel, so to speak, and still stand on truth. If Wizard wants to come in after and play the other side of that, which I could do probably as well or better than anyone, and maybe have more power in that interaction, I was there, I guess you could say, it's egoic, to prove a point. I'm tired of the frauds. I'm tired of the fake shit. I'm tired of the false energy presentments and the pimping and macking and the bag chasing and all the rest of it. And I'm going to get in the room and I'm going to hold your ass to the fire. And you could have control over me on the broadcast, but you ain't got control of the truth that's going to come out of my mouth from my heart, right from the universe. So yeah, we're mixing it up. I don't give a fuck. I even told him in the middle of it. I said, Anton, I love you. And oftentimes it sounds disingenuous when I say it. I'm finding that space in me where I love this motherfucker. I have no problem with him. We didn't do nothing to each other yet. If he, if he ain't going to try to have someone harm me, which usually this is what they do, try to harm me. I don't have hate in my heart. I don't, I'm not vengeful and retributive. I really don't go seeking problems. On the metaverse, though, it's a different idea. We're holding everybody accountable to their fucking words. You're not going to act like something you're not. You know, I don't. I've cried here. I've told everybody I ain't that guy. I ain't looking to harm nobody or be harmed. I'm a lover, not a fighter. But if you get too close to me and give me no other option, I'm going to fucking leave you there as best as I can because I don't know any other way. Right. And I don't like that. I'm not going to like it after the fact. 
So let's get away from all that because nobody wants it. Like the Dow says, all men and women tremble before violence. Nobody fucking wants it. Only a sick, twisted, psychotic person wants to go to violence. Right. So don't be talking like that. Don't be acting like your buddies and your system is going to save you from your reality. You could have me locked up forever. You still got to be you the rest of your life in this world. That's bad enough. Being you is bad enough than me going to a box or dying. I don't have that problem. Same problem you, you have. I don't have those problems. We have very different problems in life for very different reasons because of what the fuck we chose that then chose us one way or the other. Not necessarily in that order. Because I've been feeling like since day one, this shit chose me. I've had no option in this realm. So I've had to learn what this thing wants from me and fucking do it. Because I don't get the options everyone else gets. That's how it feels to me. I don't know what to make of that. Right. So this thing, it feels like chose me and I had to choose it back. Because if not, my life was going to be living hell here. If you can relate to that, then fucking get with it. If not, you might be on a different timeline and a different state of beingness than me. Wouldn't surprise me. The kingdom of heaven is few. So somebody's telling the truth and somebody's lying. Somebody's more close to godly, whatever the fuck that means to you from conscience. Somebody's not. Maybe we're all confused. Maybe we're all insecure, fearful, and confused and putting on a false strength front. I don't see that and feel that with me. I know my strengths. I know my weaknesses. I know what's true enough for me in conscience. I know the consequence of cause and effect and law. Let me get back to it. Let's 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 get the fucking cucking session. Let's get the pimping and hoeing wrapped wrapped up to show you what the fuck it looks and feels like. That's why Anton's good at what the fuck he does. Yeah, and that's what we're doing is trying to bring everybody together. Y'all can't even get your own group together. Y'all are it's a group of white men. There's no group. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me tell you what I think, Keith. Let me let me see what Keith, Keith, Keith. Let me tell you what I seen. I seen Jack trying to do some good. And I said, well, let me go and find out who Jack is, because Jack actually sent me a reasonable email, even though I had to use it against him. Uh, and then I seen a bunch of white men over here and white women infighting amongst each other. Y'all don't even like each other. So how y'all gonna come over here and come against me? And y'all don't even like each other. Oh, listen, listen. First of all, all y'all got white names. So this is working perfectly. Paul was against Keith. Keith tried to be reasonable with Paul. And Jack was in being an intercessor. And then I seen some white women over there and y'all ain't even getting wrong with each other. How the fuck y'all gonna come over here and battle me? I'm Thanos. Well, see, that's part of the problem is um, a lot of people do not use Socratic oh, logic. I, oh, I, Socratic I, I, logic. Tell me about Socratic logic. Well, I, I mentioned, I, I heard you mention something about logic earlier. And see, I, I grew up, um, I was put in foster homes when I was five, had four brothers and sisters, mm. dad parents bringing up. And then when I was 10 years old, I was adopted. And like I said, those parents worked for the uh, Social Security Administration and real estate appraisal for, for the government all their life. That's what your parents did? Those parents, the foster parents? Right. Okay. And now, granted, all the time I was with them, I know they had to have argued, just like most people do. Mm. The difference was they did it in a Socratic. Anton, like most of these power hungry house slaves, is fixated with color, right? Like I'm a, a sort of fascinated by these suits and this idea of color and heritage and ethnicity, and I'll play with it and joke with it. He seems to be fixated. It's like constantly white, black, white, black. It's all he sees, it seems at times. In the middle of a conversation, it's all he's worried about is white and black. You know, I, I like how much of this is like a bit non bit where it's for effect to play to the chimpanzees in the chat versus an actual state of beingness in him that he's exploring. Like they all do the bit non bit, right? To explore aspects of yourself. I think you're obsessed with a false construct of race and, and in, a, in a colorist uh, mind state. I don't care when you get centered in yourself, the truest form of self, and you speak low and you say, you don't really see division and you, you're equal opportunity smoke giver. And it's all every chance you get when you're in a heightened state, you go right out of your subconscious and start talking about black and white. I never do that. I like purposely decide to do it to piss everyone off. And you can almost tell that. You see, and that's why you don't have the numbers he has. There's no yelling. Y'all don't have any plans to, to capture the governor or storm the Capitol again, do y'all? <laughs> no, oh, here we go. Storming the Capitol. Hey, you would, you, would, you, would you tell me if you did? Oh, I don't, I don't have any plans of storming anything because I'm not here, like the scripture says, I'm not here to destroy the law. I'm here to prove it. You know, and that's no, the that's thing. not, that's not, that's, that's not what the scripture say. Keith, you're going to have to oh, read sure. it. Fulfill the law. To fulfill the law. Is yeah, he, he, he didn't say prove it. He, Keith, are you requote? You got your okay, own book, Keith? Okay, okay. okay. I, mean, I, didn't, I, did, I did say prove it. It's not prove. It's fulfill. Okay, okay so what, what word are y'all reading over? Okay, so what are y'all doctrine? What do y'all study together? Because I know that y'all are, y'all got a little bit of infighting over there, but I see I, I don't know with anybody. I, I don't this study is what, this is what I think. My own research based on everybody's information, and then I go search it for myself because I tell people. Man, them numbers are running up today, wizard. See how it works? Anton's got big numbers, so he wouldn't be impressed. But we were like 120, 130. 
especially early what I'm in saying. Days. You're going to get more subscribers and more viewers now because of that. People right, are going to right, right. right. It's only a matter of time. And this is what I'm saying. Just let just everyone need to let daddy work. Just let me work. I told you I was low on game. I'm pretty good at what I do. So just play it out. Let it flow. Let it work. Right. Don't forsake me. I've shown you a lot so far. I'm going to show you much more. Just work with me. See where it goes. Right. Play your role in your position. Get in these people's chat. Remind them they got a daddy. Ask them why the fuck I'm on their mind hard all day, every day now. Right. Grind on their ego. You know, the more my name is in their mouth and the more I'm in the conversation, the more we go places. That's how this works. And somehow Jack with the lowest subscriber numbers is the reason for the numbers going up. Right, Mr. Right, 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 right. All the time, Anton, don't believe me. Don't believe your neighbor. Don't believe the government. And for crying out loud, don't believe your mother. Do your research so you know. Get over this thing about belief because when you know, you're able to take much greater steps. It's okay, so faith if you have knowledge rather than a belief that hinders you and, keep, and keeps you in apprehension. Whereas okay, so, so, okay, so why do you guys have so much infighting? I don't know. I think it's just because everybody has. Do y'all want me to come over and mediate? I can, I can get y'all on one accord. I can get you. Listen, I'll give y'all a coaching session, uh, three for the price of one, and I can get y'all on one accord so that y'all all are going down the same path. That, that would be fine if you, if you work it out with Paul, but I'm, I'm not going to partake in it. So who's the leader? Who's y'all leader? Who's y'all leader? I'm, I don't, I don't lead, lead. I don't lead. Okay. Who is the, who is the person? Oh, you want to talk Antron now. Antron. Yeah. That's his new name. Antron, the robot, the NPC robot. Antron. Uh, Anton is now trying to get me indicted because he knows who the perceived leader of the non-group would be over here. It's the white fucking gorilla. It's obvious. It's obvious to anybody with eyes to see, ears to hear, and a heart to feel. It's more energetic than it is anything else because I tend to take fucking charge, just like an administrator. So you know who the perceived leader of the non-group is because I don't run a movement or a group. I'm just me. And watch and out. You're trying to get other people who you say are part of a group to call me a leader so you can get me indicted. And watch how I keep that separation here. Talk to you if that's the platform you want to go to. No, no, no. Who's the perceived leader of your group? Again, I don't I don't lead and I don't follow. It's not a perceived leader. Well, not okay, so not your leader. Who's the leader of the group that you then observe and participate with? Again, that would be Paul's platform. Okay, so it's Paul. Okay, so Paul is the leader. Who's the vice president? I didn't say he was a leader, and I didn't say there's any vice president or anything. Okay, so it's his. Okay, who's the second? He comes on every day, and people that want to show up show up. That's all it is. Who's the second in command? There is none. He just, he just, he just gave out a wrench on uh, proper instruction motivates people. Um, to to you know, guys. What is that acronym for pimp? So he right. took the word pimp, and then he turned it into he gave us some some words, and then y'all. That's what y'all. He used something else's. If that was a long. That that's proper instruction motivates people. That's been around a long time, brother. Uh huh. And so he took it for being his, and that's that's this is what y'all doing now. Because it's the principle of, of it. Proper instruction motivates people. That's mm. why he's talking about principles over wealth and money. Okay, so what is, what is your role, Keith? My role is, um, I've been doing this research, like I said, my mom and dad worked for the government, and I knew all my life that there's a spiritual principle that goes against almost everything they were trying to convince me of. Mm. And so I've got 93 cases uh, down at the local courthouse because I'm a rebellious motherfucker. Born on wait, the wait, 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 Keith. Keith, what are you doing with your feet over there, Keith? I'm a, I'm a Tom Sawyer type guy that's connected to the earth every day. That's so Keith, wait, wait, Keith, you over here getting arrested all the time? No, it's been clean for seven years because I put my foot down and started letting them know who my law is. See, I'm not. <laughs> yes, listen, Isaiah 43 tells us, fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name. Thou art mine. If I'm his, who can make a greater claim on that? Think about the unum sanctum by the Pope. The unum sanctum is that first papal bowl where the Pope said, I claim all living souls. That's blasphemy against Isaiah 43, 1. And then Isaiah 44, 5 tells us, one shall say, I am the Lord's. Another shall call himself by the name Jacob. And another shall subscribe with his hand unto the Lord. Listen, listen, I, I know the scriptures. I know the scriptures. What I'm trying to understand is why you got 93 cases pending on you, Keith? No, they're not 93 cases pending. They're 93 cases I've had in the courts. Oh, what was you, what was you doing? Whether it be traffic citation, child custody, taxes, um, child support. You got a child? Whatever. You got a kid? Cool. You got two kids? Oh, shit. You a baby daddy, Keith? What do you mean, baby daddy? Are you married? I raised my kids. Are you married? I've got, got a companion out of wedlock. Not a licensed marriage. Wedlock. Is that according to the scriptures? Is that how you were supposed to do it? Correct. It is? I don't, I don't need, a, I don't, I don't need a, a commercial license under the state in person. No, I just want to make sure that we all on the same page. Yep. And you still with the mother of your kids? No, she passed on. Oh, my condolences. Thank you. My condolences. All right. I'm, I'm going to let you rock out with that one. I'm going to let you rock out with that one. Jack, you got kids too? I got one son. Out of, the, out of wedlock or in wedlock? We were married at the time. And y'all got divorced? 
Did she take yeah. out? She, she put you on child support? No, it was actually uh, it was pretty amicable split as far as the property went, but uh, the rest wasn't very pleasant. So, okay, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. So you a baby daddy too? I'm a father. Okay, we know what the technical term is. That means you're participating in your kid's life, but the way we say it over in the black community is you a baby daddy. I know. So I what are we were talking about then, Jack? Well, actually, here. I don't want to go into it, but right now the family thing, it's a sensitive issue for me. There's still some Oh, no, you don't get that. to absolve yourself from the conversation. You asked a question I, I did want to address. Wait, 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 but I'm just curious. Okay, so so you are a baby daddy, though? Yes. Okay, I got you. All right, go ahead. You asked the question, why the dysfunctional want to come over here, and I don't know, remember what how you described it, but it's not to bring the dysfunction over here. I assure you of that. No, no, no. Now, I think that you are very, not dysfunctional, I think you are very uh, <laughs> functional. Let's just say functional. Fair enough. Thank you. But you are the leper. You are the leper. They don't. They hate you like they hate me all of a sudden. You know they found a friend in you. You might have got back in their good graces because you don't want to send an email to me. Yeah, Anton pimping and macking again. Jack got back into my good graces because he sent an email to Anton like I needed that. Anton was already talking about me before Jack sent an email. So uh, I was sort of playing up the idea of Talcott doing something that I thought was funny and interesting um and adding to the interaction i didn't know that he would like always take it over and make it about him and destroy boundaries uh, as he's known for doing constantly sending emails and not respecting people's wishes to get what he wants um so yeah nobody hated jack nobody hates jack anton is playing on jack's ego and emotions to use him it helped obviously <laughs> Why would but, you want to Jack? Why would you want to be friends with a group of people who look at you as a leper? And you're the most reasonable. You want to know why? Why is that? Because of my faith. My faith in the truth. Okay. And the truth. Wait, wait, wait. Is, he got, uh, what kind of shirt did he have on? Let me see that shirt again. How <laughs> <laughs> oh, I fucking realize it. How perfect, huh? <laughs> All right, go ahead. Go ahead, Jack. Go ahead, Jack. This is this is this is probably the wildest live stream that I've done in a long time. But go ahead. Anton, actually, let me get back to the point. I wanted this actually to be an introduction. I started with an email for that intention. You were kind enough to share some space. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. One second, one second. Right. Give me one second. Pull that back a little bit. Pull that back a little bit. Pull it back a little bit, Mo. Gotcha. All right. Okay, we got you. You know what that is? No, but I'm sure you're going to tell me. <laughs> That's a homemade stamp. Mm. Remember taxes are duly paid by stamp? Mm -hmm. Now, that's how you use it as a stamp. Notice it wasn't canceled. This mm -hmm. went through the Postal Service. That might, that, might be, that might be fraud. No, this went through the Postal Service. On the back, we used the same stamp, but we didn't use it as a stamp. We used it as a seal. This is the outside, which is the public side. Mm -hmm. Notice it's not an envelope. Mm -hmm. It's a manifold dispatch. <laughs> and on the inside is the private side. And down on the bottom left, you see the canceled stamp and dated. When you learn contract law, you make your own instruments. Oh, okay. You don't operate in the taxing system. You operate supersedingly. Go, go ahead, Jack. Go ahead, Jack. Thank I want to I I hear what Jack got to say. I want to see Jack, what Jack's perspective is. Yeah, I'm out, guys. Y'all have a good one. You'll check me out. You'll come okay, okay uh, Keith. Thanks for, hey, Keith, you are welcome over here at any time. Thanks, thanks. I if, hope so. If you ever want to switch teams and come over to the winning team, I got a spot for you, Keith. I'm only on his team. On God's team? Yeah. That means you on my team. Well. We'll see that. We'll All right, my that. friend. We'll okay. See that as well. we, listen, we, we recruiting over here. So come on. We like everybody. We love white people, black people. We joke on white people, know. black no, people. No, we joke. I'd be careful saying that. We I saw some comments down there talking about colorless people and stuff. You know, we got to think about that. Listen, I, I, that, I can't I can't control what the audience says. All I can control is I'm what it is. Hear that. You welcome over here at any point, Keith. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, oh Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Jack, you look very. Um, you look very. Uh, Fair enough. Yes. Yes. How the hell did you find yourself over there on YouTube, man? God, swear to God, that's the only logical answer I can give. <laughs> I'm a man of faith, and without without casting, I don't I don't know how to say this encouragingly, but you know, God's allowed me to find my place, spend time with sinners and confused people for a long time, mm -hmm. and I believe there's a purpose in that. And Anton, you asked why I'm kind of the leper. Wizard probably answered it true. I say things that people don't want to believe. Mm -hmm. um, what I believe is. God is with us. Truth is on our side. And if we're going to live, we can serve God. And to serve God for me, after serving the nation, I want to do better. And I, listen, I, I think that you are probably the most reasonable person that I've seen come up on this live stream tonight. Right. 
I mean, I got you, bro, dude. I got you. I really try to be logical and reason reasonable. One of my typical days starts off with me waking up and saying, I can't believe it happened again. I woke up. Then I ask myself, is this real? Then I say, am I real? Then I say, what am I going to do for the day? And then I answer, nothing. I'm going to live without fear. What does that mean? Live without fees. I'm going to sit in front of a fireplace and interfere with Paul on Slave since the day I met him. Pretty much override his boundaries to try to get what I want. And I'm going to live off of the military and the taxpayer system while not having any source of uh, revenue, brothers and sisters, any source of contributions uh, for my community because I do nothing in the community and I have no value pretty much. Well, I'm a life coach just like you, Anton. I coach people on how to have a life no one would want. <laughs> so, And that's why I came here, Anton. I want to work with you to further my life coaching. I've made two websites and they're both failures. This I got to run. My, bike my life is broke and I want to help you I'll make yours it. just mine. Hey, brothers, you guys are talking about me. I showed up. Is that Jack's son? Is that Michael Talcott? It's actually Andrew Talcott, but yeah, brother. Right. Yeah, let's finish this video, man, uh, and then we'll turn it over to comments. Email, I got your phone number. I'm going to lock you in. Respect. I'm just trying to understand, where's the disconnect between you and your crew? It's honestly, it, if, you look at, if you look at life as a... There is no crew. Just say that. Why can't you just say that we don't have a crew? It's just me and a panel of folks who show up, who usually try to interfere with me or use me in various ways. Social experiment. There's a reality show that's being broadcast on some of these panels, mm -hmm. right? And I've seen a lot of human development, a lot of emotional development. Oh, Jack's here now. Come on up, Jack. Let's have the discussion. Let's get it over with. Let's hear all about what you were thinking and feeling when you were over there with Anton and Scott. And I was Scott's trying to let you know, brother. I told you it's all about ending wars and legal secrets with a bag chaser who's all about hip hop culture. Don't you see that? Don't you see that? It's all about me helping the world and save the world. It's not at all about my ego. And Bro, me I being... got my own Jay Z now. Yeah, I'm like I'm like, I'm like Anton's Rick Rubin. We like hang out. I give him life advice. I help him make beats for his show. Like, he's so delusional, he thinks Anton wants to work with him, and he's not using him and playing him, just like the lagoon creature was, using him and playing him to fuck with me. And 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 this is why I can't have these people here, because they'll get used by anyone to fuck with me against their own good and everything good and true, because they can't get out of their own fucking way and their own delusion. So come on up, Jack. Oh, you'll wait until the so you don't you're not going to get to decide with your form of my boundaries, a conversation that I wish to have that you don't wish to have because you're a punk ass coward who's not accountable. So there is no opinions and gossiping. Come on up and have the conversation about what went on last night, what you were thinking and feeling, what your motivation is or get the fuck out. OK. That's how this goes. You still can't figure out what the good content is, but you do a broadcast. Folks want to hear you explain yourself on what you're thinking and feeling and what your MO and agenda is. Again, after you've embarrassed yourself and pretty much everyone else over here, just like Fat Scott did, getting pimped and macked on and played so they could make it seem like you're part of my group of a bunch of goofy white people and we're all lost and confused, poor and broke, or delusional sovereign citizens. Okay. I'm waiting, Jack. Up or out? All right. This is why you got fucking blocked in the chat before. Because you go through cycles with everyone and you never learn your fucking lesson and you never become better. This is why you have this pattern with everyone in your life. Up or out? I don't want to hear you. I don't want to see you chatting about what you think about me and what I'm doing. Up and have the conversation like a man or get the fuck out. That's your option right now. If you keep typing down there, I'm going to block your ass from the chat. And we'll move on like that.
There you go. I will be very clear that I am separated from you for a while. That seems to be what you want. Enjoy your day. So you fucking ran again because you can't be accountable for your narcissistic, egoic, arrogant bullshit uh, and your needy ways. You can't do it. So you're going to run like you've done many times before. You're not going to see us later because I'm going to block your ass up or out. And you can sit on your fucking pathetic broadcast every day and ramble and mumble and do nothing. And you'll slowly lose viewership or you'll get successful and famous as you want and be above everyone for a bunch of worldly cretins watching you who are confused and lost just like you and disempowered. Right? You are the weak, disempowered white man Anton talks about. So get the fuck up, have the conversation or get out and go back to what you would have been if I didn't give you three quarters of your viewership on your lives, okay? Because you because you told me today again this morning, I've never done anything for you and I didn't help you get your child back. And then your life is basically my fucking fault. So watch what happens when I stop dealing with you and you don't get your broadcast heroin for a few weeks and months. And then you may have to actually develop an ethic and some content and stay consistent to actually grow organically, okay? You're the most selfish, unthankful, ungrateful bitch I've ever seen on here. Constantly playing the victim and not being accountable. Okay. So like within the next few minutes, if you don't get the fuck up here and be accountable and responsible, I'm done with you. And that's that. Let's continue on with the suck fest. Development and people are learning in the midst of suck all fest 2023 um, starring Talcott and Scott. You know where this all leads. I don't Who's know. Who's going to suck it's, and blow I've, I've harder. Learned, I've learned how to have fun in life and to love living and I want the rest of the world to feel that way too. So when I saw those guys talking about common law and you know the corruption of the the manipulation of law that has been used to confuse and oppress the masses. Biblical terms, I see the beasts that rise from the land and sea, those are the structures of government. There's fucking slaves on here who come here every day and fucking beg me pretty much directly or indirectly directly to talk about their shit, to go over on their channel, to fucking promote it. And I did it for your goofy ass because, yeah, I knew a bunch of good content would come out of it. So I'm a, I'm a genius of media. Again, there's not much to do with a lot of other folks. I knew that a Tal flicks would come up and all the rest of it. Inherently, I just knew it would become something, even if it was little bits and clips. But you know what? At the end of the day, I'll find another fucking whack packer essentially that I can make interesting or funny or highlight or create a, a facilitate an experience with you ain't that fucking special. All right. So especially man to man, right? It's one thing to even be associates on here and do a metaversal kind of gig, right? It's another thing to act like we're buddy, buddy and part of a group and stand for the same things. And clearly this is who and what you really are from the beginning. As I've said, government and corporation, those heartless entities have the power of the employees and they use manipulation. We're in a spiritual battle and it's being conducted through our minds. My mind has been allowed the opportunity to settle and to expand in different ways. So I found the Paul Unslaved and those guys, the quote unquote truth community, thinking I could bring some spiritual and motivational aspects towards that. And I'm also here in my town. I'm going to the churches. I'm trying to get uh, trying to get some meetings with officials within the government to try and explain to them what is really going on in our world. I think that you are a very good person. You might be John Wick, though. John, I can't remember the reference. John Wick is Keanu Reeves, the Keanu Reeves movie where he was like, you know, if you step on his dog, then he might go and kill everybody. But <laughs> you very much could be John Wick. So I'm going to just make sure I stay on your good side because usually it's the chill ones. It's the ones that got a good temperament. That's insane. Hey, he was honest, though, with Jack on that country, one. All of that other type of stuff. Um, I do, but I know I genuinely, all jokes aside, I think that you are a good dude. Um, I, I just couldn't imagine. It's almost, it's almost like you have heat-seeking radar for like broadcast elements. It's like, it was just silent there, like before and after. As soon as I went to push that button to have Talcott do the clip over the clip, you spoke right over it. So like, do you have some kind of radar where you know when the fuck I'm gonna talk or press a button and know exactly when the time is to speak over it? Wait, this you... might be some kind of superpower you have that we could actually direct in some way. Well, I mean, if you could figure out how to direct it, I'd obviously love to uh, get on board because, uh, yeah, th my intention was not to interrupt the, the flow. Sorry. No, no, no. It's okay. I just, again, I maybe there was something I wasn't aware of. Like you have some kind of sixth sense for destroying broadcast elements. And again, if that is like some kind of superpower, we could use that.
We've been on this seen, for a while. I've never seen somebody so consistent with you and with coincidences where doesn't matter what's going on. As soon as there's a sound effect, as soon as there's a comment, or so, you just talk right over it. And then <laughs> there's nothing before or after. And I go, this guy's got to have some kind of a, a vision here. Right? He's just well, not using well, it properly. Well, the thing is, is he, he said the John Wick comment. And if you would have looked at Jack's face at that moment, like it just resonated with me so hard. It just came out of the out of my mouth. Like I was like, damn, dude, seriously, you shouldn't fuck with Jack. Because look at him. He might be a killer. Well, you got a team coming out of you now off the mic. Son of a bitch. Yeah, this is what I you 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 know what? You might actually be demonically possessed. No one's mic ever does that. It's only yours. So if there's some demon who can watch me and see me, and it knows how to use you to destroy my broadcast elements. Is what I'm starting to believe. Because I can hear it coming out of you and or out of the microphone. It's this happens every few weeks or so. It it shows itself, right? Yeah, I've never heard that. that Demon, get behind me, Shatan. I'm sick of these demons everywhere. They're inhabiting everyone. This is a constant agents of chaos. I couldn't understand why they were talking the way that they were talking about you without you being on the stream. I couldn't understand it. Well, those people are they're good people over there too. What is great? People are good people. Well, that's part of it. That is part of it, but. I do see the hearts and I've received a lot of encouragement on and off the public realm from Uh people that I've met there. And so there's a humanity that's there. And then there's also, you know, we're living in this metaverse of virtual reality where the electronic creates this separation from us, but we're all human beings, man. We're all trying to figure out how to make this world a better place. Mm -hmm. I know we are If you're not trying to figure out how to make the world a better place. You're wrong. You you know, you know, who's got to be live at everything you do. I know. Yes. Is this another one of the crew members? Yes, he is. I got to say, what's up, Scott? Yeah, another name dropping star fucking overnight celebrity. Scott, come on down, Scott. What what's gonna be your talent for tonight? What do you got to show us and tell us? Scott, you muted. You muted, Scott. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Yeah. Great job. I can't hear you, Scott. Great job. Great stop. I can hear you now. What's up, Scott? Oh. How you doing, my friend? I'm chilling, man, trying to figure this whole, put this whole puzzle together. I was with Uncle Luke, right? And I was hanging out one day, and I realized I'm going to go to Hollywood and be famous and fight the system. Over about a month ago, maybe. Oh, I'm man. I know you're part of I can tell. Well, first question. My name's first, Scott, and I once cleaned Beyonce's pay taxes. toilet. What taxes? Oh, shit. Income tax, wage tax, you want to talk about sales tax, property tax? There's so many questions, and one question you just threw out there. A lot of them had to be paid. I need to see your 1040, Scott. Oh, no, you don't. I need to see your 1040, Scott. What if I do a 1099? You don't know me. No, the 1099 is just to make sure that you're a contractor. Scott, Listen, you like Oprah's husband, husband, husband on that show. I know. The 1099 is, is like a, it's an alternative to the W-2. What's the 1040, the 1040, the 1040 is what they show. care about. Listen, listen. Mm-hmm. Listen, here, listen here. What mm-hmm. are you talking about? So, like, this your John guy, something or other? What's his name? I'm not going to dump you. I rock with you. I just want to know what it is that I'm dealing with. Yeah, it's he kind of does like, look like John Goodman if he had uh if he had been doing oh crack for about God. seven years. Do you hear this right now? Oh Shay, do you hear this? Yeah, I do. Moose is an idiot. Wow. Can I get the yeah, baby Moose crying did. sound effect from now on when he does that? I, I'm on the computer now. I don't have the baby sound. No, 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 no. Oh. Yeah. See, there's the baby crying. Hear it? I, don't well, know, like, I figure, I don't like, know, like Paul, it's no disrespect to you. It's just somebody's got to be the fall guy here. And uh, if someone's going to be the idiot, it might as well be your best friend over here, Moose. Uh, when I say best friend, I, I, I mean, I mean that's totally made up in my mind. Uh, we've never actually talked about even being friends or even associating with each other. So. No, I'm already dealing with a whole set of idiots and fall guys right on the screen. I have to deal with another one here. I need that right now. No, you don't actually. I'm gonna, I'm gonna yield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it's best to just kind of comment about these idiots and fools rather than to be one right now. I mean, regularly, I wouldn't mind that. But this is what well, I'm kind of confused though. Like, I'm not confused with Scott, but I'm confused with with Jack. Like, Jack tried so fucking hard to get you to work with him. You finally work with him. I, no, you know, you don't he like get it, man. Just like you are, you're a user. He's a user. You want to sit next to people and see what you can get, one way or the other. I don't know what it is. You ought to figure out what it is. As soon as he got to someone who's above me in the hierarchy, as he perceives it, he just detaches from me like a rocket booster. Takes the boost, 
drops the booster in the ocean, pollutes the whole environment, and moves on to the next stratosphere. That's his MO. That's most people's MO. They think that's corporate ladder climbing and success. Yeah, but you can't put me in with that. Like, you can put me in with, like, making you bad decisions and, and being a bitch. You try to get to something, and you all broke bad on each other within four weeks because you're both users. And both um, users. No, no, hold, hold on, Paul. You did the same thing to him within a couple days as well. I'm not saying you, you uh, I got do? paid. I didn't do anything. I, I, I've been me the, the whole time. The same exact just... thing I was saying when I walked away from Talcott. You were saying today on the show. Like you were saying everything. Like he basically says, "Hey, you did all this stuff for me," and then the next day he goes, "You didn't do shit for me." He did the same fucking thing to me, like well, five days in a row. Why were you there to begin with? Because I need. Well, yeah, I guess I was using oh, him. I was no. I'm gonna admit to it. I was using him for a content creator, so that way I could get my skills better. Did you give me the There's baby no baby crying. crying. I sneezed and I asked him if he sneezed and he said no. That, I, that was a bit. And you know it was a bit. Okay, I is this a bit too where I say you're a user? Why were you with him? And you go, I need it. Wah, 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 wah. I just, I no, because you're gonna paint me as a user, so I, I'm gonna say, yeah, I used him. I used him to, to just like somebody who uh, is working on their craft uses someone else, you know, for free, basically, like. You you do work for them, right? And you, and you gain your skills, and then you move on. Like no, I would have kept the, doing no, it no, for no. Talcott, but no, he no, went. No, he no. broke bad that's on me. I didn't break bad on him. That's an apprenticeship, and that's done by someone in a certain position. Talcott is an insane person who came into seventy grand, and you went and took a thousand from him to be a producer. Not I didn't a producer. A, no, I didn't ask him for anything, bro. No, I did not ask him you for no money, and that's that's insane. where it's fucked up. That's where it's fucked up because I didn't you're ask. Talking over me. You're talking over me. You're not ethical enough to know he's insane and to not take money from him so you can get be a user to get more money. You should turn it down like I did. He offered me money. I said, I'm not taking it. I could have been so, in a tent. So what about the donations that he sent you in the past? I could have been in a tent on an Android and I wouldn't have taken Talcott's money because it's unethical. He's insane. He's delusional. He's power hungry and he squanders his resources regularly. It's not ethical to take money from someone to do a service you can't really provide fully. So the funny thing is, is that you take money from Talcott from donations that's and not the same thing, sir. You're making false equivalencies. And I even said after Talcott gave me a couple hundred bucks, Talcott, I really don't even feel right about you giving me donations because you have a pattern of behavior that's concerning to me and should be concerning to you. Okay? So don't try to make false equivalencies. He didn't pay me to do a service you claim was an apprenticeship for you to get better at broadcasting. Your users. I'm not a user. I do what I do because I like doing it and I see value in it. Others see value and they give. If I, if I determine that they're uh, uh, inherently incompetent and mismanage their affairs, I, I, I get concerned about receiving contributions from them. I don't just take any dollar from anyone. I don't want somebody squandering their resources trying to pay to get something from me or with me. Doesn't make me feel comfortable because I have fucking integrity and ethics. Yeah, that's why you have to throw me in the back instead of letting me explain anything. So I don't. I, I honestly think that you're just using this for bullshit. Uh, I come here because I I find some entertainment. I find some truth in what you say. But honestly, have fun, dude. I'm I'm done with this because you're you're seriously trying to paint me in a light that you and I both know is dishonest. So I part ways with you. Right. And I don't see a coincidence in what. OK, so you ran now. I don't see a coincidence in the cycle you ran with me and the cycle you ran with Talcott and how you both don't change who and what you are on some level. Right. You're motivated by something outside of just wanting to be part of the process. You suck Jack's dick and lied to him and everyone else to play his ego. Claimed it was an elaborate troll campaign. It turned into that because you realized you weren't going to get whatever it is you wanted or thought you were going to get the same thing he broke bad on you because he didn't get what he thought he wanted or was going to get. See, I didn't want anything from you, Moose. I didn't expect to get anything from you. I still don't. I actually enjoy you being here sometimes. 
I enjoy your commentary. I enjoy your high pitched estrogenated voice and the way you present sometimes. I enjoy your wit at times. Okay. I wouldn't have you here if I didn't. That's the only reasons. I have no belief or need to get something or somewhere from or with you. I'm simply enjoying the experience and giving the people some content and entertaining myself and others. So that's all I'm saying. The same thing I do with Talcott or anyone else. I do it for the love of the game, not what I can get out of it. That's all I'm speaking on. If that's not true for you, then let it not be true. But that's the pattern I've seen with you and him and many others here, including Scott, the name dropping star fucking user who from day one came in here out of nowhere and has been begging me to work with him or work with other people and constantly showing up wherever I go and having to piggyback. Okay. Cause he looks like a little piglet, a little dirt pig, as the man said. Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of tired of it, but with you, it's a little bit different. I actually see value in you and your, your presentment and your personality at times. If you can get out of your own way and stop wishing and hoping and digging and praying, right? Just stop all that. Just stop all that with Jack of, of thinking you're going to be an overnight celebrity. If it's going to fucking happen, it's going to be being next to me and doing this for the love of the game the same way I fucking do it. You're not going to get it any other way. But you can try and have at it. I'm willing to see what you come up with. I don't want to talk you down from being your best self. That's the reason why I was attracted to this in the first place. All right. That's what I was going to kind of give you a clue in on how I ended up here. Okay. So I want to hear your part to, to how, how did you join the crew? Well, first of all, before you, before you said that, why is the crew so dysfunctional? I've seen how y'all operate over there. That's not y'all. Okay. Cause nobody's got a frog in their pot. Mm. All right. There's some people that come together, go apart, come together, go apart. But I haven't noticed it's kind of like an accordion and mm. the real glue that holds anybody together um, seems to be momentary and, time and again and then comes back i mean there's uh there's love and vitriol on the same fucking sentence sometimes I mean, y'all are y'all be having a lot of dysfunction going on over there let me, let, me give you, let me give you what's going on there there's an uncovering of a lot of truths that maybe you're not so aware of and when keith came up just a minute ago i mean when you talk about you want to out him and you're going to take him literally to the guys that are literally the stormtroopers on the death star who's I mean, the stormtroopers the irs agents policy enforcers think about oh, this policy way. enforcers okay. okay yeah well i mean you have lawful and you have legal okay and once the government takes away now this is the libra code this comes right after the act of 1871 okay lincoln's act of 1871 and the libra code says when you're at war then it's martial law and the government becomes run by the, the military well take a look at the gold friends flag and courts and you'll understand it, there's something afoot here i don't want to go into it any further than that if you want to go back and follow some of these screens and go back and follow even back further how paul has discussed this with some of the policy enforcers you'll learn all that or we could set up a time where you could actually try and mediate i would pick Probably top five and say, look, we'd even find out about Flat Earth if you could keep everybody calm. But look, you'd, you'd be better to you know, so nominate as a mediator. No, I'm not nominating anybody. I don't have the ability. Okay, why I can't be the nomination as a mediator? What if I want to? What if I? No, no, no. What if like because there's no group and I run what the fuck goes on over here and it needs to be that way because if not, these bitch ass motherfuckers would trick everybody and themselves out of position with their ambitions and wants. So they can't nominate you as moderator. Only I could decide for you to be moderator. I'm actually open to that concept. But like you said, it's dead over here. Uh, not for long after you keep talking about me. So thank you, Anton. You really just did me service by promoting me and letting me speak on your platform. So I get that. Winking a nod to you. Broadcaster to broadcaster. You'd have to know that by continuing to use thumbnails and talk about me. You're really just promoting me. Because, again, it's only going to be X amount of people from your audience who jump ship like always because what the fuck I'm saying resonates with truth more than what you're talking, no matter what you can show and tell about especially the way you demean everybody saying everybody's poor and broke who ain't got millions. That's pretty much the majority of your audience, I suspect. Ain't millionaires or they wouldn't be there. So great job. They, they, these folks do all my marketing and promotion for me. I don't spend a motherfucking dollar. That's why I'm the god of all media. Black Panther, I want to challenge for to be the Black Panther of Wakanda over there. All right, I'm, I want to cha I'm challenging to be leader of y'all group now. I want to know what your marketing budget is. I don't need to have a marketing budget. Y'all don't even pay taxes. Come on, we need t-shirts, we need merchandise. Y'all don't, don't, don't pay taxes. What do you mean taxes? Y'all don't. Well, they told Willie Nelson to pay taxes and he put, put a big old party on in Texas. And they said, taxes? <laughs> listen, listen. I would like to take, God. Like to take control oh, of the group and I'm nominating myself to be the Black Panther. Can I tell you what I did the first, <laughs> first experience out of the box, how this happened, Black Panther? 
Okay, go ahead. Black right. Panther. I came in from 30,000 feet knowing that Paul, because I've seen a video. Now, I know the lizard because of friends with him on Facebook and following some of his stuff about the post office, about the codes, yeah, about the that yeah, this dick, is true stuff. He's telling you. Suck this guy that black dick. Studying for years. There's the wizard is having mail fraud over there, so I don't know. Uh, well, you might really... think so. You might think so. This guy next to you right there, Jack, used to be a postmaster. Not a postmaster, but he was in the post office for years. Yeah, that's business. not right what he did. <laughs> not according <laughs> to what I know. It's not. Okay. Then, then... <laughs> Fuck. You got me there, man. Damn. <laughs> Crash the burn on that. No, I don't know. Listen, I'll tell you. What, here's your question, Anton. Anton. So Jack just basically said Wizards doing mail fraud after Anton said he's going to get everyone indicted. So thanks, Jack. You helped out again. You could have just said I choose not to comment, but you know, for what you know, it's not correct. You know, because all that training you had by the corporation, of course, they've told you everything that's true and correct. You know the whole thing, right? That ain't that damn funny. Come back there. Come <laughs> Jack said, don't put me in this. <laughs> Jack ain't having it. Jack like, nope. Right out. So, it, now, I came in out of the blue, stepped up on a panel to Paul, okay? And I said, thinking that I've seen this video where he got away with driving without a license, driving out of the registration, driving without a fucking tag on his car or insurance. And the cop called the sergeant over. The sergeant listened to him and said, Look, maybe I'll talk to you another time. Thanks, you're free to go. And let him go. And Paulie goes, ah, see, that's how you're done. So that's what I saw. Then I went over to Paul's. I get on the panel, and I'm thinking, all right. I right you said it again. I didn't get away with driving without a license. So you don't do what I do, Scott. You keep saying you do and that you've done it all your life, and you haven't because you talk like you don't. I didn't drive without a license and get away with it. I was traveling freely, and they let me go after doing a false arrest on me, which is interfering with my forward movement. So just pulling me over is a form of arresting my forward movement. Got to tie Uncle Luke. Remember Two Live Crew? Mm -hmm. My boys and I were down there doing it. Two Live Crew. crew that we did some Game drop. Uh, they were doing Lorenzo's album and a spit take came Game drop star Yeah, I talked to Paul about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I talked to Paul about this. He didn't give a fuck. I'm glad you're listening, Anton. So, yeah, I was with Two Live Crew, Uncle Luke. I did a biggie tape, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Scott's name dropping and star fucking to try to like get Anton to be impressed. Anton doesn't give a fuck and he's going to act impressed to get power over me and find out all the dirt about me. This is called pillow talking and this is how you get a dumb bitch and a dumb hoe to give up all the information about the other side, right? You mack on them, get them in your bed, fuck them good, make them think they're going to get to something and then get them to spill everything they know about who they're fucking with day to day. So you're getting pimped and macked on, as always. I'm sick of you people, and that's why I don't want you around, because I spot you a mile away, and the pimps and Mac spot you a mile away. And Paul, everybody's like, oh, he's name dropping, he's name dropping. And I'm like, hold on, it ain't even about that. Like, this is getting interesting, okay. I'm like, it's about yeah. Like, well, fuck getting interesting. Eight people on the panel, like, drop me the fuck out. I'm like, we're not going to listen to this motherfucker. I'm like, wait, what? What the fuck? All I'm trying to tell him is Uncle Luke, Luke Skywalker, Luke, Luke Campbell, has gone up to the fucking Supreme Court and fought for fucking freedom, rights, and principles. Y'all do know. Listen, listen. You know what the most beautiful thing about this whole thing is? Black people think that white people are not crazy just like them. <laughs> we're nuts. We're worse. Black, we're black people think that dysfunction only lives within our communities. I just like they haven't just they haven't deep dive far enough into YouTube to actually see what the hell is going on here. I tell them this all the time. I tell them like dysfunction exists amongst white people, Asian Every, people, Hispanic people, ridiculous. black people, and y'all don't have y'all shit. Y'all shit is out here just like everybody else. And for some reason, we think or most of us think that we are an anomaly because of what the things that we discuss on YouTube and y'all motherfuckers is more dysfunctional than we are. Anton, do you think you're cornering crazy? No, you can't corner crazy. Let's stop competing. Y'all won. Y'all won. <laughs> Y'all are by far the craziest people on the internet. Hey, you haven't seen the Thorps, have you? I don't know. What is the Thorps? Oh my god. Is that a Marvel movie? Oh that Grace Thorpe, aka Joan. No, because oh I don't god. want I don't want to get my internet flag. What am it's I looking crazy. for? It's father, crazy, right? daughter, son, son, mother, all living together apart. Daughter maybe uh, has a weird relationship with dad. Dad and sons are weird fighting. I mean, this is so crazy. It's the dark. Well, the, the, the thing that I saw was darkest family on YouTube that somebody put together a fucking bunch of shit together. A bunch of clips together. We can hear you. You don't have to talk into the mic. We can hear you just fine. I was, I was doing something else. I was doing something else. But uh... let me. Hey, uh, Scott, let me ask you a question. Are you uh, are you you don't have to answer this or not? Are you married? No, I'm actually at. Uh... Um, in the past, but I'm in, I'm in uh, my mom's house. Mom's probably well, advanced age diminished capacity. I've been taking care of her, and you know, it's, you know, what we call that in the black community, right? 
Good sign of hope. No, nah, when the guy say I'm living in my mom's house so that I can take care of her, we call that a pookie. Yeah, I'm pookie not, man. I mean, I, I was called up. I was in a completely different state. All right, are you? Are you? Um, do you have any kids? None that I know, of, brother. Oh shit! Y'all just like black people. No, 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 bro. Y'all are. Well, just, I've been around music, so I've been calling. Y'all like, are literally yeah. black people with white skin. Yes, yes, there ain't no doubt about that. But listen, man, I hung around. I hung around everybody. There ain't no difference to me. You ain't black. You ain't white. You're just fucking different shade. That's all mm. I see. Mm. I don't see it that way. Now that's how come I've been fucking. You know, I'm not gonna name drop. I hate all that bullshit. <laughs> I've been around a bunch of fucking people, and I've had a lot of fun. And when when people call you, I'm not gonna name drop. I hate all that shit. You already did it twice. And you do it every time you come on a panel and every time you meet someone new. But you hate name dropping because I had to reveal to you that it's unattractive for you to name drop about shit no one cares about. You already did it here and you're about to do it again. But you hate all that. Right. You folks don't know yourselves. You haven't worked on yourselves. Your presentment is flawed. And you think you're going to get to your next come up and your next piece of money and pussy uh, playing with other people who you wouldn't even be in a conversation with if it wasn't for me. It's fucking pathetic and shameful. Yeah, on that, then your story ends. You're like, okay, well, I can't tell you that because then they're gonna say, oh, you're fucking. I'm mm. like, okay, what are you gonna do? And that's how that room runs. That's how that or that dichotomy of things has run over there that I've noticed. When I'm sitting here thinking to myself, okay, how can you move forward? I told Jack, I mean, somebody needs to come up with an outline if you want to plan something together with everybody. You started talking about who's the, the president, who's the captain, who's the lieutenant, who's the fucking sergeant at arms. Is there a fucking secretary and the treasurer? Does anybody know what the fuck they're doing? And the answer would be no. So why do y'all follow? Why do y'all follow this incel? Name Paul. Well, no, I came in because of the, the laws and trying why, to. No, no, there you go. That's what it's all really about, gentlemen. Why are you following this involuntary celibate named Paul? He can't really figure it out, Anton. The same reason more people are following me today for some reason. We're up 40, 50 people today and it's going to increase. We're going places, Anton. I told you that yesterday. I wouldn't say it if I didn't know it was true. Uh, I've known it for a while on some level, but wherever it goes. Completely, we don't know because there's shadow banning, there's notification games, there's channel bannings and all the rest of it. You even advocated for my channel to be banned again and for me not to be allowed to be here. So you want to call the IRS, you want to call YouTube, you want to call any other man to help you deal with the truth and the facts of the matter because you can't rebut it or respond properly. Responsibility. See, a lot of these house slaves, regardless of color, they think once they get to a bag, <clears throat> they don't have to be response able. Wait till you get to policy enforcement in court. Wait till you get to your women and children. They ask the tough questions and you can't respond properly because you don't have responsibility. I'm pretty darn good at responsibility, Anton. Ask the women and children I deal with. You can tell me about a successful marriage, but you'd have to show me. Telling me is not enough because you folks and your words can't be believed. That's your integrity and credibility suffering from how you've lived for so long. And see, it's only going to be a few people who really see it, but that's enough for me. Right, they say there ain't many of us. Less is more. There's plenty of us. No, no, but listen, why are y'all not following Jack? Jack is oh, the reasonable Jack. one, but y'all uh, are over here know. following Paul. Paul is over here smoking Reggie, getting arrested on a regular basis, and fucking Lewis. Right? I told, Jack, I told Jack that my work here is done just the other day in private. I told him I might be bailing real soon. True or false, Jack? And I told him that I could. No, 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 Scott, you come over here. Come on over here, man. Make sure that you're a part of what it is that we got. We got some good stuff going on over here. I don't mind. I don't mind talking to you. I'm not, I'm not, dude. I'm no, not, no, 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 Scott, we need your insight and information. We want you over here in order to be able to have these conversations. I want to. I chew the news, man. I chew Tic Tacs, Drake, fucking Coca Cola my whole life. Okay, oh, well, let's kick it. And, we'll get, get and no, listen, listen, listen. And bring your friends with you. Uh, no, bring your dysfunctional fucking friends with you, and we're going to have a conversation. Some of these people will come, I'm sure, but I mean, this, listen. I'll bring them all. Bring them all. Here, just talk to Paul. The, the thing Fuck Paul. Is, Paul is over here smoking Reggie. I know, I know, but listen, what I want you to know about him is, is the, and, and I'm not trying Oh, so you would really follow a man named Paul Enslaved? At, no, least, I, at I, least you know my whole real name. Listen, I'm not, I'm not I know his, his name. No, you. my name is actually on the internet. Yeah, but I know his last name. I mean, I know his father. His father comes on his stream. I mean, you have oh, to know that, that guy Paul's fa yeah. What is Paul's father? What is, his, what is his father like? All right, so there you go. So Anton Desperately right there wanted to ask what my last name was, but he held off to ask more about me and my father so he could like, you know, butter them up and get more information about me and my father and my last name and where I'm at. So you could see how he's like prodding and poking for information. He's trying to make them feel understood or accepted so he could apparently play some kind of behind the scenes games with me. So, and then he'll say later, Oh, email me privately. We got more work to do, right? He's going to talk to you privately, ask what my name is and then try to have something done to me and you'll give it. 
because you punk ass cowards and you don't respect me completely because you respect me for what I've done and what I stand for, but you don't respect how I speak to you and how I deal with you. But the reason I speak to you and deal with you the way I do is because you're like this. You can't be trusted in your liability because you got too much ambition and ego for the wrong reasons. Oh, uh, you can go watch it on Jack's streams. Um, he sits back. I'll tell you what. He, Paul, so Paul's played, father comes on the streams too? Yeah, I played. he came on one of Jack's streams or something and pulled one of these and sat there. And then I did it to Paul a couple nights later and never said a word. And Paul fucking got freaked out and turned off his camera. Just sat back like this for about His father? Hour. His father did. Was that on your Here goes Scott telling all of the dirty laundry and airing out me and my father's interactions. Who knows why? Because he's like at the table now at dinner and feels accepted, like I said. And he's just going to pillow talk and tell everything he saw and heard and felt. Just like a bitch. Why do people feel they have, have the right to do that? Paul, the board, it, it, just his father just sat back like this. I mean, hey, Jack, let me let me send, send me that send me that live stream. I want to check that out. I'd have to find it if I can. And this is why, if a fat slave like this came into my life in real life, I wouldn't even have him at the table because I saw him for what he was day one. I have him here because it's metaversal public. But even here, you can't have him here because they're all liabilities. Can't get out of their own way. And can't shut their fucking mouth. Same people, if you ever have any problem with policy enforcement or whatever else, can't just shut the fuck up. They'll be in every room with a hamburger and a cigarette that the cops gave them running their mouth about everything they saw and felt and then blaming you for whatever the fuck they did or didn't do. It's every single time with these people. And this is why I don't have them near me. I don't have them in my life. And I really don't want to deal with them here. I try to use them and make content out of them because they chase me around all day and don't fucking go away because they're coattail riders. OK, and wizard, that's like the third time you've come in and left. If you can't come in here and stay here because the connection's off then leave it for when you can, because I don't want to sit here putting you up, putting you down, having you go leave, put you up, have you leave, have you, up, have you leave. It changes the screen. It's, it's an impediment to me at that point. At least for this segment, right? This is like not a regular necessarily panel. I still put a link down. I don't mind having folks up, but this is more of a me and an Anton situation. Uh, it's my commentary on our video from last night where he silenced me rather early and then sucked dick with these folks for an hour to have something done to me, apparently, which is which is what it would seem to be. But his father seems to be a nice guy, but doesn't, you know, him and Paul have a relationship where he, Paul does not treat his father very well. Calls him slave, fucking mm -hmm. rips the shit out of him. It's all the time. You can find that. I can't on. believe it. There you go. I don't treat my father properly, Scott says. Scott's my mommy now. He's going to follow me around to every panel and talk about me and speak for me and tell my business and my interactions and then just speak on my character. I treat my father badly. I treat my father like everybody else, the way he should be treated. You want respect? Fucking earn it. You don't earn it. You don't get it with me. The same way with the creative force. You want respect? You want honor? You want glory like all you overnight celebrity chasing slaves want? Fucking earn it. And then see how fleeting it is once you get it, if you're living a certain way. Because you could go at any time and you might have to give everything up to be given everything back. You don't fucking live like that. No, you're not dealing with the fucking Antichrist. I think you're dealing with the guy who thinks that everybody else is. Wait a minute. Well, listen, listen. I, I, I need to reach out to this, this, this man to make sure that I, I apologize on behalf of what Paul has done. Because uh, no father, and we all, uh, right. in one way, shape, or form, has has helped or participated in the success of somebody else, or we've been raised and we're, we're taught even in the Bible to honor your mother and your father. And to yeah, be able to talk to, like that, to, to talk to them like that, I'm, I need to understand what the hell is going on here. I'd like to speak with him. I think Jack could arrange that probably. Don't Jack, you Jack, you got work to do, buddy. I, I can offer, you know what? He does, I don't know how to reach anyone offline, but I do know that people do come. You're welcome to my stream, 5.30 every day, but- 5.30 uh, what, p.m., a.m., Eastern? P.m., West Coast. Uh, uh, Pacific? Pacific, yeah, eight thirty. I've been doing every day for a Jack, while. Jack, what's yeah. the name of your channel? Jack Talcott, my name. Okay, okay, Jack, me and you gonna be in touch because I need to speak with Paul. Hey, listen, listen, and Jack, I need to speak with Paul's better. dad and see what the hell is going on here. Right. No, I'm I'm sick of it. I don't I don't. We don't need any crazy people just recklessly not respect. Right. So next, what we'll see maybe possibly is my father will go on Anton's panel, tell me I'm a liar like he's done here before, and then try to promote his fucking book. You know, Pop, if you go over there and disparage me in just the right way and you like hold your book up, you might get a few more sales of it. And you could be a bag chaser with Anton, you know, it wouldn't surprise me. Right? It wouldn't surprise me if a handful of people start following Anton, going over there, showing up on his panel, basically talking shit about me and promoting their shitty products and lifestyle. 
would not surprise me at all. All right. Respecting their parents, smoking reefer and, and getting arrested and disrespecting their parents and thinking that they just going to just going to say whatever they want to say and not. Oh, no, 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 uh, not, no not on my watch. Let's not, let's not, make it, let's not make on my it, watch, buddy. Let's 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 make it about growth, about helping them, about helping. How can we help them until we, before we reach out to better? The, the Bible saying everything you do, get understanding. Yeah, that's it. That's how can right. I, how can I help them? And before we get understanding as to what it is that we're dealing with here, guys, let's make a deal right here by calling authorities and the IRS and involving people. That, let, me, let me just say it this way. My father, I, I would give my left arm, my right leg and a testicle to have fucking two days with my father. Not the testicle. I, yeah, even the testicle. I don't know. Fucking, what, what am I going to get anybody pregnant this time? Uh, no, I don't even give a. F my point is, is that to have my father back in my life, it's almost priceless. It would, if I could ever do. So that, to see I the disrespect, now you guys see right. how important it is for us to rally the troops right. and rein in the craziness, so that we can get some stability. Because listen, God is not God is not happy with the dysfunction and the division by which He sees things happening out here in these streets, especially on social media and right. representation. Right. Of right. And if we if we can't gather our troops, All right? And this is exactly what would happen to folks like Kanye. You ever see the stories, whether it's real or not? This is how it happens. Somebody comes out of nowhere. Get starts getting seen who maybe wasn't supposed to be part of the group. He's saying a bunch of outlandish shit. And now all the people around him start helping him. Like Anton just said, we got to help him. So he's going to reach out to my father. He's going to get Jack and Scott. All the people who have helped me so much in certain ways in the past, this is what they'll do. They'll try to play on their heartstrings, pimp on them, say I'm crazy and that I shouldn't be living like this. I could get a big bag like him and get it all the way he does it. And then you wouldn't have to worry about Paulie and you wouldn't have to do nothing Paulie does either. That's a shaitan deceiver. So this goes on all day, every day. You, you let anyone like this in your circle, they get preyed on by someone like this. Next thing you know, you see me in a hospital in a straitjacket getting medicated. What happened to Paulie? Oh, they helped him. All the people around him because he was just off and he was on one, right? He was saying crazy wild shit. Couldn't have that. So don't think that this is so out of the realm of possibility. I've seen it directly in my own life, right? This is this is this is not anything surprising. As sons and friends of Jesus Christ, then how is it that we can go out here and preach the gospel to the people? I need to see what's going on here. I want to know everything. I want you guys to send me the streams, send me the channels. I want to talk to Paul's father. I need to see what the hell is happening out here because we're not going to continue to move along like this before we gather ourselves together and get things in order. I don't want to have to keep coming into the church and turning over the tables in the tabernacle. Oh, you're you're the Christ of that's a, <laughs> that's a that's a common theme over there. Everybody's Christed over there. It's all they're all rising up and walking on. No, walking no, no, no. I see Pharisees and Sadducees. But I think that we're all meant to be, <laughs> you know, brothers of Christ. You know, the brother or the you know. But uh, I mean, anybody that thinks they're walking on water's got to show me that first. I mean, that's that's my belief, and I think that um, we're all trying to walk a, a great walk, in my opinion. If you're trying to, and Jack, you know, go back and look at some of his streams. Go back to the beginning of his with Paulie, and you'll learn a lot of why this went this way. I mean. I, who found who, Jack? You found Paul or Paul found you? I found him. That, you found him? Mm -hmm. Did he treat you much in the same manner? Yeah, who found who? Now Scott's going to ask, did I treat Jack the same way I tra treated Scott? So now they're going to bond together over how I didn't love them properly in front of Anton, their new daddy. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute, little boys? Right? Did I find Jack or did Jack find me? The same way that happened with me and you, Scott. I don't find you people. You always find me. See, see how the power and the attention flows usually in one direction, right? And then again, you 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 folks confuse the dynamic because I give you my greatest resource and power, my time, energy, and attention. So because I give you my time, energy, attention, you think we're on equal footing and we're not, right? This is what's ironic about it. Everything Anton says about me, that's not true, okay? That he thinks is true about him. He's better than me. That's true about me for you folks. Because you come here and you show that I'm better than you every time, not only in broadcasting and presenting and clarifying the facts of the matter, um, you know, using the language, whatever it is, uh, when it comes to dealing with other men and being honorable and loyal to a cause and an understanding, I'm better than you. OK, so not because I have a bigger bag. No, because of the way I choose to live my life. That's a choice. You could choose to be better than the majority of motherfuckers, the way you think, feel, and act, and how you conduct yourself in certain situations. What is a measure of a man when you give him power or put his back against the wall? You get the least bit of power and you go to act like a pillow talking hoe every single time. I'm trying to undo me in order to get to something. Jack, did he treat you just like he treated me when we first met? Oh, we got a bad daddy. Anton, will you be our new daddy? And he treated me when he dropped in. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Because I've seen the way he treated Jack. Scott, how did he treat you? 
I told you the whole fucking thing is, oh, name dropping. Who are you? You fucking just some slave. Who the fuck are you? Oh, no, 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 Scott. Hold on. Wait a minute. You deserve respect. Right. Oh, absolutely. I will not have anybody disrespecting you, Scott, unwarranted when all you did was try to provide information. Now, Anton's going in his white into his white voice completely and really pimping and macking on Jack and Scott. And they're giggling and laughing and looking down and they're like, you're right. I should be respected. Daddy should have treated me better. The same thing they did with Moose and all the rest of them got in their ego and in their feelers said, daddy should have loved you more. And because he didn't, you should break bad on him and come hang with us. Right. And because Anton's got viewers and money, oh, they're all too willing. And we just broke 200 today. I think that's our first time ever breaking 200. See how it works. Cause they say it's not about the numbers till it is about the numbers. Well, I had said for a while because I got shadow banned and then actually banned multiple times and had to walk it back with legal lawful process on the first channel. This is a second channel. And even this one's getting notification games sometimes. But it don't matter because, like I said, wink and nod, Anton must know all he did was promote me. OK, so every time that I get a little bit stagnant, I just keep doing what I do. I stay consistent seven days a week, sometimes six to eight hours a day. I take this like a full time job. So by doing that, I'm guaranteed success. It's only a matter of time with the way I do what I do, how I do what I do, that I'm going to come up on something, right? So you're my next come up, Anton. Thank you, right? Even if I broke 200 the first time just now, we know why. Because there's probably 40, 50, 60 people who decided to come over here and see what the fuck we're about. It's not how you get them here. It's how you keep them here. Uh, and the real always recognize the real. So uh, it's a numbers game. On one level, it's a probability game on another level. Um, it's a truth, life, and way aspect on the highest level. Uh, greetings, sir. How are you? You would like to say something? Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't need to do a horrible De Niro bit. No, you're not going to destroy I, this. I can't tell. Yeah, you're not going to destroy this broadcast and ruin Here the you go. I'm backing you up the whole fucking time. You tell me yeah, no, I'm not sure interested. And then and, and you tell me I'm going to be traded to fucking. No, you're going to vote for Donald. The numbers are dropping. Numbers no, are dropping. I'm going to go as back to that. We're talking about numbers, numbers are dropping as soon as every. No, 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 no. As soon as everyone heard your voice, numbers started dropping again. Yeah, okay. I can't take All that right. risk. Okay. All right. Do what you got to do. All right. So you're going to vote for Donnie again, aren't you? This next uh, election? I, I don't know if he'll be the number one there, but you're going off track here. You're going to vote we, for Daddy. We you're going to vote. No, no, no. You're going to vote for White Dad. Stop it and answer the damn question like no, Anton says. Question. Anton says he sets the rules, so do I. Answer oh, the question. you didn't like it when Anton set the rules. And his no, house. I didn't oh, like it, boy. but he was in control, and so am I. Oh, Are you going to fucking game. vote? All the control Power games. Game. Yeah, I'm playing them right now because See you are the question. I have to play face, That's my face. I Jack's answer face. every question. You don't. You need power no, games. I don't need to answer questions. You need governance. You can't govern no, yourself. No, 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 you no. Notice how numbers are going up. The more that I speak, they yeah, go down no, as soon as no, you no, speak. No, We're back up not. over 200, 202. Oh, so you're getting just like this other. The broadcast other... trip tonight. You get you get just like this other guy talking about numbers and name drop and who gives a yeah, shit. Yeah, I'm gonna put on a rainbow bear hat too because you're soft. Oh, you probably would. You probably would. You know that the fat fuck. Right. No, that's that's that guy's just like you, just like Talcott. You're all the Not same. Not like me. I you're called that. Faced. I you're called that faced, fat Jack fuck out. Infidels. I cut that. I called that fat fuck on the pa on the panel weeks ago. You're all the same. Don't try to same. don't try to bomb with me over how he's different from I'm you. I'm not bombing Talcott. with anybody. You're all the same. All the same. You vote Man. for worldly masters. You have all worldly the same. See, see, look you at have Jack's no real face ethics there. and principles. You won't stand for nothing, and you give up your I, own I, grandmother. I, again. I stand up for everything. Look at Jack's face. See, that's what I think. Right there. Numbers going back yeah. up, please. Right. Right. All right. Leave it alone. I'll take the credit. I'm taking the credit for the numbers. I'm sure going you will. Up. You always do. It's all about I you. I do. Just I like Jack, just like Scott. Like I said, you just like him. It's always got to be all about you whenever it's... And here, here, here. You know. I come in here to back you up and look, look, look. That Who needs you to back up. me the fuck up all of a sudden? Oh, call me a no. Liar. You, you can call me a liar again. I'm finally on the train. I'm, I'm, I'm on the Call me a liar train. again. I didn't call you a liar. You, you said, said it earlier. You said many times I'm a liar on a broadcast. Oh, and you And then do. you said you're my biggest supporter. Call me oh, a liar. I am. I am. My biggest supporter calls me a liar on a live broadcast. Well, you know, I call, I call him but as I, I see him. I don't even lie. I don't even lie. I call him. I call him as I see them. Right. 
All right, let's get back to the damn video. You're you're wasting my time. Oh, uh, wasting your time. Quiet. But I had already watched some of these streams. We get enough of this with the government. Now we got to deal with it with, with the people that's supposedly the same cigar. It, it, he has a different approach. Listen, I mean, listen. Some, we're not, not going to cover it up and call it. We're not going to cover up a bunch of shit and call it flowers. Listen, well, well, here, here's, here's the truth. You deserve love. You deserve a place where you can come and speak your mind, speak your truth without being judged. And listen, if you say something that's crazy, then you just got to substantiate your argument as a result of it. But let me tell you something, Scott. You and all your, all your buddies and all your friends, you're welcome over here. I appreciate that. But I do understand Paul in trying to keep things authentic. And when someone's cycling, when they're um, literally looping back and forth on things, when things don't make sense and they're just, uh, you know what I mean? They're not true to themselves. They're just full of shit. Like you said a minute ago. Agree. Agree. On it real quick. And he doesn't now, and, and not that and his, his fucking cast the character do the same thing. So there's a lot of yelling. There's a lot of screaming. All right. So now Scott says, I just loop and I'm full of shit. He's the guy who's going to come in from the beginning and work with me and help me. And why don't I trust him? And why won't I work with him? Because you're a liability star fucking overnight celebrity. That's why. So you try to undermine me and demean my character in front of your new black daddy. Well, I hope you could take that whole black dick, as he says. He was talking earlier on his panel about the women who we're married to, if we pay for their shit, should have to fuck us whenever we want and take the whole black dick, not just part of it, the whole thing, and enjoy it, right? So he wants a corporate whore at home, just like he is in the world, and you better be willing to be that. So push up on it. And sometimes just I've seen it. I've witnessed it. I well, and I, I brought up a Robert's Rules of Order, but to get fucking here, the trains left the station, and to get fucking all these guys to go back and try and corral them, you might need a different platform if you're going to bring them up. You know what I mean? I, so I, they know from the beginning the rules. I hear you guys, and I and I, you know what? One thing about me is that I'm 100 authentic. Um, I'm willing to be open to the possibility that I'm wrong. I'm also willing to have conversations, obviously, right? Um, and listen, I may be off on some things, but I'm not above reproach. I'm not above being held accountable. I can continue to evolve. We're all growing together, right? So if that be the case, then at some point we need to corral the troops and we need, cause I mean, listen, 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 Jesus died for our sins. We are literally the seeds of Abraham. If you look at all of the letters that was written over to the, that Paul writ, wrote over to the Galatians and he highlighted how the, the, the actual manifestation of the, the covenant that God had with Abraham, as far as us now being the seeds of Abraham and that we're going to number the earth based off of the fact that we give our lives over to Christ and we subject ourselves to the ways of the Lord. And then we see this happening. This is not how it is that we're supposed to be functioning. And so we need to figure out who we are first before we sit here and we try to preach the word because then we just look like a bunch of fools out here professing the name of the Lord. And why would anybody follow Christ when they see us being so dysfunctional amongst each other? That's the first thing that I observed when I went over there and seen you guys. And so I think that we need to have a come to Jesus moment where we all get together and and we we really get down to the root of this thing. Bro, and not me. And I'm not going to I'm not going to lie. I think yeah, that you you make say man, I, I would love to see it. Here's well, I need your support, Scott. Well, I, I'm, listen, I'm gonna... I, no, Scott, I need your support. If, if I'm going to do this, because listen, I'm a businessman, which means that my time is money. And so when I take time away from the things that actually add the most value into my life to really advocate on the behalf of the people that I care for the most, because you guys are my brothers, you're my brothers in Christ. And if I got to take time off of this, I need your unwavering. And it doesn't mean that I can't be wrong, but I need y'all support in order to galvanize the troops so that we can do the thing that's in the best interest of all of us, which is the work of God. Could you see how he gave you the whole look at the end, the duping delight? You know, we're doing the work of God, more pimping and macking. He needs Talcott and Scott to rally the troops and work together against me, of course, for my benefit, to help me, right? Just more power games. And, of course, the two biggest hoes are going to fall for it, but it don't mean nothing to me or anyone else. And anybody else who comes forward and, and is a part of this, you're going to get used and embarrassed as well. So have at it because I know a lot of you thinking about you're toying with the idea of starting a channel or using your channel to promote on there because he's got an awful big opportunity Right. And you'll just promote me again and you'll be a little flash in the pan, a momentary uh, commentary on me and my life. And it'll go nowhere. So go ahead and have at it. You know, try it out. See what you can get to. Did uh, you hear me? I, I, I do want to say I'd like to try and help you if I'm available and able to. I will. I'm in a preoccupied state. And no, I Scott, 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 I need your commitment. You know, the Lord says the Lord says, don't be don't be lukewarm. Don't be on the fence. Be hot or be cold. Because lukewarm, he spit you out of his mouth. He spit you out of his mouth. And he also said, he also said that his people would be able to hear his voice, that you would know his voice, right? And you know who your brothers are, and you know who it is that's aligned with you. Scott, I don't want you to be lukewarm. I want you to be on the team. I need your commitment to this. I gotta talk one-on-one -on -one off this fucking platform. I need you, but I but I'm just telling you what my expectation is. Oh, Anton needs a commitment now. A, a, a well-known sales technique. No, I need you to commit to me right now and show that I have the power in the situation. 
Scott wants to talk off the panel. He wants to talk privately and suck more dick, really get it down his throat. But he wants to do it privately. He don't want everyone to see it. He sucked enough dick in public. He's kind of feeling a little bit shameful. He wants to really throat it, though, in the backstage area. So that's where you really get to that power and, and feel what it's about. Expectation, Scott. You hit my expectation. We'll talk, and then I might give it to you. I send, me, send me an email, Scott. I want to talk to you. The, uh, listen to this. Today, I bought this book, okay? This is a fucking uh, American Dictionary, Noah Webster, 1828, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There you go. It's all good. Smaller circle, less to feed, right? There you go. Here's Moose coming right out of his subconscious again, like when he broke bad on me and brought up money out of all the things he had to bring up. Good luck with all the money. Have fun with it. Right. I'm not here to feed you motherfuckers. That's exactly the point. Right. Why the fuck am I here like your daddy to feed you? Why the fuck can't you do your own shit and feed yourself without using my name or doing it with me or what the fuck I do? Why is it you can't come on and be part of a broadcast? You know, there may be a time for that dummy when you say shit like that and reveal yourself. I'm not in a position to feed your goofy ass or anyone else's. So if that's the reason I got to have a bigger circle, right, then, you know, I'd rather have my circle small. I'm not here to feed you. And there may be a position when I can do that and I may offer that, but not if you talk and act like that. See, I'm more likely to feed Rob Cleveland, even though he brings little to no content because he don't say much to sit there and smile. That's fine. But he's not looking to be fed and to get a daddy. He actually contributes to me, even though he works his balls off overnight and sleeps during the day. Like he hit me with a contribution the other day, right? So he's contributing, right? He's trying to support. He's trying to be down for the ride one way or the other is what it seems to me. You folks want to get to something. And when you can't, you say shit like small circle means you don't have to feed nobody, right? I ain't your Curtis Jackson. You ain't my G unit. I don't have to feed you. You want to be part of a broadcast different from the rest? You be here and do it. If we get to something at some point, you might have access to that. Because I'm not going to sit there and let you be a broke ass bitch, even though that's exactly what it should be, because everybody should be able to get to what the fuck they need to separate from this broadcast. That's how life works. I didn't come on somebody's broadcast and say, I'm part of your circle. Feed me. You're right. I wouldn't do that. It's fucking embarrassing. I come on. I do what the fuck I do for the love of the game. I'm good at it or I'm not. If I'm good at it, I stay consistent and it gets to somewhere and something. So play your position, know your role, do that, do it for long enough, and you'll see the blessings, grace, and the benefits. Not two, three weeks at a time, a few days here and there at a time, like Talcott and the rest of you. You got no fucking ethic, you got no will, no dedication, no discipline, and you got no long game idea of what this is. You just talked earlier about being an apprentice. If you were smart and you were savvy and you played a long game, you'd shut the fuck up, stop getting in your feelers, like I've told you before privately, sit next to me, work with me, get good at being in the room and doing the back and forth flow and knowing when to talk and when not and develop some fucking timing, which you're known for already. And then you'd go and do your own shit at some point when you're ready. But you wanted to do that already earlier and break bad on me to do it because you don't have a fucking ethic and discipline and will. And you don't know how to be a motherfucking apprentice because you're a bad hoe. A lot of you are bad hoes. If you were good hoes, you listen to daddy, do what the fuck I instruct you to do, and you'd see the blessings and the grace. But you don't do that. You don't fucking do it. And if you do do it, you might even be good at it, but you don't fucking stay consistent. It's here. It's there. It's shoddy fucking equipment. You know, it's, it's shitty fucking timing. It's not knowing how to read the room, when and where, what's appropriate, what's not for what's going on. Right. So if you took your fucking life and this broadcast or your role in this broadcast seriously and you did it for what it could be used for the right way, not the wrong way you want to use it, okay? Stop worried about getting fed. Feed your own bitch ass off the clock out of here and then come on here and do it for the love of the game and do it for the learning to be an apprentice and get better at it. Just reading the room, doing the timing, responding, right? And being a part of what we got going on here. Why wouldn't you just want to be a part of what's going on here? Why the fuck do you have to get something else extra? Why? You want that? Go do it in your life. Why does it have to be here? Why are you entitled to that? I just, I wouldn't even think and feel like you wouldn't even occur to me. That I would come here and be entitled to something. Beyond just being part of the experience and creating the experience and giving the people something and seeing where the fuck it goes. And seeing what you create after this. I just don't get it.
right? No, I get it. It's called being incompetent and lacking the tools for success and then wanting everything to be given to you when you don't put the fucking work, the time, energy, attention, and consistency. Mm -hmm. I just want you to understand. Ask Jack and Scott about that. They know a lot about it. There's a paragraph and a half from the fucking two centuries ago okay. um, where he basically says, I don't know what the fuck this word is. I mm. can but it's kind of strange. Um, I'll share it with you offline. I don't want to try and go through some of these words, but basically the last uh, line of it, having qualities, having the qualities of a man. Okay, hmm. So someone is not a man, not for all intents and purposes, but parts of speech put together. And if you think of this, hue being color or shade of and man put together, you want to just be a man because I wouldn't want to be a shadow, would I? Hmm. So if you go into court and you start talking about I'm just a shadow, couldn't a judge treat you as such? Well, such we don't have to have that conversation. Assumptions and presumptions being at play. Okay, so Moose Person is back. What now? Moose I person. wasn't talking about you feeding me. I was talking, uh, I was responding to Wizard who said that it's it's a <clears throat> small or a lonely life being real. And I said, yeah, a smaller circle is easier to feed though. It's, you know, like that had nothing to do with you feeding me, Paul. I wasn't talking about you. But it made for good content. Either well, way, I want Moose you to person, know that. Either way, Moose person, I still think everything I said kind of applies. And this is where I the don't. danger. I, I disagree with that. I'm open now to we're running off the panel and getting uncomfortable and then going to, back to chatting with all your Twitter fingers. Well, yeah, but the, that's part of my thing. I just go down there and I like stir right, up a I bunch of chaos and stuff. Just, it gets some people talking. What's the subconscious motivation for the idea of small circle, less defeat? Right, like, like. Well, what, it's what? Le it's less to protect. It's less responsibility. The bigger your circle is, the more responsibility you have, and the more like holes you have to to watch out for. Like, if you're somebody who has a hundred people under one roof, that's a lot of people that could betray you, that could do something wrong, that could fuck up. Like all kinds of like variables. Every every person. Right. Well, I mean, the other side of that variable. wouldn't it be the other side of that would be like if everyone was united in principles and discernment and vision, that we would be way stronger and way more beneficial to have a larger circle. We can't have that. So I guess you could say it's less to feed. There's also less benefits and privileges and opportunities for experiences because of that. So I guess if that's what you were saying, then yes, that's correct. And it's a shame it's that way because there's enough to eat for all of us. Right? Yeah, and I, I understand what you're saying. I, I, I'm not saying that we shouldn't have a bigger circle. I'm just saying like, you know, I, my circle is so fucking small because I don't know who to trust. I can't trust people in real life, let alone people on the internet. Can you trust yourself? Let's get a little cliche. Can you trust yourself completely? Oh, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, I can trust myself because I can differentiate between my character, like like my bit, my online character, and like real life. Like I'm completely different, like day to day. I'm a hundred percent devoted to what I do. Like I, I'm successful in everything I'm doing right now. Like my marriage is going great. My my business is going good. Um, it's hard work. It's not easy. But our right, numbers are dropping ins insanely. Let's get back. All to right, me. all right, get back to yelling at me. No, no, let's get back to Anton. We got to finish this up. You know what, Jack? You know what, Jack? You inspired me to go ahead and put that hat back. The live chat's great over there, too. It's really exciting. <laughs> Live without fear. Live without fear. Life without fear. Um, so, for real, uh, Anton, I will. I will try and drop you an email. Jack, uh, get it from you or whatever. Um, or you have it in your, your YouTube? Yeah, listen, he has my email. We'll be in touch, ladies and gentlemen. Um, let me let me get some rest because we got we got work to do, and I'm very much expecting to stay in touch with you guys and 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 really put this thing together. Okay, guys. Jack, use a, I'll, I'll reach out to Jack uh, somehow and try and get your uh, email. I'll send you my phone number. I want to talk to you if that's okay, Anton. Right. Okay. Sounds good. We'll talk soon. Thanks, brother. Absolutely. Okay, Jack. I'm gonna see you later, my friend. Hey, I want to tell you thank you for uh, the opportunity and making yourself available. Absolutely. I, Anytime. I resonate with a lot of things you said, and if you can invest, you know, sacrifice a little bit of time and let's. Absolutely, Jack. I like, I like okay. you, my guy. Much love. Thank you, brother. Have a good night. All right, you too. Right. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, we started off talking about the hyenas, and this is where we end up. You don't know where you're going to end up and how things are going to go when you jump on a live stream. Whether it's the Millionaire Morning Show, whether it's the Hanson Daniels Channel Fight Club, don't do coke in the bathroom. It is all. All a phenomenal show just for you guys. 
let me go ahead and read the super chats because a lot of you guys have been supporting the platform. I just want to make sure that I acknowledge y'all. Shout out to Black Man Swimming for the fireball. I appreciate you. Cliff is in the building. Says, Mr. White Man, please strengthen your argument. Uh, Ramon Sim says, you too, busy bag chasing. Wise words from Paul. Facts. See, that's the one thing that he said correctly. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Lady Shan is in the building uh, with the Hadouken. Shike Auto LLC says, yo, you got the Hiroshima Nagasaki now. Lockhart Perspective is in the building, says Anton is on point as usual. God ordained tail whipping. Alvin S says, no weaves with plenty of dust on them white men's sandals. <laughs> shout out to Deborah. Uh, shout out to Deborah says, beaming face with smiling eyes. I appreciate you. Quinn is in the building, says, ignore the IRS. And y'all don't have to pay taxes. Tell the IRS Keith said so. <laughs> LeGarrette is in the building, says, shout out to Anton. I appreciate you. Uh, Anthony the Great supported with the five ball. Quentin is in the building, says, Mr. Logic, Nuggets and Six. Socrates Logic. Uh, also says Scott went full Kyrie with the flat earth <laughs> and spaces is in the building says dude has ran himself out like a rapper uh, Jack is so embarrassed by Paul it's been a wild wild night I hope that I didn't um, shout out to Bill and Nico live with no fear make sure y'all follow them on Instagram and then y'all can also get yeah that's the irony is that Jack is embarrassed by me right even after all I've done and, and been dealing with folks who found me to be an embarrassment being with him and, and dealing with him he thinks he's so important and, and uh, you know, has so much to do here. He's embarrassed by me in front of Anton. That's the irony of these dynamics with a narcissistic personality like Jack. So it's the other way around, Jack. You're a fucking embarrassment in everything you do, and you're the only one who doesn't know it. You know, I should be embarrassed being in a room with you or even being part of your emails. And I didn't do that because I'm not arrogant and egoic. I tried to have fun with it. And this is where you go again. And you and Scott are begging Anton to talk with him privately. A couple of hoes. So there you go. Anton pimping and macking. Spectacular. The merch. I like to support my, my fellow people. Over uh, this. Rocking out. Thank you to Jack, Scott, Paul, uh, Keith, and everybody that jumped. All right. So there you go. That's it. Go ahead, panel. If you got anything, take it away. Um, Can you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, John. We can hear you, sir. I asked a couple times. How did your interaction with Anton start, Paul? Did he put you bring you up on his show first or Oh, I have to read the I have to read the Jack off email. Because um, in my opinion, Anton's part of the B system, and I don't understand why Jack is over there, you know. Oh, he was on with Dr. Phil, sir, and he's pretty well known in certain communities. That's he was why on with I Dr. wanted Phil, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's why I was pimping and macking on him because I wanted to get in the conversation with certain people who were in the room with him, um, one of which being Charleston White. So I basically went up on his panel one day, right? Like I wanted to build at first because, you know, silly me, I got a grandiose ego, they say too. I said, I'm pretty good at what I do and speaking what I know and I have a certain presentment. I'm going to go up there and we'll, 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 we'll kick it around a little bit, right? Um so bottom line is he went to act in the same way he did today, except I wasn't going off on him. I was just telling him what I was doing, what I was about, and what I was advocating for all of us on different levels. And he got triggered and threw me out. And then yesterday uh, led to these series of interactions when I typed something in his chat and he got triggered and did a whole segment about me and white men. From what I right. gather, it sounds like he wants to get to a point where he has enough wealth to control legislators and others to, uh, you know, create laws in his favor, I guess. I mean, this is just what I'm picking up from he, what he was saying today. Right. Well, you know, again, these are folks who I'm not saying I'm not going to play the holier than thou self-righteous game. Uh, I want to be in certain rooms and have certain conversations, but not about the same thing, not about name dropping and star fucking. Um, but basically uh, to be part of a, I guess you could say, it's basically like a Truman Show idea, where at some point I became aware that um, in this world, they tell us you can't be in any room in any conversation uh, unless you know certain people and are willing to play a certain way. So I, I'm like the guy who takes on challenges in this life sometimes. And I said, well, I'm going to prove it to myself and others. You could be a regular motherfucker who doesn't know nobody. And based on what you know, not who you know, you could get into the room or in the conversation. One way or another, right? If you fashion yourself in the image of the most high or your conscience, if you will. So, um, yeah, and I've pretty much done proof of concept with that over and over again with various people who are known. Um, and again, there's a route to it. It starts with the traveling stuff. 
but that's just one experience uh, over time, right? That might have been a flashpoint, but there's going to be, it would seem, multiple flashpoints where there's shown something about me or that works with me that is different from others. And therefore, I'm in the conversation and I'm in the room. And now we get to have fun with that, right? Because you see how I am. I don't care. I don't give a fuck about anything they have to show me or tell me or offer me. I can't to do what I do. And that's what's going to get me respect from, from the beginning to the end of time as an I am that I am presence. I don't give a f- like I say all the time, the same way these fucking, that's again why I will not identify with, but I get the spirit charged by certain type of music. Because if you ask folks who talk that shit, I don't know if they're living it because a lot of them are ratting. Uh, behind the scenes, but um, I came with every in with everything that I needed, right? Which is self respect, respect for the truth and the creational force. So everything else that I've gotten to and will get to is extras. I got to be thankful and grateful for that. I'm not entitled to that. And the only reason I get to that is living a certain way uh, and presenting a certain way on certain things. Uh, and when the time comes, taking that uh, position and that opportunity. Um, so yeah, your thoughts on the whole interaction in general, the, uh, in my opinion, he's just using all the wrong metrics to determine the measure of a man. I, I, I don't agree with just about everything he said. Yeah. Well, I mean, again, this is the, you know, the two worlds, the underworld and the overworld. There's a, and this is, you know, sort of an archetypal understanding, I guess. So why didn't he get the point of not serving two masters? The difference between that. No, I think he gets the point. He's just not willing to look at it and go deeper not into it because he'd have to question his life and his lifestyle and his business partners and his wife and all the rest of it. Um, this walk is not for most people. They don't want to be tested and challenged in their ego, and they don't want to have to reform their beliefs about themselves and the world and how it all works. They don't want the true power. They want false power and claim that it's godly power. They're deceived. They're of their father, the devil. They're deceived and they're deceivers because they think God favors them because it's giving them things and access to certain opportunities. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I remember him saying that. Right. So when I get to the same things and opportunities they do in a completely different way, we're done with this game. Gonna say something, you made me forget what I was gonna say. You know, I just find it like sad that Jack would do that. Uh I thought that, you know, you know, I know I know exactly that's exactly what he would do, but it's like he he really like I mean he comes here every single day almost and it like it blows my mind. You're like the only person he has left in his life that he could actually call like a friend. You know what I that's mean? Not when true, bro, that's not true. I did nothing for him. I've humiliated him online, like he said many times. And now he's got Anton, who can probably help him way more and get him way more opportunities to do what he's always wanted to do, right? I mean, dude, like, dude. I, I like walked away when he got like all freaking like violent talking, you know, like I just said, you know, I'm not doing this. And like you, like you, you literally take every single thing from him. He's, he's spent like four hours destroying your stream. Like I spent minutes destroying it, but, but man, this guy has taken hours and hours and hours of your life. And, and then to like, I mean, I know what I did was wrong and I've said it, I've apologized. I've come out multiple times said, said it was not cool. But for Jack to do this like that, that just like really, I, I hope that everybody in the crowd, you know, lets him either lets Jack know how they feel or just doesn't show up because. Well, I learned that I, right. can, I learned that I can't trust them now. Because yeah, look at Lubas. Lubas is a man. He's out th- every time I see Lubas. He's working and he's on the East Coast, so it's probably 
I don't know, late at almost five, six o'clock, and he's still out there. That's that's a strong man. Yeah, but his yeah, daughter but pays his rent. Pays so, his rent, so. <laughs> hey, one day hopefully he's. Uh, I've seen him change a lot since uh, Paul puts people. He he actually will man up. He's not the type that runs or goes behind anyone's back that I've seen so far. I, I don't want to speak for him, but the my, you know, things from Lubas. He admits that he fucked up and he wants to change it. That's awesome. You know, that's, that's where it true, starts. Man. That's true, man. That's true. All right. Well, where are we at here on time? Uh, 220. Yeah, that person might be right down there. I, I already I already considered going over to Talcott's panel at 530, and I'm supposed to hate him now. Um, he did just throw me under the bus and uh, show that he's been using me the whole time. <laughs> uh, your thoughts, Lubas, on all the typical, usual events in this world walking a certain way? I was wondering if you can ask Anton to help me out. He doesn't help white people. He already said he gives money for people to eat. He was down the other day bragging. He goes, I saw some poor, broke white woman outside some store, and I even helped feed her. I gave her $5. <laughs> He's bragging he makes, like, millions of dollars every month, and he gave, he gave some poor, broke white woman $5, and he was bragging about that shit. That's what I mean. It's amazing. You know, the scripture always says, go out and tell everyone on a live stream how you barely give anyone any charity and embarrass yourself and everyone else and blaspheme the creation. It never said anything about, like, doing those things in secret. Right? It's like, oh, just come out and tell everyone what you do that you think is charitable and embarrass yourself by saying you give someone $5 on a street corner. Right? <laughs> it's where we're at. Anton's the type of guy to show up to a homeless guy and like give him a, a, a package of fake money and film it and get famous on Instagram, then take it all away when the camera's off and go, here's 20 bucks, bro. Get the fuck out of here. You know, he's he's absolutely that type of person. Godly is what I mean. Thank How you. are you, sir? Oh, you said godly. Thank you. Okay, yeah, we're going to keep it brief because this is supposed to be about me and Anton. See, it's Anton's ball. Oh, bag no, chain. I have a lot to say. I'm going to make it about you and Anton. Yeah, it's, it's Anton's <laughs> ball bag. So, it's 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Someone's feeding back horribly. So please help me. me. It's not me. It's Mr. Ross, I think. Go ahead, sir. What What do you have now? What do I have now? That uh, Anton made a lot of good points. This fucking panel is so dysfunctional. It's so fucked up. They come, they go. You and Jack are fucking like fucking lovers. Breaking up is hard to do. Come back, back and forth. Moosey too, back and forth. And now you're going to go back on Jack's panel and fight. I knew yeah, it. I'll be no, there too. There's no breakup. The bottom line is I know the people probably want to see further interactions. Absolutely. Um, you know, Jack wants to run from the accountability, so I just can't help but to, like, chase people in a way and hold them accountable and watch them squirm. You wouldn't know that. So, yeah, so again, like the person down there said, she's confused again. I think it's a she. They're very confused. This whole broadcast, they've asked, like, four or five questions. Um, so he, they're asking, am I using Anton for views just like Jack? I'm the same. No. Views is a side effect of what I'm doing, right? I'm playing a cosmic game here. You know, what's the nature of my game? I've already told you. This is about accountability, authenticity, responsibility, rights, freedom, principles. Paul unslaved. What don't you get? So that's the theme because that's what an ideal man is. I'm not saying I'm it. I'm saying I'm shooting for it. And I'm going to hold everyone to the same standard. And that's what we need right now. So we might be using Anton for a platform for very different reasons, right? I came to build and then it's destroy time, right? I wanted to build. So now I have to destroy in order to rebuild. I'm not there to be buddy, buddy, go along, get along. I'm there to let's get right. 
let's build or it's time to destroy. And I don't do nothing to nobody. I don't do nothing, actually. I just speak the truth. In the beginning is the word. The word is made real. And then you see the spirit and the universe move, however it moves. We've seen that with many folks already. That's how it works. So I'm a facilitator of an experience in order to bring this truth to the masses of slaves who don't believe in it or don't think it's real. I have to do what I do this way with these people. Because there's certain people who need this understanding and they're not going to take it in a conventional way. Me doing a fucking lecture like Mark Passio. It's got to be pimping and macking. It's got to be fishermen and men. You got to get a hook in everybody's life and lifestyle. So it starts with their spirit. Starts with their belief about themselves. Your thoughts, sir? I heard you saying something earlier. Down there? Yes, you. Yeah, Jack, I can understand. That other fat fuck, Scott... I had his number of weeks ago, that fat fuck, Scott, talking about. All right, all right, relax, so relax, what, relax. What, what are you you don't, so have, you don't want to have a heart attack here, relax. Well, he, he so, said, he's not here, he's not here, that fat fuck. These people are the broken, powerless white men that Anton was talking about. But this is what I don't want you to be and others. And why you're exempting Jack from accountability like everyone loves I to do. I don't know. Jack, Jack. Ah, Jack's lovable. He's a hippie. He ah. talks love and spirit. And I'm like fucking easily manipulated by emotional bullshit. No, not You got to really. get it's that good. spirit of your mama up out of you. Yeah. I, I can say that. You know, I think, I think Jack has a lot to offer. I don't. I don't think yeah, he, he fucking yeah. used me for eight months and jump ship and when it was a hypocrite well, went back on everything he said and done with me it seems in order to ball bag chase with Anton. It seems that way, but um No, it is that way. It doesn't seem that way, Hillary Clinton. It is oh, that way. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, it doesn't second. seem that wait is is. What is the meaning of is is? Bill Clinton said, right? I don't know. It, they something... were great for each other because Hillary couldn't recall and Bill didn't know what is meant. So it was great for the court proceedings by the end of the day. So it is that way. It's been that way. Did you remember the lagoon creature, sir? Let me direct your attention to the night when he went over to the lagoon creatures channel, somebody who was on record as wanting to destroy me because I wouldn't love them and be on a panel with them. So he went over there and took it upon himself to talk about me being a cult leader. So he yeah. has a, yeah, we went over that. That's old news. No, the I point is that. he has a history. I could point out multiple events where he's done that on multiple panels where he'll tell me he loves me during the day and then be all fucking and cheating at night. If you get what I'm saying. Because you said it was a love affair, right? So I'll take your, yeah. your Socratic method narrative. If we're a couple, I'm just here doing what I do. He keeps showing up at my door. I go, I love and care about you, Jack, but I can't be Captain save -a So he runs off and talks bad about me, breaks bad on me, and starts fucking all around town and catching diseases. It really don't affect me one way or the other. I'm just getting promoted more and more, so I really can't lose. So you're saying it's a Jekyll and Hyde cut. Yeah, I really can't lose. That's the thing. If it was a situation where it was non-beneficial to me and I thought I was losing or catching L's, I would just depart from him. But because I love him, know he's insane and know what to expect. <laughs> Whenever he does whatever he does, I still win anyway. He's still going to lose. And I'm going to say, told you so. So I can't lose. He can't win because of the way we're living. And it's a mutually assured outcome one way or the other, as long as I don't let him get near me and in my life privately. All right. I, I, I know I'm going to see you all later on Jack's show. I know it. I know everybody's going to be there. I, I listen, I don't. You think I need to play ego games? You know how I am. If I decide no. to, I'll never talk to that motherfucker again. Uh, and will, if I decide to, to, to do that, if I feel I need to, I will do that. I don't feel I need to. I didn't lose. He's the guy you love to hate. Come on. I won. I, I, I won with Anton. Anton. I won with promoting. I won with putting the truth out. I won with taking viewers. I won with Talcott embarrassing himself again, like I said he always will, at the UN or wherever he goes. I'm fucking right. I'm batting a 1,000 here <laughs> on all levels. I'm batting a 1,000. I was right with Fat Scott and his, his star <laughs> fucking overnight celebrity twister looking ass. I had his number weeks ago when I called yeah, him. Yeah, it wasn't hard to tell, bro. His first conversation wow. with me was name dropping star fucking and telling me he's going to yeah. help me work with me to get somewhere. I wouldn't listen to him for three seconds to be like him. Are you kidding? What am I going to do? Why would I take life advice from a motherfucker I wouldn't want to hang with or be like? 
I wouldn't want to hang with Anton and his soft ass glowing skin and fake jewelry. I wouldn't want to be like him. I wouldn't want to hang with him. I could honestly tell you that. You could say I'm delusional, but that's the way I feel. I that's the first glimpse I had of him was today of this Anton guy. And he just I don't know. Seems like a racist to me, but what do I know? Listen, man, it's it's it, it, they do that for effect a lot of time because they know it's effective. They they rile up all the black folks who got that shit in their heart. Uh, they rile up all the white folks. They get everybody talking and arguing. Uh, they might have some of that in them subconsciously, but ultimately he'll work with anybody. He'll sell out his own people. He's doing it every day. His own quote unquote people, all the black folks. Uh, again, he tries to ride the line on everything. When you push him on anything, he gets out of his his ego character, which is like maybe a little bit of real him expounded. Um, and he tries to ride the line in the middle. Oh, I'm not really black. It's equal opportunity. This is the, but He's he'll take any opportunity shit. to go on a rant about white people, how we're all little dick, poor, broken, powerless, and l less than him. So I'm sure yeah. it's in him. It's but, the, yeah, yeah, like you say, a little bit of shtick, a little bit of, little bit of. Like, it's always a bit non-bit, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. On some yeah. level, there's percentages yeah. to it, but that's what the yeah. art is: is like exploring levels of self, questioning who or what you are, and kind of expounding on maybe something that's in you, you know, or maybe something that might be in you if you explored it, right? So, um, you know, I just think that he ha would have no content. Ultimately, if he didn't do what he does, the content he has is very low level. Um, there's no upshot. There's no resolution other than yelling out bag chaser and getting more money from all the wannabe bag chasers. While he probably doesn't have anywhere near what uh, the Wikipedia would say uh, or what he uh, you know, espouses, because like he says, he even said it. See, if you let him talk long enough, they trip themselves up. He said, look at my deposits. And then he said, you should see my spending summary. That's crazy. Oh, so you mean please. more going out than coming in? Please, sir. Childish. After I'm done talking. So there's more going out than coming in. That's a recipe for being poor and broke one day. Ask all the uh, celebrities uh, who thought that, you know, it was cute to flex and say, look at what I'm getting and look at what I'm spending even more. Wow, I'm balling. Till you can't keep the lifestyle anymore and you don't actually own anything at the end of the day because everything you got is on fucking debt and credit. Um, so, Excuse my ignorance and don't laugh at me, but what's a bag chaser? It's somebody who is is chasing money, right? A bag oh, of money. Okay. All right. I just didn't like, understand so, the reference. No, but he then wasn't he, chasing but then money. He, he was chasing balls. <laughs> balls okay, well, okay, well, that's the Moose thing. Moose would know. Moose, you would know. <laughs> right. Okay. So, so what are you all that's... pissed off about? PFL? Okay, so see, like when I start talking, Moose. you shut the fuck up. Okay, is how shut it the fuck up. Shut the it's fuck like up. real simple. It's a simple criteria. Okay. Go ahead. You know, like we're, we're having, a, I can't have a back and forth with three people and I can't host a broadcast where you all have a back and forth in the middle of talking about what I'm living. Right. I don't know. Am I for Rasta's laughing? Am I off on something here? So like one of them says something about Anton, I go to respond. The other one says something. They talk to each other. I'm like here, like in in, in space, floating. That's why Anton doesn't do panels. He does his nice little Zoom video call where he throws you out, sits there and rambles for thirty Smart. minutes about white men. Smart. I mean, I could do the same thing. Hold on, let me try the Anton model here. You know, white people are really fucking usually impediments to my reality. You know, the majority of folks who cause me problems throughout my day are white men. And that's why Rob Cleveland is still up here. He doesn't cause me any problems. Right. And he adds just enough to be endearing to the women down there and get enough white pussy to keep him satisfied in his life. He, that, even that doesn't really cause me a problem because I'm sure it's going on. I just don't really know about it. And what you don't know don't hurt you. Um, so, yeah, like white people, huh? These people are really fucking pathetic and weak and disempowered. The majority of them, even my own family. I, that's why I'm not white. I can't be because I'm not weak and pathetic and disempowered and cowardly uh, and disloyal. Right. And, and, and I have soul. Right. I have a little bit of flavor, a little bit of soul. So I also can't be like any of these uh, white people. It's not possible. That's why the person down there, they've been asking all my life to my father, is Paul like not white? Is he biracial? See, I contend I was switched at the hospital or I'm part of some kind of bizarre genetic experiment. So I can't be like the rest of these white people. Horrible people, really. These white people. 
Um, okay. Numbers kind of going down a little bit or staying steady. So I don't know. We didn't get to the to the 800 like Anton had last night, but we're working on it. I got to get more white people material. Um, you guys are really into mayonnaise, huh? Mayonnaise? Yeah. No? Ranch dressing? Ham and cheese. All right. Moose, the moose ran? Where did he go? He ran now? See, this is why every time, you know, this is why it's like, it's like having a bunch of women who like are, are, aren't women. They haven't checked their ego, like little girls. Every time I make a move or say something, they react and get emotional and then they make a re like some kind of movement. Well, he got pissed at me because I uh, was breaking his balls. You, you seem to be right. in a strange mood today, Paul. I'm in a strange mood today? You, you, yeah, you seem a little, a little different today, the way you're <laughs> reacting. To well, how would you describe it? <laughs> Tired of everybody's bullshit? Jack I, I, I know, possibly a little more serious than normal, maybe. Do you like that? Is that preferable? Well, I, I, I you're, you're now you're not playing a character here like Moose claims he does occasionally, right? You're just being Paul here, right? Yeah, no, I'm just, I might be in a certain state of beingness. I might right. be energized or focused or um, vigilant or almost militant, one might say. Um, in a way, you could say that. But yeah, I don't know. I'm not really doing a bit. I'm asking you, do you prefer that? Do you enjoy this presentment? Is there anything to get out of it? Or should I stop it immediately? Well, I, I, no, I, I like what you've thrown jokes once in a while. I mean, did you just it just you just seem different today. That's all. I'm not saying you're bad or good or anything like that. I just right. I become aware every so often that I'm surrounded by people who are not only punk ass cowards yeah, who won't stand with me or for anything, right. but also will probably try to be part of my undoing if given the right circumstances. So that tends to awaken a little something else in me sure i get it yeah you know I'm not experiencing what you are like a reminder like i always talk about che Guevara came down he was holding kittens and puppies kissing babies talking about love by the end of whatever was that war and that supposed restructuring of government for the people he's out in the woods just shooting people they go what happened to che he's different today well he became aware he's surrounded by lazy procrastinating punk ass cowards who don't stand for nothing but want to be seen as someone and a lot of them are traitors in their informants. So now the energy changes a little bit, right? And you've seen this before. I go into this mode sometimes and I let it express. I don't want to see you stay here. That's I want to see you. No, 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 no. I don't stay here, sir. But I don't mind either. I mean, it's not really a detriment to me. I don't feel any detrimental consequences from this energy and this presentment that I'm in right now. I think I'm rather focused with clarity. Uh, I'm laying out the facts of the matter. I'm correcting the record. And I'm holding everyone accountable. And I'm checking these bitch ass hoes online with the metaverse. Gotcha, buddy. I think right. uh, Jack has gotten over on you. This seems to be like a Jack mood mentality. So perhaps he is wearing on you a little bit. Yeah, there's nothing to wear on. How clear can I be? I know the presentment throws you off. I have a big heart. I'm a loving and caring man. I would rather not have controversy. Like Jack. And like Jack. Right, like Jack, except I don't live like him. I don't make choices like him. I don't cause harm to me and everyone around me at this point. And I'm not motivated by success and fame and star fucking. What don't you get? There's an infidel reprobate worldly slave. And then there's me. Whatever you want to call that. Fuck Some you, might call it an honorable man. Right? I'm here for the fucking hookup. I'm here to hook up with Brian. Well, okay, so okay, so uh, I'm just here to change so the energy. The, I just want dialogue. him to pull my pigtail. Okay, out. okay, okay. So no, but so the name is Brian, right? But then I'm like, there's the pigtail action, and there's the so. Can we? What is that? Well, it's gonna be Brian O'Gay, but what? Did he say Brian O'Day? No, Brian O'Day. Okay. Oh, hold on. Just let him, just, just let's hear more about okay. what, what's going on, please. Yeah. yeah, I just try to control your utterances. Um, so is it sir, ma'am? I just I want to address you properly. His, her, ma'am, they. Please. Okay. Stop. Uh, Holly, I, I just need right now. Right. I'm 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 all into Brian. And I've got some jokes for him. Okay. okay well, I've, go I've ahead. wrote some jokes. Is Brian O'Gay here? Because we're just, he say we're okay. trying to work it out. So, yeah, yeah, he's here. He's right. Yeah. So Brian, 
Do you want me to take my shirt off? I felt like we had some kind of energy. Earlier, on another stream, you were trying to cheat on Paul's team. You were like on OTW, but we were kind of connecting. So, what's up? I, wore my head I mean, I'm in the. Can you find somewhere to do the broadcast regularly, except outside of a planet Hollywood that has music on the speakers? <laughs> Maybe off the library. You, I, you know, I know you folks you don't talking? frequent the library often, but. I feel like he's trying to take me out to fancy dinner. Universally, of course. Brian? Hey, so here's this joke. I was going to tell you this. You could probably use it. Use it or not. I don't care. Just fuck me. But anyways. Um, yeah. You guys are cool. Um, so. What hey. Is this? So, okay, so. Have, hey, have you are guys. You doing a, have are you guys, doing a bit of you doing a bit of someone else doing O'Shea? I have a bit of my wiener being a bit of a bit of my wiener in his butt. But. I don't know what he can handle, so that's just kind of the thing. So, so is a anyway, and this is why, and this is why Anton hates white people. And you so, thought so that was It's stuff like well, this. A, this is why he's he a racist. Won't he's rather than not racist. exist. And I agree with him on no. that. Anton, come over here and moderate because I want to bond with you on how most is, is he, white people. Go ahead. What do you think, Paul? Like he, I think he hates pigtails. What do you think? Brian, where are you? Where are you going? Why are you running? We we have to talk. Oh, there you are. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so here's the joke. Ready? Ready? Okay. Hey, have you guys heard of this like streamyard thing? It's like the Brady Bunch. I definitely uh, should have wrapped up around the three hour mark, three and a half. Way better off. That's like shut what I was Paul. planning. And I Here, here's the thing. My plan no, Paul, shut up. This is my stream now. Listen shut to my up. joke. Here's the thing. Brian's going to do this. Hey, have you guys heard of StreamYard? It's like this new YouTube live thing. <laughs> it's like the Brady Bunch, but we're not all fucking each other. <laughs> okay, so I think Anton's here now because that's his, that's his picture unless somebody's doing him so uh you know and this is the oh, thing right it. if anton's I'll here watching anton everybody. you know please whoever's uttering that, that mellowing, that's anton's lover you know it's i'm pretty sure that's him that's his i don't know unless it's taken um should i take my shirt off okay i'll do it no big deal yeah so uh this is why me and him might be able to bond sometimes uh on on white people specifically, most of them. Well, I'm not one, so it doesn't really apply to me. Yeah, pretty much all of them. Wait, Your thoughts? did you say bondage? Did you say bondage? Yeah, I think we're going to wrap up soon. <laughs> uh, you know, I think the uh, uh, Calcott and Scott did enough work of trying to embarrass me last night. Uh, we don't have to continue that here now. Your thoughts, expert panel? Can we hear from an African American? We have one African American on panel. Rob Cleveland, can we hear from you, our ambassador? Oh, to the things they're saying that doesn't get to you. Does it? Well, talk about a derailment. I, I just woke up. I just woke up from a nap, and wow! Come on, Jeff. Oh my God! Did you unfold when you wake when you wake up from a nap? You had to unfold it because that's what I picture. Like beautiful man. Uh, yeah, so how I'm long like, can someone someone advise me? Because John says I'm in a weird mood, right? Sorry, Paul. Sure. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. So you just advise me. How long do I let this go on? Like, what would you say? Paul, Which are you talking to? I think it's already I don't been tell too long. What to do, man? It's your show. It's already yeah, been too Cleveland. long. Cleveland, okay. Cleveland, our ambassador to the African American community. A lot of the viewers of Anton's channel are African American. My show, it would it would have been gone. Yeah. Okay. So even now, hey. folks from the extremely <laughs> Caucasian community are saying that it's still too long. So both sides agreeing. I'm going to have to uh, 86 that, as they say. Yeah. Business. <laughs> right. Take it off, Chris. Yeah. 
So young and fearless, I'm kicking you out because you're working and we support you and we love you. But the someone's trying to join, so I need to make room. Um, so, yeah. I can't. Like, uh, man. Right. So a Anton is uh, wanting to come up. So I'm going to bring him up. Let me see here. <laughs> Greetings, Anton. Oh, what's going on? So I, I've heard you worked with Dr. Phil before. Have you heard I'm the god of all media over here? Looks like it's pretty dysfunctional to me. Yeah, yeah but that's the thing. I don't take credit for these white people. I've, I've said it many times. I'm pink with brown spots. I'm melanated. I was Kang's. Is that is that what we talking about? That's that's the. I see. I thought y'all had questions or something. Oh no, I, there's there's really no questions. I mean, I think that we kind of said it all last night. Uh, you know, somebody I, said, uh, "Who's Leslie Daniels?" That's my daughter, <laughs> and then and my mother. My mother and my daughter is both named Leslie Daniels. Anything so is else? It true? Okay, since you're going to bring it up, I'll, I'll facilitate this as we get it all out of the way, correct the record. Yeah, I thought you had some good questions for me. <clears throat> right, let's not be dishonorable. <clears throat> so the trust fund deal, there's some guy, and I know how it works. When you ever get to something on here, everyone starts hating for certain reasons. Um, that talks about you having a failed restaurant business, uh, being a trust fund baby, uh, having bad credit, all the rest of it. How do you respond? Respond to what? I've never had a trust fund in my life. Okay. He says, yeah, anybody, anybody can say anything on the internet. No, I understand that. I just said that. I prefaced it as that. I'm not, you know. No, I'm not saying that you're saying anything different, but I don't respond to lies. So, I mean, as far as like other people saying lies, you can ask me and I'll tell you what's going on. I've never had a trust fund in my life. So, what would you say is your most successful business that would qualify you to be a business coach? Um, I would probably say YouTube. How about that? Okay. And my so, real and my real estate empire. Okay. But and in, in order to see the receipts for that, because it is documentation out there for that, I show my bank bank accounts, my brokerage accounts, my real estate empire, and my W twos. You're more than welcome to join the Patreon. All the receipts are there. Yeah, I mean, I I would hope at this point that you wouldn't say something on here and then what? I will say, actually, the thing that I'm most proud of is all of the different pe businesses and the people who I give seed money to, to start their own businesses. That's probably the thing that I'm most proud of. Right. So what would you say if you had to uh, pick uh, your top criticism, critiques of me, if you have any, um, and and or our, our interaction, right? Like what what is our resistance? What is our... Um, inability to communicate effectively. I don't know. That's up to you to decide. Okay. So you don't see any value in this whole legal lawful thing? You think it's all sob sit mumbo jumbo? We haven't had time to mine it out. Everything has been uh, toxic up to this point. Well, I could agree with that. See, now you're being logical and reasonable here. And it just kind of takes away all the fun because you threw me out last night and kept me sitting there. And I'd just love to do it to you now, but I can't be petty. Come on, Anton. You know I'm better than pimping and macking than that. You got all the viewers and all the people. It'd be silly of me to throw you out here. That is true. That I'm is dead true. over here, like you say. Right? Have, so, well, I'm trying to get your numbers up. That's why I'm here. Okay. And, and again, I, I give you kind of a wink and a nod because I see some of that, right? We all know that in this game, that anytime you talk with somebody or about somebody, you're essentially putting light on them, which could go, up, go however they – take it right um so that's all i was trying to do from the beginning right i think if we could have done this from the beginning uh, we could actually do something and get to something right separate from what everyone else is talking about i get the whole bag what, I get the what, what 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 why would i want to build with you well like I'm, i told you in the because, because because in order to build with somebody you got to be able to see value in them right and you haven't shown me any value 
outside of this function up to this point. I came here today to see what you had going on. And uh, as soon as I pop in, I see a little uh, fruit bag over in the left-hand corner talking about how he's trying to peg somebody. And I'm like, is this who I'm trying to build with? Oh, this- no. I- Honestly, right. listen, I- if I'm- listen, if I got to be absolutely transparent, as soon as I popped in, because I said, you know what, I'm going to go and see what Paul got going on. I want to see what a normal day looks like. And that's what I seen. That's the first thing that I seen. And I'm like, now, now, Anton. well, if I'm going, if I'm going to spend my time building with somebody, because, now, because, be because, I'm, oh, no, wait, 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 Paul, 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 I'm, I'm a, I'm kind of a big deal. Let's be clear. Oh, here and, we go, man. He's not no, going to no, get no, out no. of no, I'm, I'm a substantiate. I'm a substantiate <laughs> what I'm saying, Paul. I'm a substantiate what I'm saying. The reason why you will see people do live streams on me. Is because when they put my name in a title, they get numbers. And that's a beautiful thing. Yeah, yeah, Anton, Anton, I, I know that dynamic. I've dealt with it here. I know you don't know. I'm not saying I'm important like you are. I'm not as big of a deal as you. But folks who show up here rather regularly, they've seen a history of events where what you talked about has been done with me, right? I got folks all over the world at this point who put my name in titles just to fucking try to get to something because of an interaction that I'm going to bring. So when you say you don't see any value, you must not have been looking hard enough or for long enough. Paul, 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 let's be clear. It's a big difference in the YouTube algorithm between my name and your name. Not saying that you're nothing. I never denied that. I never denied that. If I'm going to build with you, I have to see value outside of your name. Anton, I necessarily... Let me me substantiate it. If I'm going to build with you, I'm going to have to see value outside of your name because I'm the bigger name, A. I get that. I get B, that. And I'm, B, not, I'm not saying B, that I'm asking or needing that. But listen, I'm not listen, saying listen, I'm listen. asking or needing that. I'm oh, talking Paul. about on the, the ground. The reason why you come over to my stuff is because you're looking for you're looking for visibility. I know, I know no, 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 no. I, I, I know already said work, Paul. You already, you already gave us your blueprint. You said it out loud. Yeah, but I said it out loud, but I told, you, I told you the blueprint is the same way you see everybody else working for different reasons. But I'm not the, in this. Here's the other part of it, Paul. I'm cool with people using me, right? Everybody uses everybody, right? Say the same thing. I say the same but here's, thing. But here's the other side of it. I don't want to be misused. It's a difference. So, I say so, the same thing. so if I if I'm not getting anything from it as far as the visibility, and that all goes to you, then what do I get from it when I come up here and I see a fruitcake and you entertaining this nonsense? Anton, that's where I shake your hand. And I say, if what I'm doing for whatever reason at this time is not aligned with what you're doing, then we don't have to work together, right? I'm talking about on the ground rights, freedom principles, first and foremost, because as I see it, we're in slavery and genocide. We can't get too deep into it because we don't have free speech no more on here. And I've been blocked for it. But that's my perspective. You might say to that, this white boy is insane. Wouldn't be the first time. But I'm talking so, about on so the ground, I give you more. Work, community I'll give you- first time. I'm talking community first and foremost. If we could build on the internet and work and cross platform, we could do that too because that's part but, of it. If not, but but what I I'm not a smart fucker name dropper. I don't need it. Man on talking about pegging somebody, and I thought that y'all was having a serious conversation over here. I get that. I get that. And if you see what I do, as John, you know, John, John down here in the blue. Am I off on this? I'm just curious. Uh, yeah, but first time I ever seen that guy here, and he was only up for a few minutes. And just you know, Paul will introduce new faces to the panel just to see who they are. It's not see, he's me, mad. He, and he don't even have a shirt on. What is going on here? Hold on, dude. Hold on, <laughs> dude. Wh- wh- why are you judging people this way? I mean, the, the guy in the corner, I mean? understand. I but if somebody doesn't have a shirt on, what's the big deal? Because it's the same dude that was just talking about pegging somebody. Oh, Anton, if it, if it Anton. Was, if it was, I didn't notice. Anton, that. you come on every morning and say, "Rub some screen cream on your face and get glowing skin and order a customized box." Yeah, it's I'm a, not. It's a part of what works, and they pay me a lot of money in order to promote it. I get that. I have an email box full of folks who've offered me placements and deals, and I don't take them because I'm not willing to sell out who and what I am and what I stand for. I might be different from pretty much everyone you've ever met because I'm not starstruck. I'm not starstruck. I'm not a star fucker, and I'm not a name dropper like Scott and Jack last night. You, I, I applaud you, sir. I you like Jack, know. and I like Scott. I'm not gonna let That's you disrespect. I'm, dis- I'm not gonna let you disrespect these good God fearing men 
That's simply fine. because you feel in a certain type of way about the fact that they no, like no, 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 sir. You're pretty good at pimping and macking, Anton. I gotta give. I'm it not to a that. pimp. I'm not a pimp. I You're just understand. Good at pimping and macking I, sometimes. I, I, I understand people, and the reality is that uh -huh. the problem with you, the problem with you, is you don't actually understand and see the value in the, in, in in Jack and Scott, and so as a result, you disregard them. You 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 don't. So what is their value, embrace, sir? Could you you don't embrace could you get me right? Could you get me right? What do you see value? Because you just said to me. Why would, I, why would I do that when they've been rocking with you for a long time and you telling me you don't see the, you don't see the value? I have no allegiance to them. I tell everybody out front and out in the open wow. where they stand with me. I tell everybody out front and out in the open where everyone stands with me, Anton, just like I will with you. Wow, that's I unfortunate. Well, you listen, uh, one man's trash is another man's treasure. That's how I retain my self-respect, my credibility, and my reputation for what it is I do in my little corner of the internet. You know, listen, if you don't even respect the people that's been rocking with you for this amount of time, then then what? What do I rocking with me, Anton? I open up a panel and folks come and go at their leisure and then I entertain them different ways based on what the present. You don't is. respect the people that have been holding you down for all this amount of time. Then what do I got to look forward to? I don't understand, Anton. You, you say holding me down. That sounds a lot like holding me back. If I'm seeking enlightenment and holding no, me down, holding you down as far as like. See, it's different. When you say holding somebody down, that means when the, when the winds blow hard, they there for you. They're going to still be That's here. not what these people are, Anton. I'm I saying I think, that. I don't believe that. I, I, think, you're, I, think, you're, I think you're misjudging the, the what's going on here. I don't think you've seen enough because there's a long history on record of folks like Jack going to other channels, as I spoke about earlier, and telling people I'm a cult leader when he was in good graces with me, supposedly. He has a history. Anton, I'm pretty good with success and power dynamics. I'm not saying I've employed them with the most ambition and motivation, but I'm pretty good at pieces on the board, right? I'm, I'm on record with a pretty know. high IQ. Don't you don't see the value in those guys. It's they not that I don't see the value. I see the value and potential in everyone. They don't see the truest value and potential in themselves, much like I see with you. You see false value, false light, false power, worldly power. I see true value and potential in you. I see you as a voice for certain people who could really change this game. But I don't star fucking name drop to get what the fuck I want or need because what I want or need is not my way. It's the way. We need rights, no, freedom, no. principles. No, no, you deflect it. You're deflecting okay. and you're moving a goalpost because you don't want to really address the fact that you're not cultivating and really leading your people the way that you're supposed to. Come on, Paul. Anton, you can't lead people where they don't want to go. Oh, come on, Paul. Come on. The same thing I'll say with you. I'm about rights, freedom, and principles first and foremost. The metaversal presentment and broadcast is almost an after effect of who and what I am. I wouldn't be here if Paul was trying to lead me. I wouldn't be here. Well, sometimes you don't sometimes you don't even know um what's best for you. And so it's not about whether or not, not you think I can't be fooled, but I'm just I've seen Paul long enough and I, I don't see him as trying to lead me at all. So you don't so you don't see so you, you believe so, so, so you believe in paying taxes, so you believe in paying taxes. And uh, registering your automobile and um, still giving. Uh, see, you may not be in jail. We may not be black, but we're still all in slavery. We got Are taxes. We move, we move over to a different different conversation. Okay, I'm cool with that. I just want to make sure that we all we all buttoned up here. Go ahead. All right. So so let me just we'll just have the back I and forth. Stick around too long because I'm actually about to head to the airport because I got to catch a flight. But yeah, That's cool. let's let's get to it. Right. That's cool. Again, Anton, I'm not taking nothing away from you in the world and what you do. Uh, I really don't know the facts of the matter of your story. I'll, I'll take your word for what you say, which would well, be you foolish to me. yesterday that I was in divorce court. <laughs> no, no, no. I didn't say. If you remember how it's I prefaced it. It's a lot of rumors. You said that I had a white daddy lawyer in divorce court and that my wife was taking half of my stuff and you if were wrong. you remember how i prefaced it i said unless i'm mistaken and you used the no you had said it no that's what you said to my face before that on a whole nother live stream you said it too and you doubled down and you thought that you were right 
And it's a lot of things that people say that they think that they're right. And, about, and, and that's why, Anton, if you notice, before you even came here, because of how I live my life, I ran with it a little bit because I saw the video that I told folks about and I immediately corrected the record. And I said, I will put out a presumption, right, which could make me look foolish, but I don't know the facts of the matter on this man. And I'm not going to say something like the news does. Oh, I don't mind news. it. I, I think you should say everything because I look at it at it at it is all marketing and promotion. So even even right. the lies is good, is good for me. So I just let it fly. I'm cool with it. Well, I I adhere to pretty much the same idea, and that's why even in, during the stream said, uh, I'm going to say what I think and feel about you, right, wrong, or indifferent. You could rebut all the presumptions. I won't control you <clears throat> in this venue. Why, because why rebut it? I'd rather let people talk and make a fool of themselves and then use it as promotion. Exactly. So, I mean, you know, again, I, I don't need to talk about a lot of stuff that I do. I'm sort of a fan of argument, right? Which means to make the facts clear and presently known. So, you know, if you ask my father, I've been doing it all my life. Maybe a good quality sometimes, maybe a detriment. But in a way, I live to correct the record and rebut uh, the facts of the matter that are put forth and the claim so we can all get right. So this comes so out what of are me. The, what are the questions do y'all have for me? Right. Because I'm absolutely real and transparent. We could talk about it. Anybody else got any other questions? See, the one thing about me is that I don't hide. I pull people up on my stuff and then I pull up today's stuff too. You don't hide, but you won't show your face on panel. Is that how that works? You want to see me getting dressed? I'm actually getting dressed I mean, so I can go to the airport. Right. So, so Anton, if, Anton, if you don't now get that skin, get them lips nice and, and moistened and that skin. I get, hold on. Do the product placement. You're going to cut me in on all that uh, ball bag chasing money with that fucking skin cream? Shout out hold to on, T. Shanley. 30% off his first order. <laughs> Look at this fucking guy. He don't, he don't stop for a moment. Listen, bro. I respect your hustle and your work ethic, but I don't, from what I've seen so far, completely respect you in principles and when it comes to knowledge itself and the legal and lawful game. But I also don't know everything, and I also think you're not somebody who shows everything. You show what people, what you want people to see, and you leave out other stuff because it's better for you in your presentment. So I respect the pimping and macking, right? But with that said, I'm much more interested in, so to speak, Getting to know the real Anton Daniels, if we don't know it already, much like I would be with anybody in this venue, I want to get to know the real being because I'm tired of motherfuckers saying to me, well, he acts and sings and he does business and this and that. But we don't have to care about who the motherfucker is, what he knows and how he lives his life and his principles. And I don't accept that. Celebrities have to be worthy of celebration. And I'm tired of a culture that celebrates motherfuckers that don't live on principle. I think that's one of the bane of our existence in this country or in this culture is a bunch of Hollywood celebrities and metaversal presentments that don't live up to the standard of honorable men. So if you're willing to be part of that journey with me, that's what this is about for me. All the bag chasing and the rest of it, I'm open to getting to something if I don't have to sell out my principles, but I probably won't be doing any face cream, even though I might need it, as you say, because I got crooked yellow teeth and gorilla skin, you know, like they all well, like the only, only The only way that I would do that is I, I have I have a request. Okay. Would you like to know what my request is? Absolutely, sir. I'm not doing it without Jack. <laughs> <laughs> well, because because I'm a very loving and magnanimous and forgiving man, and I never really have any hate in my heart because everything's gonna be what it needs to be one way or the other. And, and Scott and nothing. Scott. Listen. If you oh, okay, I'm, okay, I'm, okay, I'm no. Not leaving. okay I'm no, 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 no. I'll make you the deal. I'll make you the deal. You're claiming these white men for the side of bag chasers and African Americans because if all no, white listen, men are listen, listen. And weak, it don't matter. Is, I can't claim them. They don't. They not in my Patreon. They not a bag chaser. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. Well, you boys no, better no, sign up to Anton's Patreon listen, listen. so he can claim you hoes. No, 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 no. I don't have nothing to do with that. What I'm saying is, at the end of the day, I'm a no man left behind type of guy. I may be harsh. I may say some things that make people uncomfortable. But at the end of the day, the reality is that I'm hard on people because I want the best for them. 
So like, for example, some people will say, well, Anton, aren't you racist? And I say, absolutely not. Because if anybody has ever watched my stuff for an extended period of time, I'm hard on everybody. And the reason that I'm hard on everybody is because I don't believe in being a victim. I don't believe in running into victim Olympics because then that will tell me that whatever it is that you think is against you is greater than the God that you serve. And so if you telling me that another person is holding you back, then you also telling me that the God that you that you allegedly serve, that that person is stronger than your God. And so I use examples where, for example, black people like to say, well, it's white people fault or systematic racism. I don't believe that. So I use an example and I say, well, tell me how this person over here is holding you back when they're going through well, the same thing. Let me comment thing. on that, Anton. You don't Hold on, wait, 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 wait. But then on no, the other answer, side. Answer this. You don't I, 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 identify, I identify where people's weaknesses are and then I root it out of them by being absolutely positively hard on that specific thing. Yo, even Anton, if they're like me, this or is even what some of are about the, these kind of interactions is all you're really saying if you really mean it and live like that i don't know it can't confirm or deny it is you're saying more things that are like me and what i do here than are different um so maybe oh, i think oh. what i'm gonna no what i'm gonna prescribe for you is uh you hang out with scott and talcott and then you get back to me with that value you're facilitating no 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 i'm the a side you get back to me <laughs> okay. Okay. So he wants absolute accountability, responsibility, but from the position of receiving it, not holding it. And he wants me to work with the ones I won't claim. So I'll continue to do what I've done from the beginning, which is have folks here who I feel I don't need here. It's not about holding me back. I don't need him here. I subscribe to the same ideology you say you do. I'm a no man left behind guy. And, and I'm not what I say I do is 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 what I do is documented. Oh, That's the way that I live my life. I'm taking you at your word. And I don't know that. But I, again, if you would see how I deal with most people um, who come up here and make claims, at least you have something to show. So, again, I'm not down on the idea of success on different levels. I think it's part of it, as I started with you the other night. But mm -hmm. I have to know where everybody's heart is at. Right. And when I meet a lot of people and I hear them talk, they're not saying what you're saying. And again, when they are saying what you're saying, they're not showing the whole story. So it's yet to be determined. That's why I say this could be a great interaction and journey and a people could learn a lot and we could build and grow together or just tell what we know. Not, and without, not without Jack. Like I said, sir, I have no hate in my heart or retribution for these men. They come here all the time. I literally was just saying in the middle of going off. I'm already feeling myself waiting to go over to Jack's panel at 530 because I'm going to have it out with him. Uh, we're well, going to reconcile. Do, he's going to go back to being narcissistic and wanting to be a cult leader. And he's going to fuck up again. And I'll have to have the conversation over and over that's again. about not the, That's not the spirit, Paul. But listen, <laughs> I, have, I do have to go because I have a phone call that I got to make. And I have, Hey, what do I owe you for I this? I have my wife and my daughter waiting for me at the door looking to go to the airport. So what do I owe you for this the consultation? One that's, the one the one that's divorcing me, I got to make sure I get him over there. Right. I got that. We'll, we'll get into the monogamy thing another time. I want to know how monogamous you are completely. I want to check your search history. Mm. Uh, <laughs> what do I owe you for this consultation? Because uh, I know you do business coaching. So you're getting Nothing. me right out. I, listen, listen, I will never. I'm never too good. I'll never be too big. I give the same energy all the way across the board. And the thing about me is that. People can say whatever rumor they want to say, but the reality is that I'm willing to come up, be asked any question, absolutely transparent. I'll talk to anybody at any time, even if I completely disagree with them, open to the possibility that I'm wrong. And then more importantly, um, I don't think that I'm better than anybody. I just believe that the result speaks volume. So I do have to go. I was never going to come in. Never gonna come in. I was never going to come into your chat without actually pulling up and acknowledging you. So salute to you. Salute to all your panelists. Salute to everybody that watch. Uh, I'll be back at some point, but I do have to go and catch the, uh, catch the airplane. But I did want to wanted to acknowledge you. Take care. All right, man. Sir, I appreciate you that. That's safe. honorable. All right. See you guys. Take care, hey, bro. and I'm looking forward to some very, very disagreeable debates. Um, <laughs> and that we may have some differences of opinion, but hopefully we can all come to a to a conclusion that allowed for us to all grow and learn together. You know they ain't going to call the IRS on me now. This is the new that, deal. That, that was all, it was all jokes. I don't care. Nothing okay. About. So now we're, we got what we needed. Thank you, sir. All right, man. Y'all have a good one. All right. It's all love.
So Anti- at, the end, oh, um, at the end of the day, again, you know, when he, like I said, centers himself, I think that we have a lot in alignment. That is what originally drew me to the panel. I wasn't there to hate. I was there to build. Seemed like he kind of was in a mode with the people around the same way like he says. He had his people around him. I don't respect a lot of them motherfuckers. I wasn't worried about that. I was there to build with him because I saw the platform and I saw what I thought was self-knowledge, right? But Anton's pimping and macking, like I tell you folks, on some level. So he'll expound. He'll he'll get a little bit shifty. He'll say some shit that might be in his subconscious that he might be really thinking or feeling. But at the end of the day, he's going to put that to the side and move forward and do what he does, whether it's skin cream or whatever the fuck he's into. So I could talk shit here and there. I, I, I wouldn't have gone there. See, I got to be really real with myself and others. I could play the high ground ego bullshit, right? But I wouldn't have gone there in the beginning if I didn't hear certain things coming out of his mouth at certain times that didn't lead me to believe that he had some discernment and vision. You know, what kind of threw me off was the disparity in the panel talk versus the one-on-one versus the, right? So I get the same thing. And this is where I can find an understanding is I get the same, receive the same way, right? And, and the same way, I'll kind of put it to the side and move forward. But, you know, I obviously, uh, you know, if I wanted, if I came there with the intention to build and be in the conversation and have a back and forth and a disagreeable debate, apparently whatever I did worked because the man showed up here today. Right. He was honorable. He was respectful. Uh, he's you know, he's going to test me a little bit, take my temperature. You know, it's only right. I would do the same thing. I did it with him last night. Um, and we had a, a, a back and forth, right? Who and what he is day to day to be seen, you know, no one knows. Uh, he may have determined at some point that uh, because he thinks I do have value, that he's going to entertain me differently than he would the average being. I don't know. Again, I've seen kind of a little bit of both. And last night he said he's better than me in all ways, and I don't mind that. If we want to play the the ego competition, presentment game back and forth. Um, hey, there might be certain areas where I defer to Anton and say, in these areas, he's better at these things than me because he applies himself, he's motivated, he's ambitious, and he's going to wheel and deal. You know, so I'm I'm not I don't if not even in a disparaging way, right? When it comes to the legal, lawful, spiritual, universal co- uh, consciousness awareness, I might have some perspective that he could take. I don't know. I won't presume that either, right? So again. Like he said, he's he's echoing the same things I do and that I say. So I can't really find fault with that in this venue today here. If I did, I would be um, out of character and out of pocket, as they say. So we'll move forward with it. We'll see where it goes. If he wants to work together and have disagreeable debates, I'm always going to do what I do. Come and speak my mind and heart, what I understand, and hit it back and forth and see where it goes for the people. Right. Um, and, and And for the truth. You know, that's what this is supposed to be about. We got to come out of this uh, better than we came into it, right? That's the fun of life, I guess. That's the competition, the healthy competition. So I don't mind that. You want to, you know, I prefer not the whole bag chasing push. It's not my thing. I'd rather be conscious and awareness, but maybe that's where I find a role with someone like him. If he wants to bag chase and push bag chasing, I'm going to push consciousness and awareness and let the bag chase you because Uh, Again, he says the love of money uh, is a problem. And I see a lot of bag chasers out here who are really in love with the money and worldly power and things and the access to women and opportunities to get some. So it's a fine line, right? Your thoughts, expert panel, on the interaction in general? um, Couldn't really go. We're supposed to be fishing somebody and also want to fight and argue with them over what's true and what's right and how you live. I mean, I figured. I figured he wasn't going to call the I. I wanted to believe he wasn't going to call the IRS. <laughs> Maybe he was just saying that here and going to call him anyway. Don't kid yourself, you know. Uh, but, you know, I, I figured when he said it the way he said it, there's a good possibility he wouldn't get around to it. Uh, but it's also might be a wink and a nod because the way I perceive, and Anton, you can get me right later if I say anything untoward. Uh, he's a wink and a nod guy, much like I am. He's going to say something and say metaversal purposes and I was just pimping and macking and kidding, but he's letting you know he got buddies down at the IRS. And if you play with him the wrong way, he's going to activate him. Right. So, uh, you know, Anton's pretty diplomatic. 
He knows how to he knows how he's received and he knows how to present. So again, I respect his his pimp game, as they say. I respect his presentment and what he's done or not done uh, on some levels. The rest of it remains to be seen. We got to talk taxation. We got to talk policy and code statutes. We got to talk man's law versus God's law, serving two masters and, um, you know, moving past these certain fear dynamics within ourselves. Go ahead, panel. Take it away. Your thoughts? Go around the room. I appreciate him coming on and c correcting the record with uh, him thinking that he is better than certain individuals and then retracting that statement. So appreciate that. Right. And I think, again, he's being a little bit diplomatic because I think he knows, like I know, there are certain people who, if you want to not going to say are better, are doing better in certain areas in life. And there's a reason for that. Their choices. So if you want to say, because to me, again, it's un, it's unslaved or not. And then there's levels to all that. But to me, like you can't really be truly a better man until you have self-worth and self-respect, self-esteem and self-principles. And to me, that's God given rights, freedom and principles. We go through it every day. Everything else after that is, uh, you know, it's, it's added on. So that's why I focus in with these people on that. Cause I say, from my perspective where I'm sitting, call me crazy. This is what I'm moving on. This is my, like, if it's gang banging, these are my root foundational principles and I'm moving on that. And I'm checking everybody on that because I think we need to right now where we're at and where we've always been really throughout history uh, to move a different way, bag or no bag, right? This is something that can be relatable from the bottom up. Somebody could be poor and broke and this and that, like he says, and they could be feeling like someone's better than them because they're getting to a bag. Well, you could tell them, listen, bro, you could do better and be better than a lot of people out here by just doing the next right thing and not being subject to ill will, right? And to the temptations of the world. That's a spiritual principle and process somebody can live by to generate inherent value. You bring that to the world, all the values extras. And now you could really be thankful and grateful and enjoy that. That's what I'm seeing and feeling. And that's the conversation I want to have with all these people, much like Talcott. See, we're not so different, Talcott and I, much like Anton. It's all oneself, as I say all the time. So that's how I very easily get that shit out of the way when folks are ready. But, you know, we can't uh, save the world uh, until we save ourselves. And we can't save ourselves till we're banging, standing on rights, freedom, and principles. That's how I see it. If you see another way out of this, it's not apparent to me because we saw, especially the last two or three years, if you know, you know, right? We, it ain't going to get no better. It's going to get worse, I would suspect. right? And if not, we're just on a waiting game, period. So we need to take certain time in between bag chasing, in between making moves for ourselves and our family and our future. And we need to learn legal and lawful, conscious and awareness, self-knowledge principles. And we need to apply that and we need to free ourselves. Because if not, I don't see any amount of bag or any woman sitting next to you that's going to stop what's going to continue to happen that we create and feed. <coughs> and that's another thing I really did want to ask him how he uh, handled where, where he was at, where he stood in 2020, 2021, but um, didn't get around to that. Maybe, ne maybe next time. I have one question. What man sells face cream? Tell oh. me. Sir, please. Okay. No, no. And tell me what man sells face cream. Okay. Okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay. We went into it. I don't support Anton's choice in marketing and promotions. Um, he is very soft skinned though. I mean, would you say, at least be honest. He's very, I don't, well, I don't judge men's skin. I could see. Oh, come on, sir. With, Here we go. With with the, Scott, I'm so that not that gay. You that can't that admit. Fat yeah. fuck Scott. He wants that fuck Scott. Talk that I can live. Anton with. immediately sent a case of that skin cream to Scott. Okay, because he's a bitch and a hoe anyway, and you were pimping yes. Mac last night, and he needs some softer skin. Talcott brings brings he's got shit pig to skin. you. He's got rough pig skin. Paul, why, why why did you not let me correct the record? Not, why did I not let you what? Anton, this is the guy with the pigtails. Like, yeah, man. Right. Oh. I wanted to just like let him know it's a fucking bit, so he didn't think you. Had I know. I think he gets that it's a bit, but we don't have to impress Anton or prove anything to Anton. I do what the fuck I do here. I reconcile it. I'm surrounded by insane people. Yeah. Um, and Anton can't have it both ways. He can't say no man left behind, and then who is that person up there? Why are they even here? You can't. This is what I mean. You can't have it all ways at all times. So I know, he's here he because I like Jeffrey Pizer, and sometimes he does odd bits at times. To like a jester, keep me grounded and get me, 
uh, you know, out of my, uh, uh, I guess, uh, warlike mode, right? Because, yeah. um, and again, I, I just see too many results to what I do to, to act like I'm not going to let that express. Because I've been to metaversal war, which is very inconsequential to, with many folks, and it always turns out favorable to me. So why would this time be any different? Right. You want to say this, this and this. I think you're pimping and macking. I think it's not the real you. I think the real you was much like it was today. I'm cool with that. You want to pimp and mac? Let's pimp and mac. And I always tell the truth, even when I lie, even when I pimp and mac, I tell the truth on some level. So we could get to that. And I, and then if you want to do metaversal war and say, Paulie, don't want it. I'm going to squash him. Yeah, I'm going to give that to you. I'm not starting them, but I'm not running either. Because there's really no consequence to me. And if there is consequences in the world, I've surrendered that. I already did that with the state up. I can't go to jail over and over again and do what I do unless I've committed myself to going to a box or dying. That you gotta keep that as a mantra in a way, as a as a as a, a meditation, your mortality and what the walk might entail. Um, so when you choose spiritual martyrdom on some level, you don't want that, you don't need that, but you have to be aware of it. So when it comes, you're prepared. You accept that. <laughs> Who is that now? Who's yelling, uh, making noises? Um, so, yeah, man, I mean, again, he, he and others can say whatever they want. I do what I do, and I'm still in the conversation, which means I don't really have to change what I do. And there's times where I feel that, everything he was saying, and I decide maybe sometime to do something different. You saw what happened when I went to do the Dow. I can't almost uh, go into certain things I want to because they want me pigeonholed, it seems into now being the panel guy who's got a complete dysfunction, chaos, sovereign citizens, insane people, druggies, you know. So I go to read the Dow and be there with myself early in the morning and they strike it for copyright. Uh, so, uh, you know, it's, it starts to make you feel like you can't be creative and expansive because everything you go to do and be, there's another fucking movement on you. So yeah, well, I've just kind of, go ahead. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'm just, for some weird reason, I just have like I'm really defensive about you. For some reason, I know you don't need it, but I want to re you don't need to represent. I don't need to represent you, but like you know, the, this guy, he's got a huge platform. Guys, are you're you're not getting it, bro. Let me help you out here. Uh, I'm not trying to change you. Who and what you are is what makes you valuable to me and here and to the chat folks. And I'm not going to suck dick and change who and what I am and what I do here because Anton doesn't approve. If I did that, he wouldn't respect me. I wouldn't respect me. You and the people would. So, you know, it's all of a sudden now we're going to do the we don't like Jeff Pizer and the bits, even if this one today fell flat. That's the nature of the game. So you come up, you do the bit, you change the energy. Sometimes it works and it's funny. Uh, sometimes it falls flat. We're not going to change who and what we are and what we do unless you think it's necessary or I do based on our normal day-to-day -day interaction. He wouldn't tell me anything I don't know. I make it a regular bit here to say I could see myself picking up garbage again. It's flashing before my eyes. It's, me, it's the same way me saying I'm reconciling what's going on around me to the insane loop of the world when I know that I could just throw people out, control it, manage it, come with a certain thing, or just cut it off after an hour or two. And I'd be way better off in their world. I, I'm not looking for that. I don't want constraints on any level, creatively, artistically, uh, with my beingness, with what people think about me. You want to think I'm on a panel of druggies and insane people? Great. My whole life, people thought the same about me. So you can't say no man left behind. Then ask me who the fuck is that and what is he doing? Well, he's doing a bit. And sometimes it's kind of funny or interesting or entertaining. And sometimes it falls flat. We take risks here. Right. We accept it all good, bad or indifferent. And we try to make something out of it. Right. Uh, turn shit into shy. No less. They say. So that's what is the beauty of this. You know, it's not prepared. It's not rehearsed. It's not controlled and managed only to a certain degree. It allows all experiences. So, you know, there is gold and value here. He's not going to come here and convince me because the one day he decided to tune in. There was nothing there. Well, go watch longer. Listen more, right? Don't tell me there's no value there. If you know everything I know and you apply it, great. We could work together and work with other people. If not, I don't need you. I want to work with him or other people in, in certain arenas, but I don't need it. And I'm not going to sell out my soul and my principles to do it. That's clear. 
Yeah, I guess I was. I guess I was more worried about what you were presenting more than me. So I just want. Yeah, bro. The point is, is just Bill. Me, I'm the Barnum and Bailey. I'm the crazy guy who smokes reefer in the trailer. I'm the gorilla, and I got a bunch of circus freaks. Go ahead and bill it that way. I don't give a fuck. It doesn't take away from me in the room, in the flow state, speaking the truth with an energy behind it. You can never take that from me. That's the point. Can we play Cotflix's newest video for a little brevity? Put in private chat. All right, man. Brevity or levity? Oh, my bad. What's that? I looked it up, too. Oh yeah, you God. might want to learn the English language first before you start to speak it. And I was even saying brave brevity at first, and I was like, and I was Googling it. Oh, my God. What a fail. Yeah, no, your comedy career is uh, characterized by brevity, right? Which means extremely brief. Um, levity would be a humorous aspect to the experience. Hold on, can you say can you say what that word means again? There was some clicking going on right right when you said that. Brevity? Yeah. It, it's, a, it's a briefness of an encounter, right? It's a very brief encounter. Got it. Thank you. I believe. Do we want to double check? Let's double check. Yes. Brevity is a conciseness and exact use there of words. Are sh shortness of time, sir. Shortness of time. <laughs> Brief gravity. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay, Cotflix. You get what you want. You know, I, well, I'm going to turn around today all of a sudden and go, I'm not going to play Cotflix now ever again after that. I've made a whole fucking channel and put all this work in. I can't even do that to him. And I mean, who doesn't want to see Cotflix, huh? This is the position. I created a monster. I put Talcott in position now to even where I can't leave him. And I did it to myself. Right. I did this all to myself. I am my own worst <laughs> enemy in life everywhere, I swear. It, it never fails. Every time I'm undone, it's something that I've done or not done, and then he wants to come here and tell me about not leaving anyone behind. Far from it. I, I've created, I either am my own worst enemy or create my own worst enemy and then put them next to me to watch the whole uh, cosmic game unfold. That's how much of a gambler I am. I take You're it like insane and give him a platform and then put a battery in his back to watch what he's going to do to me and everyone else. Frankly. That's the level of, of artistic genius you're dealing with and also self-sabotage. Right? You're like you your really father. Look at it. Your father created his own worst enemy, you. Right. Well, this is a common pattern and theme. You know, Because he was his own worst enemy all his life, he created his own worst enemy, someone to hold everyone extremely accountable and responsible with love. With love, man. Did I ever tell you about love? Oh, sometime I just sit around, rub my knees and feel blissful in love, man. Praise God. Praise God. Can I get a holy? Oh. My lips. <laughs> Can I get a? Mr. Talcott, can you hold up your... Can you hold up your book for a little promotion? That shitty book of yours? Are you talking to my father now? Yeah, Mr. Oh, what did I say, Mr. Talk about Mr. Laporte. Sorry. God damn. Yes, sir. Hold that stupid book up. Laporte. Why, why uh, do you want to see that stupid book? Yeah, I guess yes. if Anton, I guess if Anton's gonna push his shitty toxic skin oh, cream here, not? you can sure, fucking put not? the damn book up. Great book. There you go. He wouldn't miss an opportunity to try to grift he off me. He brought it up. Brilliant. I didn't say a he brought it up. Take it down. We just you, tested you. You're a horrible person. And get and get ready Look for it. the second release. I told Next Anton spring. that he could, you're going to have a second release. You're second releasing release. on that Next book now? Spring. No, part two. You're, you're so in love with yourself and whatever you create yeah, other than well, me well, that you're now you're releasing you're on that book. And you, and you know you all just the said he's going to have his second release on that book. No, not on the same book. Not on the same book. Very disturbing. You part two. And you, you didn't you even know that, keep in your pants. And you you know that all the proceeds go to fund this channel. You know that. You didn't yeah, even hold it upright. You didn't show anything. Hold yeah, it up I think still. You're right. Put it on. There's no funding for this channel. It's just me better? with a laptop. Hold on. Whose ugly face is that? What is that? Whose it's face no, is it? Yeah, yeah, no, I'm shutting him off. I'm shutting him off for a second because he's going to start talking. <laughs> I told this guy. He goes and changes the – this is what he does. Writes a book, changes the title because they told him to, changes the picture because they told him to, 
puts a fucking strange person's cover on the front. Some child and some man that's not related. He could have did me and him, right? And then maybe I'd have sold he, this is He doesn't fucking follow his intuition. He doesn't follow any. This is my problem with him. And I've been griping over this. And now you're going to start me up again. This is why we can never go anywhere. Because you're about to ask him, why is there a picture of a strange child and man on the front? Go ahead and ask him. No, no, go ahead and ask him. Yeah, what was that stupid hey, picture on that shitty book of yours? Or that stupid title? How do you, did, did you read the book? No. You hear this? I got to shut him the fuck up now. Okay. Do you see what I'm dealing with? He, you say, why is the, the title shitty and the cover shitty? And he goes, well, you got to read it to find out. That's not how the book works. I know the phrase is don't judge a book by its cover. Really hard to do. Turns out really hard to do. So did you read it to find out? Right. You hear what you know? Well, let me let me ask. A dumb the Homeless man shows up on the date. Right. He's just completely filthy and just tattered. Right. And then the woman comes home. Hey, I was dating. You know, when I was this guy was homeless. Right. Would you fuck him? And see how you know how, how good it would go. Right? No, I didn't need to because the covering was enough. I saw enough. Much like when Brian O'Shea shows up on a date, right? They don't have to fuck him to find out. There's no fuck around and find out. It's Not in certain item? arenas. You could find it anywhere online, man. Get it anywhere online and be ready for. Wait a second. You can find that anywhere online. Yes, absolutely. So you're telling me if I go to SportsIllustrated.com, it's there. No, just put my name in. It comes up in a million places. Any oh, any stores? No, I'm not doing this. I'm done. You started it. I just I started it once again. Okay, so we're doing Calcot it. now. You I, promoted the book again. Once again, I told you not no, to. No, I, mean, no, no. Brian, I chose Brian, to do it. And Brian said to show the shit book, and I just I just mentioned that. And you shamelessly two, couldn't part help. Part two you. will be uh, probably in the spring of twenty four. So be prepared then. But go anywhere online. Check it out. You're going to love it. I'm telling how you. How many have you sold so far? How many? Have I, I'm not sure how many I sold, to be honest with you. Not many. Coming many. next spring, a Stroke of Fate, part yes. two. Thank I you. hope the second one is much better than the first one, because if you're not selling the first one and it's it's at the same <laughs> part. Bro, no, this is a guy. Did, 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 did you read the book? Well, I never heard of it. Well, it's anywhere online. I just showed it to you. Go read it. Do I have a title? <laughs> I just gave you the title. I just Bro, gave you're, you like, the title. you're like this Papa Murphy's chain, right? I found out about this recently. Get this. There's a fucking pizzeria that doesn't cook the pizza. They hand you an uncooked pizza and charge Papa you full Murphy's. price. I, I, ha I have to laugh, though, because... No, you here? did that with a book. You anybody, did it. You did it, you did it not even half baked. I'm baked. Why wouldn't you... Stop Has talking anybody here published a book? Yes or no? Here yes go, or no? Book, right? No, here nobody we... did. Nobody has because you fucking yeah, can't do it. And you're gonna, gonna go. you're gonna fucking rag on me? You're gonna rag on me? I published a book. Let you bitches, you, you bitches have you nothing. You bitches have nothing. Hey, that god awful okay. book of yours, what's it about? Go find out. Spend the That's money. The I'll tell it's, you it's, what. I'll tell you what. I gotta stop. I gotta stop. It's not what it's about. The, 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 the ironic part is what it's not about. Me? Can we get back to me? Right? Who the fuck in his position writes a book and doesn't include anything about me? Only an insanely egoic, arrogant man who thinks anyone wants to read about someone they don't know or care about. His next you know, book is about just like, This isn't a book. This is like a eulogy or some kind of a will, I think. This only extended family have purchased this book. His and there you about, go again. You you are part of the book, so I don't know why you spew these lies. Very and, insignificant and, part and, of it, and, from what I remember. It's just oh, funny. now you just changed it. To I'm just saying, if you're going to write a successful book, all of it about me, most of it about me, very little about you. I'm just saying, I'm trying to help out. I'm coaching he, like Anton does. I'm a business coach now. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and say it. He's go ahead and say it. I'm taking a cue from Anton. Go ahead, sign up to the Patreon, send me money right now, and I'll business coach you on how to not do stupid shit. Okay. So right now, I have to come up with an hourly rate for how to teach you how to not do stupid, inept, inane shit that leads to nothing and, and, and nowhere, pretty much. And if you're too Results. fucking cheap to buy the fucking book. Are you going to take my? Are you gonna take that fucking money you got from however many books you sold and take my course on how to write a second book and do it right this time? 
So please take whatever, you know, $54 you've made on that book and fucking, because I know you paid a shit ton to get it fucking printed and published. And then you owe those white people, everything your whole life just to publish that book. So yeah, take my course, please. So I can immediately, uh, I was going to say resurrect, but your writing career was never living. It's been dead. It's a prenatal, pre pre natal mortem. What would be the word for that? It's a it's a it's a stillbirth. Your writing career is as much like Brian O'Shea's comedy career. Your writing career is like a, a stillborn. Um, it was never alive. So and let me help you to create that. Is what I'm saying. Instead of resurrecting, I'm going to help you create a successful writing career. If you're too cheap to buy the book, go down to your local library. If they don't have it, ask them for it. They'll so you read have, it you your... have so much balls. You're going to tell people to go to the library who very rarely read or go to the library. This is like a new era of medium where no one reads anymore, except Yurt Fellow. He's in the Yurt reading shit. Most people don't read anymore. Uh, so you went and wrote a book and then tell people go to the library to read your book. Not like philosophy, psychology, sociology, spirituality. Just go there to read that. There's all that in there. But if they're too cheap to pay for it, Go down to your library, you cheap fucks, all basement dwellers. I know. I know who you are. I imagine you were now, on that. Is that part of your marketing promotion to insult the audience? Of course. And you stole that from me. Again, another thing you stole from me. Well, we, we spoke about this in pre-production. You know that. No, you keep right. saying that. That's This is like your go-to move now, that you're somehow coaching me. on. Any, I don't talk to you rarely, if ever, about any of this. You, you, know, you know I produce. We have these... Uh, pre and post production. Is anyone meetings. believing this or buying oh, this? He's a very care. uncreative I they, man. I mean, you've I seen him. They, yeah, I got to stop him. I got to stop him because someone might get the wrong idea. You've seen the bits he, he does here. Any chance he's working with me at all on anything I do? Yeah. Highly unlikely to even people who don't know the dynamic. Just for what you show. Uh, you're, highly you uncre- you're highly uncreative man and you're not eloquent. You're not intelligent. You're not well spoken. You're not quick on the draw. You're not spontaneous. You're really nothing like me. And that's the thing. Why would anyone read a book about someone who's nothing like me? Why do no you keep cutting me off? You must be. No one knows. This is this will forever be a mystery. This is going to go down in history. As a, This is history's mysteries. Why did this man write a book? Who right, would Mr. write a book that no one cares about or wants to know about? Yes, Mr. that Mr. is the question. Mr. On history's Mr. mysteries. Can't you just Mr. do the bit with me, O'Shea? Get, no, what, why are you chomping at the... Mr. 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 That's the way he does a chicken. You know, can you can you just can do you the history? Room that I want to say something. Oh, Wah, I want to do comedy. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Can you just do the history <laughs> mysteries intro. Just give me the voice today on history's mysteries. All right, Mr. Laporte. Say you're on Good Morning America. How would you promote Wait, that book? Stop. It's not. It's not Laporte. That's first of all. Okay, let's let's back that up. Oh, fuck. I what if you were on Suicidal America, which is a new morning show that I'm going to produce? I would just mention uh, that I belong to you, <laughs> sure. and that's all it needs, Suicidal America. Right. Okay. Uh, my bad. What's the history of mystery? Morning. I, was, I was fucking zoned in on this fucking history. Good Morning America history. comment. I put, You're zoned in or zoned out, Brian? We, which we, is lost, we lost the time and of it. I should read your book on stage. You know how they say you could read us? Uh, you'd be better off reading uh what the absolutely. fuck is it about? Phone book on stage? I should read your book on stage. A- absolutely. Anyway. Here, here's the back cover too. Check Benton's going to read it on his stream. What the Check fuck is it out. about? Like, sell it. Like, say you're Good Morning America. It, Motherfucker. It. It's, it's okay. online. Go go read go read it online. It'll, it'll talk right, about well, your thing. Yeah, that's good stuff. I think I might let you go because, you know, one thing they say in sales is you got to sell yourself. And I think you've done that here today, like always. You're really endearing. You're really likable personality. Folks really get you. And I think another that one flying off the shelves. Another one coming to Paul's channel to sell his shit instead of creating his own channel and maybe doing some reading from his book to give people an introduction. Uh, da, right. da, 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 da. He wants to hey, do channel. First of all, first of all, shithead, I didn't bring it up. Brian brought hey, it. Hey, dumbass. Dummy. I didn't Mr. bring it up. Mr. Laporte. Okay, and I'm you. telling you all right now, I'm not giving up the damn Talcott clips. I'm not saying I'm going over there at 5.30 p.m. Central Time. But what I am saying is I'm not giving up the damn sound bites. That's living on forever. 
There's no reason to carry on this hate for Talcott for him being an insane person. He's insane. We have to care for him. Just stay away from him. Don't email him. Don't contact him. Don't deal with him on any level. And I have to tell him today, well, not that I'm going over there, but if I wind up over there somehow, some way, by an act of God, I'm telling him, don't ever use my name ever again, Talcott, or I will. Like, And then this is the terms I'm going to set. I've done it before. I've said before what I won't ever tolerate, and Talcott has immediately broke that boundary. And I've moved forward, continuing to love him. Um, Talcott's the only person that I simp for, right? Not even Jennifer, no one else, just Talcott, because he's purely insane. See how endearing an insane person can be? Um, Did we blow the history mystery segment? Let's try it again. Where are we going with that? Oh, yeah, okay. So I'll bring him up, and then you can be the history mystery. What is it? What are we doing? Help me out. <laughs> Here we go. Now I got to write the whole bit for him. Isn't the isn't part of being a comedian being spontaneous and the funny? Problem is, it's not funny. I know. That's the problem. <laughs> it's like funny and spontaneous. Brian, Brian, it's supposed to be a court. Are you a stand-up comic, Brian? Is that what you're supposed well, to be? Well, I went on stage last night. I'll play it for you guys. I was tired as fuck. No, no, no. Hey, just sit the fuck down. Yeah. Sit the okay. fuck down. That's all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. You got it, man. No, seriously though, Mr. Laporte, say you're yes, on sir. Good Meeting America, and you, seriously, because yes. you don't because you don't respect this show, but you respect that shitty show, just because it's got a lot of viewers, right? But say you're there with millions, that's millions your of viewers. Words. I didn't say that. Right. They say they got millions your... and millions of viewers, right? Yes. Okay, and they say, Mr. Laporta, put your son Paul Enslaved, who's this sovereign menace yes. to society that's locked up in jail right now. You have a book. Tell us about your book. What's it about? Yes, I, I I show it like this and say online everywhere. Get it online. And What's it about, Mr. Laporta? Sell it to the audience. If you if you go online, they'll give you a description of the book. And why you don't okay, have a great segment. We'll see you later. That was Mr. Laporta, Paul and Slade, yes. the great hero of the nation. His yes. stupid father. That, 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 that's a fun, what an idiot. That's a funny we kind bit. of failed there. Sorry, audience. We'll see you right, later. Right, right. Oh, you're funny. You're you're funny, Brian. You're funny. You're funny. He is a comedian. Oh. He is a comedian, sir. I comedian mean. to who? Who the fuck is he a comedian? I, to? He's this, ten, this stuff is, ten people at a time at an outback. His stuff is pure shit. Sure, he performs. That's not funny. He performs I've never heard me. him say a funny you fucking thing. You can't talk over here. me, Tommy. You can't do that. Stick to writing books. This medium isn't for you, it seems. You call you call that a, a comedy show? That's the. I haven't heard you say a fucking funny thing. All there this are time ten to fifty all do, people. All you, do, all you ever there do is talk about ten to fifty people all across this country. All you talk about. You never about supported acts. me, Mister yeah. Laporta. Ever all since I was a child, you never supported me. All you, all you talk about is your perversions, and all you talk about is your cock, and all the faggots that you're fucking. That's all I ever hear about you. Hey, hey, That's hey, all hey, I ever hey, hear. Hey, about. Oh my god. No, no. No. We're not going to have that kind of damn language here. Are you fucking kidding me with all the hate? We're not doing that here. See, this is what I, but my biggest supporter, I've asked two rules. Don't, well, three rules. Don't use the N word and the F word. Pejoratives for certain folks who, you know, well, I'm not going to get into it. Um, <laughs> Brian O'Shea, you got to watch this kind of stuff in the business. And don't talk about medical slavery. Okay, just fucking deal with it. This fag sits in his car jerking off. <laughs> okay, we're done. We're done. Oh, thank you, thank you, sir, for being here and attempting to destroy this whole broadcast, uh, as you've done many times before. I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let you go because I asked no f word, and you did it again. So you just like Talcott and many others, you don't respect boundaries. You're basically a Lumatami. Okay, and you're my father apparently as well. So you're you're just like Luma Tommy. You don't listen, and you break boundaries like Talca, uh, and you say shit I ask you not to say, and it's really not not funny. I mean, Brian O'Shea is clearly doing a bit. He's not actually well. Um, <laughs> you know, you can't prove that is what I'm saying. So it's it's a lot of it's for effect. Yeah, what and I'm, I'm meeting up with Rob Cleveland today, so you know he's a black man. We're trying to get a black audience, so don't go with that gay stuff too heavy. Yeah, I'm throwing him out. Yeah. I gotta throw you out. I need room in the back. So Me? thank you, sir. You're kicked in the backstage area. 
uh, it's just incredible. My biggest supporter, who I ask not to do shit like everyone else, just does it anyway. I seriously right, want to I invite Cleveland. Me and Cleveland are meeting up today. I seriously want to invite him on a hike. This is Red Rock Mountains, Red Bricks. Right. Go invite him on a hike. Um, I'm, I'm wrapping up now. I'm done. Um, we had our mo- moment in the spotlight. Um, the, the man promoted. Uh, you get your skin cream, the whole deal. You know, everyone's promoting. So happy day. Uh, Anton Daniels didn't use the F word and the N word on my platform. He was very honorable and respectable, unlike you. Hey, can we watch Hot Flicks first? The newest release? Uh, I'm excited for it. You guys love Cot, don't you? You really uh, love yeah. that after last night. I mean, the more along with Scott, like Snafu was saying, and tried to say that he was going to basically out me on fraud for mail. Mail fraud. Yeah. You can't do that. It's already been through the mail. They've already made their own discretion on it. And if you're well, not. Well, didn't the Judas fraud, creature, didn't the Judas creature have the Christ of being killed? And even still at the end, he told him he loved him because he was a filthy slave and didn't know himself. Yeah. So there you go. That's well, how you maybe. Right. So Maybe Talcott, the bit- so Talcott even being a postal worker and not knowing the law is saying he's going to out somebody else because they know the law and they were able to do something that he doesn't comprehend. That is not what the law is for. The law is <laughs> <get out. laughs> the law isn't to get other. How people am I going to give that up? How yeah. could I give that up? The guy was yeah, right it I- I've created so much content out of Talcott now that I can't even give it up if I wanted to. And you bring so much joy to the rest of us with those clips. Like, we would never be able to find them in all of the metaverse. I know. And wizard, and how wizard, am I going to take that away from myself and everyone else, what I've created out of Talca? You can't do it. And it's, Wizard, it's we have to do it as a test. Violation of law. We, ha- we hate Talca. Shut up, we Brian. A fucking liar. We have to see if it's still funny, Wizard. Because maybe it won't be funny. Because we are so I disappointed in Talca. I'm going to fuck with Talca so hard. Maybe Talcott will look like uh, an idiot in the video, so it'll be a win-win. You don't want to play Anton's last upload with your face on the thumbnail? What, what, what was it about? What, what shit was he talking about? It's just, I, it's, I think it's, it's last one, night. I think it's, it, it's the same clip about your right to travel failure. It's the same clip. Right, right of course, not Anton, the success. Anton came here today, like I said the other night, on his platform. You're real respectful now. You be respectful in the room with me. Let's keep that energy. And let's fucking build or work. And you want to pimp and mac? You do it your way. I'm going to do what the fuck I do. I don't see that changing. I don't need to do what he does to be there doing what I do. Just like I don't need to do what he does for him to be here doing what he does. And if we can meet on some levels, that's fine. But you know how I move. The, 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 the rules really don't change. I don't equally yoke myself to folks who are infidels. I don't mean insult Anton. I don't know what he does. Just like, you know, I know what my father does and what he admits to. What he won't admit to, I know what he does. So if I know you and what you do and how you live and your worldly ways in certain areas, I can't trust you is how it feels to me. So there's only a certain amount of association I can have, even if it would be better off for me in the world. I just, that's how I live. So, um, yeah, with that said, I don't think that he really wants problems with me. I think he came here today and showed that. If anything, he's showing deferment and respect to me. He could come in here and say he doesn't see any value in me because of who's next to me. It don't work like that. That don't work like that. You see value in me or you don't, and you wouldn't be here if you didn't. I'm not buying the rest of that per se. So whoever's next to me is who I choose to have here for the same reasons he did, because I'm no man left behind. So motherfuckers have to see power and value in me or I wouldn't be in the conversation and they damn sure wouldn't show up to chop it up with me. So we could just call it what it is. It's not ego. Same way I'm going to say with him. He's influential. He could be inspirational at times. He could be powerful. But there's a whole other cultural overlay and there's a whole other pimping and mac and deception and, and, and broadcasting and entertainment and with the celebrities. And again, we need to create clarity for young people. 
We need to create understanding for ourselves and young people. We don't need to blur the lines anymore of music and entertainment and art and all the rest of it because it's a disservice. We need celebrities who are worthy of celebration, which means you're going to have to get put on trial. You're going to have to see what you stand for, your principles, essentially. And by on trial, I mean just speak to the world on record. What are your principles? What do you live by? And then show that. And then we could, you know, again, if you're married, like Anton says he is, I take his word. He's got children. Great. So what are we showing them day to day and what are we creating? If it's not anything other than the absence of slavery and genocide and the absence of personal choice to travel, to do whatever, to have private property, to have free speech completely. Uh, if we're not working to change ourselves and each other to complete that, um, then I don't see much of a point of anything else. So this is a simple concept. You either get it or you don't. You see how it's valuable and applies. And like he said, we'll get to that conversation. So. We'll see where it goes. Um, give me a final word and then we're out of here. All right, come on. The video. How long is the video? Let's see. It's, yeah, uh, you keep telling me you want to go to the five the minutes. Five minutes. Jack oh, Talcott. Right. Yeah. I, I, the link's in the private chat. All right. All right. Well, like I said earlier, um, the numbers are going to go up because of the interaction with Anton. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> you were saying, and I mentioned it uh, a couple days ago on Anton's uh, in his chat that uh, it was a good thing that Paul and him have this interaction because it would up numbers on both platforms. So again, we're right. It's the controversy that brings the numbers. Think about it. Yeah, his show's probably falling flat. He's going over the same shit. He needs something new. He's in love with Paul. He loves all this shit. You're in love with Paul, Luce. It's got nothing to do with what he's doing or not doing. If he's doing three million in three months, he don't need me. Right? He sees something in me the same way I see something in other people. Because we're very much alike, apparently. Again, water finds its own level one way or the other. And what people do with that is the personal choice. And the ego bullshit. So, um, I'm not. All, all I can say is be careful because you don't know because he has that audience and it would help your channel. You don't know if somebody went to him and hired him to get you to go with him. So I'm just saying be careful. Get to know who the man is first before. Again, I don't. I don't. I. I'm not looking. Talcott's already emailed him multiple times. I'm sure Scott has. I'm not going to email Anton Daniels. No, I'm There's just, no reason yeah, to. Just, okay, so I don't need to know him to, to see where this all goes. It's a long game. We had a great interaction today. I'm going to keep doing what I do here. I might pop up over there from time to time and fuck with him and, and create an energy and a buzz and an understanding if I'm able. And that's what it is, right? Yeah. Like he said today, if he keeps that energy and that understanding and he really lives by that, we're not going to have a problem because that's what I live for. Obviously, like he says. People pull up to me, I don't run and hide. I pull up to other people's shit, I don't run and hide. If he's going to live on that and stand on the truth that he says he knows, so am I. And we're going to get to true enough in between. Simple. And it's going to be great content and a great experience along the way. And I'm sure there'll be more opportunities for me and others. But that's not where the, where the center is. That's not the motivation. It can't be. If it is, then all the other shit goes out the window. Right. And again, he, Anton could say he's going to deal with Scott and Talcott and Pimp and Mac in public and be diplomatic. I'm not buying it. He might. We'll see what he does. As soon as I said, hey, you got to claim them and work with them. He said, no, nah, you got to do that and show me. It don't work like that. Right. These are two hoes. I ain't claiming them. You want to Pimp and Mac with them and talk pretty in their ear and work with them? Go ahead and do that. Produce the result. And then you're the ultimate business coach. That's when I go, Anton, Anton, look what he did with Scott and Jack, Anton. You know, but until then, it's not, oh, you work with them because you're claiming them and want to, you know, do whatever. What, is, with them what, what does Snafu mean when he says John says let's align with Pogo fucks? What the fuck does that even mean? Right. So this is the point is that Snafu is like one of the guys in the G unit on the tour bus who you got to leave home. He's like, <laughs> he's like what's the guy's name? Uh, 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 Bangham Smurf. That's Bangham Snafu. <laughs> <laughs> because everywhere you go on tour, he's looking to pop shit. He's looking to call people out. He's looking to knife somebody or shoot somebody. 
All right. I just and said is be careful and make sure you know who you're dealing with. That's all I said. Bro, and the point is, is they don't get it. I'm doing what Talcott is trying to do using me. They don't get it. Everything they say is impossible and insane. That's why I say we're not so different, he and I. It's the way we go about it and what we can show once we're done telling. That's where we part ways. So I'm getting to conversations with different people in different arenas. I'm getting my understanding, not my understanding, the understanding out my way, I guess you could say, at best. Because <laughs> right? it's not my truth. Uh, there's a little bit of my truth thrown in there. The point is, is wherever that's going to go, it's going to go. Whether it's a conversation with Klaus in front of the world out of whatever the fuck forum, whether it's a conversation with fucking Gaddafi's cousin at the U.N., I don't fucking know, and I'm not sitting around having delusions of grandeur and grandiose visions. Maybe I'm not manifesting well enough. I just believe if you stay consistent and you're good at what you do and you show up in the right places with the right energy and you uh, keep that and they know your heart and they ride with you, it's going to go somewhere. I don't even have to associate with anybody or do business dealings. I don't have to agree to anything. I'm me. I show up. What you see is what you get. That creates the energy and the attention for the understanding. You get value from it. I get value. I've already proved that concept. I don't have to sell skin cream or anything else. I'm not hating on Anton. He may want to get to more and be willing to do more. I'm not. I'm cool where I'm at. With, with this whole situation and other situations, I'll keep rapping, showing up, doing what I do, and I'll get the blessings and grace, and I'll live within my means. But do you not, see his first motivation being uh, money? Say again? Do you see his first motivation as being money? It, it, it could, I'll put it like this. It could not be that. And he knows in order to get to people watching and listening, he's got to appeal to the culture. And the culture is about bag chasing. So yeah. if he wants to come on and use his black presentment in a way, which is savvy and smart on one level, and say, hey, all you bag chasers, bag chaser, bag chaser, because he knows that's the culture, bag chasing. Now, what he's doing and living on, I don't know. I haven't watched enough of him to hear enough of him to, to make my own summation. But again, when it's – and it's a slippery slope, John, because remember I said to you, if I ever get in a room or in a conversation, people will do the same thing to me that I'm all too willing to do to them which is say everybody who's got in a room with somebody of quote-unquote importance must be a Mason, must be a Boulay, a Jesuit, whatever. Well, then that I'm going to share the same fate if that ever happens. So I have to be very careful of that to be objective, right? What is this guy's claim to fame? What does he actually do? What is he on record for? What can he show and tell? And where does it all lead to, right? And then you know where I pick it up from. Okay, you might have all that down. I agree with you. I pick it up from here and I run the rest of the way with it. Because, again, you know, um, I don't think there's anything Anton or these other folks can do that I can't do. So I must be able to get to the bag like they can. Well, what's the rest of the way of what I perceive that I can get to or have gotten to that they haven't? And you know that story. So and it even ties into the monogamy deal. Right? I want to talk with him about marriage and that whole deal. What does he characterize successful marriage as? Right? What does that look and feel like? When he's ranting about women and how they won't fuck their men, is he talking about himself and that woman? Let's get really real with ourselves and each other as men in front of the world. Let's take this somewhere. Let's make it interesting. Let's gamble a little bit. You know, what good is, is he a spear guy? You ain't never willing to put it all on black at some point. What did you just say, Flow State? Is he a manosphere guy? That's what I'm picking up. I don't know. I don't know anything about him. What is manosphere? Red Pill, like Meg, MGTOW. Andrew Tate, Kevin Samuels. Right, right, right. Is he Andrew Tate-ish? Yeah, I don't think that that's his rap. It's From what I get, and now this is why, again, this is where the, the, the beauty and the value of this interaction comes in, is if he's open to it and we could get out of the competition of who's a better man for what reasons, we could talk about who and what we are and what principles look like, and then he's going to tell you. Like he said the other day, I'm pretty sure I'm going to vote for DeSantis or Trump or whoever. Well, then, you know, the conversation we're going to have already because we've had it a thousand fucking times. You know, so the rules don't change. You know, the game doesn't change. The names and the faces do and we keep it moving. So um, that's where my power is. I'm not going to look for power where I'm going to lose it. I'm going to 
use it where I've retained it, which is what I know about me and what I'm dealing with here and what I seem to know about others that they won't recognize in themselves. So again, what good is the bag and all the rest of it? If you got to be subject to other men's dictates that don't feel like a man to me, that feels like a high priced hoe. I'm not trying to demean Anton or anyone else, but I will tell it like that. If you want to do the whole better man thing, we're all subject to slavery. We're all subject to genocide. We're all subject to this plantation where everybody's numbered and given an entity and identified with it. So you want to up and out or not? How, how much are we going with the stakes here? How much you want to go all in? And then, you know, <clears throat> it's like I'm that dude, bro, in life. I'm the dude who back in the day when I was really fucked up and twisted, if you wouldn't do certain drugs or do them a certain way, I thought you were a bitch. That's fucked up and twisted. Right. I'm not living from that. I go, well, I'm on borrowed time because I live that way. So I'm now converting that to this. You won't do these certain things. I'm calling you a bitch. We could sit on a private plane and, and smoke a cigar and rap and talk good game and pimp and Mac and do a broadcast. And at the end of the day, I'm going my way and you're going your way. And if you're cool with that, I'm cool with that. Because, you know, again, there's associates and then there's what you call friends, as they say, and, you know, everything kind of in between. But I, I can't really go on even business partners. You know, I'll hop on a plane. You know, no nothing sign, no nothing, word of mouth here and there, whatever. But I don't even go into business with people till I establish they got those principles down and they're willing to put up because I know when shit gets hot and when it all goes wrong, they're going to be scrapping and scraping and trying to backbite each other. I've already seen it with Charleston White, the guy who's sitting next to him. Right. I check in on these people every once in a while. I really don't follow anyone anymore. I never really did. But I became aware of them. So I check in on them and their journey because I'm watching the journey. I'm not really interested in too much of what they're saying. I'm watching the journey of the being and the development. Um, so these people always wind up growing from nothing. They get people around them and they wind up getting lied to, cheated, stolen from because they don't have the discernment to live from something other than a worldly principle. And that's where I think someone like me comes in. You know, dare I say it. You say you don't see value in me. I think I'm your best asset to your kingdom. If I have my kingdom and you have yours, I'm a great asset to your court, right? Because I'm going to say, let's remind us, fellas, why the Tao says we don't do business with men and women who don't care because see what they just did? If you'd ask them five questions and knew where their principles were and watch them and see how they respond to life, you wouldn't know what they're going to do in that situation. It's obvious to me. You're going to fold like that. So how motherfuckers who are on the streets, many of them, ex-gang members, uh, claim to be so, you know, aware and streetwise. They're not that streetwise with their spirituality, it seems, because they somehow trust people and let people around them with their money and shit like that. I don't let these motherfuckers even get in my inbox with a response because I already read them spiritually and energetically and I asked them the questions and got the responses. I know who and what you are, what motivates you. I can't let you near me. If motherfuckers knew that who are already successful and have a bag, they can retain the bag. Not only on a legal lawful level, what I know, but what I know about people. He says he knows about people. Let's talk about it. You know, let's have the conversation about the postnuptial agreement. He said, uh, he said, you don't know if I have that. Right. Tell me, do you have a postnuptial agreement? Because I want to ask how much you all trust each other. Because see, the foundation of law is working in trust. If you ain't got trust, you ain't got nothing. All right. Because communication and trust kind of go hand in hand. And what I see is a lack of communication between men and women in the home. Yeah. Jennifer's Hi, Jennifer. Brian O'Shea, you fucking Bre Je Jennifer wants to know if I want pizza because she's getting pizza from one of these places. They got a pretty decent pizza place over here. Surprising. Uh, yeah. Get me um, three regular slices. Thank you. Regular. Come on, man. Yeah. They only serve. They serve these kind of smaller uh, regular or pepperoni. Slices, but it's pretty decent in comparison to what I'm used to around these other places. I mean, nothing's ever as good as New York pizza, but um, surprisingly decent. For I don't know, man. Down here in Florida, on Florida, whatever, they got a couple spots. One is called Blaze, and you could get whatever the fuck you want on it for like a set price. It used to be like eight, nine bucks. Now it's probably like 11, you know, in the market. But yeah, you can get whatever the fuck you want on it. How can Florida? Florida. Florida. How can that still be true? South Florida New York pizza, though. I mean, I think the recipe would have spread throughout the country by now. All right, they're 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 howling for conflicts because yeah, I keep getting to it and then having to stop it. So let's get back to it. <laughs> 
beat it to the punch. I'm going to stop it, okay? Because I want to be clear. I do love Talcott, but there's also – I'm going to be completely open, and I've probably done this before, but you realize this is part of why I go over there, right, and still deal with him? Because whatever we're about to watch, part of him is going to laugh, and he he kind of likes it, but his ego, it hates it because it's another video on the internet – of Jack Talcott in some bizarre compromising situation where he's called a pedophile, a sex offender. It's not what he wants for his grandiose guru, uh, Klaus Schwab image. So because I've thrown my image away completely, see how I am? It's kind of subtle hating, right? But it's for good reasons. I'm like, Talcott, you don't get this. I threw my image away a long time ago because I realized you can't play like that. And he still holds on to it. I'm like, watch what we do now. Cotflix, Predator, sexual <laughs> like so he's like he laughs and giggles then he goes back and says he emails me like today he goes i hate how you have my likeness all over the internet and you're abusing me and destroying my reputation he can't stand it on some level because he wanted it to be for being a guru and saving the world so that's just not how this life works and i get it you wanted it to be that it could have been that if you did it a different way it would have been that but you didn't so you got stuck with me and this whole deal. And now you got to be okay with that. How dare you be embarrassed by me? All right? I'm not embarrassed by you. How dare you feel that way about me with all I've done? All right, let's get back to it. Tonight at 6, with our first look through courtroom sketches of the Spokane man, Jack Talcott, who's accused of ramming a U-Haul into a barrier oh, near the White House. Oh, and this oh, is video of the fucking, incident that... He took the one from the other day. Okay, this is what I mean. <laughs> Just for this alone, it's the first, like... 20 seconds, I'm not stopping. I'm going to Talcott's at 530. I'm going to probably cause trouble there. Uh, I'm going to first feign that everything's cool because it is. I have no hate in my heart. And then I'm going to fuck with him and his ego hardcore and probably ask him questions and then yell at him and hold him accountable. Uh, and we're going to go on like we always do. And I'm going to continue to not answer his emails or deal with him privately because he's a liability. Um, but we need more Cotflix content, right? We can't come this far and stop, so. I'll, I'll put in my work today and do what I need to do for, for the people. People uh, from coast uh, to coast quick. and all across the world are seeing tonight. The Spokane County man told investigators he was doing that to get to the president. He had plans and we're learning from all, all new court documents, new information that Jack Talcott's attempt to get to the White House happened on the north side of Lafayette Square. This gives you a better <laughs> idea of actually how close to the White House that is. Tonight we have team coverage working to piece together what led up to this cross-country trip from his Spokane home to this D.C. Is and what's level. happening now <laughs> as he faces charges. Our own Caroline Hecker is outside of Talcott's home with a well of new information she's just gotten over the last 30 minutes. Oh, Caroline? Well, tonight we're getting our first look at those court documents that specifically detail the interview that he had with Secret Service agents just last night after his arrest. In that interview, he told them he bought a one-way ticket to Dulles, arriving about 8 o'clock last night. Once he landed, he, he went to a nearby U-Haul store, rented a truck, and headed for the White House. Hours before FBI agents showed up at Jack Talcott's Spokane home, the case against him was already growing, mainly from an interview with the feds. During that interview, Talcott told agents it was his goal to, quote, get to the White House, seize power, and be put in charge of the nation. When agents asked him how he would seize power, he told them he would, quote, kill the president if that's what I have to do, and I would hurt anyone that would stand in my way. He told agents his actions had been successful oh because his intention was to get the attention of Secret Service. He made mention that his goal was to, quote, live without fear. <laughs> oh, my God. No, you didn't. Oh, my God. Talcott clip collection. It's, it can't end today because this might be the man's best work ever. Might be his best work ever. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is. This is a work of art, okay? And I would be, I just, I wouldn't be me if I didn't go over there at 5.30 and play this at least for him and listen to him laugh and giggle and then go back to trying to use me and everyone else to get his goals done. So, yeah, and we need more content. Okay, yeah, he's getting better and better. It's, it, it's better than ever, and I can't stop it. I got to see where it goes from here. So, sorry if you want to hate me, if I lose all the new viewers from Anton fucking with Talcott for hours at a time. 
Uh, oddly enough, Anton's viewers seem to really like Jack Talcott. They were into it. They like throw that gorilla out. We want more Talcott. So um, you never know what you're going to get with this fucking guy is really the bottom line. Dude, so one of their moderators the White House was, was saying how much they like if he was all in charge. Guys, when asked about the flag he left at the scene, Talcott said it was a swastika <laughs> and that he designed the flag himself because, quote, the Nazis have a great history, man. The affidavit goes on to say Talcott said he admired, quote, their authoritarian nature, eugenics, and their one world order. When asked if he looked up to any leaders, he told agents, quote, Hitler, because he was a strong leader. <laughs> oh, no. Talcott, you now can't that, do that, man. You can't hijack a U-Haul, crash it into the White House lawn, and then praise, uh, you know, that man. Okay? Affidavit also went on to say that he had been planning this incident for the last six months. He could appear in court once again as early as tomorrow. Caroline Hecker, News 4. Caroline, thank you for that update. The White House says President Biden was briefed on the whole incident earlier. Here's some of what the press secretary told News 4's Washington Bureau. Clearly, the president was here yesterday working at the White House, so of course he was here last night. Uh, but I can tell you that he was briefed by both uh, the relevant uh, relevant uh, agencies, if you will, law enforcement uh, agencies who had to deal with the situation. And he's very thankful for to them for their quick response. There's still a lot to learn about the plans Jack Talcott had. News for investigator Susan O'Corey has been looking into his records and his past to learn more about the violent man. U.S. officials familiar with the investigation are making it clear he's not someone who is known to them. They tell us he didn't come up on any watch list, but they are now considering him an emotionally disturbed person. They didn't give us more details on that, but we have learned he's been interviewed by multiple FBI agents and during those made what were described to us as broad, vague threats towards the president. And he also brought up taking over the world. Tonight, we're talking to a man who was there outside the White House when this attack happened. Once I saw the the truck back up and then ram the barricade again, I knew that this wasn't uh, just an accident or a drunk driver or anything, that this seemed pretty intentional. Chris the boy capturing this cell phone video of what investigators are calling an attempted attack on the White House. If I had been just a little bit later, I would have been face to face <laughs> with, uh, with the driver. The boy who lives in the Washington, D.C. area, spoke to News 4 Investigates about his close call. It's just all really surreal. I was just going for my normal run. And I, I usually run on the mall in, in the white, by the White House because it's, you know, there's a lot more security there and I feel safer. So you just don't expect that sort of thing to happen. Investigators say the driver of the rental truck is Jack Talcott, a 49-year-old from Spokane, Washington. A U.S. official familiar with the investigation says the man flew out of Spokane on Monday night. The home listed to the man was quiet Tuesday, and police say that Talcott was not known to them. His name also isn't tied to any recent court records. The Office of Inspector General for the United States Postal Service did confirm that Talcott was recently terminated from his managerial position at the post office. During interviews with our investigators, his neighbors described him as an abusive and angry man and believed he was, quote, a threat to the welfare of public safety. We're going to keep looking into his background. Here in Washington, Spokane police say they've never been called out to Talcott's house, nor are they involved in the investigation. They stressed that they will help, but only if asked. Susan Alcori, News 4 Investigates. Thank you, Susan, our on-the-ground correspondent. Uh, shocking. Every other day there's a development with Jack Talcott. We don't know how he keeps getting out of all these things. We don't know how he gets himself into these things or out. But maybe God's working with a man. Maybe that's what it is, if this is real. So now they got actors doing these vids. This is, this, this is pretty cool. And this is, they're, they're really that cool. was an amazing video. It was. I mean, they do that so well. And obviously, the narration is uh, not actually a news source, right? God, they did that so good, you can't tell. No, I That's think a, that, no, that was actually a real story. It was actually Jack Talcott. Um, he went over the edge, and you heard the rest. He tried to... <laughs> Fucking, uh, I don't know what he's thinking. He's, I'm going to drive you all to the White House lawn. I don't know what the fuck he's up to. You. <laughs> that <laughs> deep fake shit is crazy. God, that's so funny. That's what our world is, the deep fake shit. And they're just showing it to us now.
man, that it's incredible. It's really incredible. Yeah, most people rent a U-Haul and move furniture. Jack Talcott rents a U-Haul, drives it into the White House lawn. <laughs> but it's for a bigger purpose, right? To save the world from legal secrets and to end wars. So no publicity <laughs> is bad publicity. That's what he was going on about. Yeah, is it a little risky, though, to uh, threaten the president, though? Say you want to kill the president? Isn't that a little bit of a risk? <laughs> Like it, yeah. No comment. Okay. That's the only part of that I found a little, you know, maybe taking it a little too far. All right. What else do we got? Is it was there something else that we have to get to? I kind of want to bitch out and yell at Flow Flow State over here. All right. Go ahead and do that, sir. Uh, get to that. Fucking. Bitch, dude, like he's an undercover like hater or something. When I defend you off the platform, it seems like he's got this undercover fucking something against you. I mean, not to suck your cock so much in public. Hold on, say that up, say that up, say that over again. I got road noise. I got to hold the phone up to my ear. He's probably a little bit jealous, Brian O'Shea. A lot of people are, so don't, you know, take yeah, that too that's much. All it is. That's all it is. And he's handsome O'Shea, too. say it again. I didn't hear it. I said I'm going through a bisexual stage, and I might want to suck your cock. You're really handsome. All right, no, 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 not in front of the African Americans who are coming here from Anton's platform. They don't, they're not into that. <laughs> yeah, they're not into like any gay stuff. Well, if they're into it, they're not going to talk about it and they're not going to sit around and watch it because they might have feelings and it's uncomfortable for them and their culture. So stay away from that as much as I know that's hard for you, but try to stay away from that. Unless you're gay and you're black, then it's okay. <laughs> right. You no, know, I was just... and, I don't know how we'll, we'll defer to Joe on that. I don't know what the rules are on that. A gay or black? Which one is it? I'm saying, if you're black, do you have to pander to homosexuals, or can you just say, "Hey, I'm black, and we're not into that shit"? And fuck them. Uh, I think you gotta pander to uh, homosexuals, no matter what race okay. you are. They run the world right now. See, and that's the thing. I thought there was this thing, black privilege, where like yeah. if you're black, you're pretty much like high on the hierarchy of political affinity groups, so you can pretty much say and do whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> Is a black privilege. Yeah. Well, so, Shay, I would say that just because you want to suck my cock, that doesn't mean that you're going through a bisexual phase. My cock is so beautiful that you can want to suck it and still be straight. It's not even gay. Yeah, your face. Yeah, is that's really that beautiful. new world order logic. I've seen this before. Like they have a yeah. new phrase. That they'll say like her cock, and I don't mean to get graphic for all the new viewers, but they'll say they'll do this thing. They'll go, "She has a penis." You know, and that's some kind of new world. That's the new normal, I think. Yeah, I just want to hate. It's not people. normal, but it certainly is new. It's descriptive as fuck. Yeah, why are you jealous of Paul, Flow State? What's that? Why are you jealous of Paul, you handsome? Bad am boy? I jealous of Paul? Yes, you are. Why am I jealous? You? Why am I jealous of Paul? Why do you think I'm jealous of Paul? I don't know. You come here. You've had a broadcast for a while. He's getting a lot of attention. You're handsome. They say that he's not so handsome. You think oh, Shay, are you projecting good. again? I mean, maybe there could be something there. I'll give you, you that. You project but, like a motherfucker. But still, it doesn't mean that there's not there's something there for you. Maybe we both have a little something of that going on. But it means you have. It means that you have absolutely no evidence. I come the on his channels. I come I, on the show sometimes. Am I jealous of other streamers I go whose channels I visit? No, I said when I'm on other streams and when I had a conversation with OTW and Zetetic the other day, you're just being a little fucking. Yeah, crazy. you are a complete fucking loser, dude. You need to get your shit together. Stop making up backstories about what other people think or what Paul wants or who's doing what, and and just join us in the real world. All right, yeah, he's like really jealous right now, is what I'm hearing. Right. So I think you're on to something there. He wants, to sneak this, he wants to sneak this you behind your back. But see, where's your facts? What was I what was I doing that was wrong that day? Are you kidding me? You came in crying at OTW, crying at Zetetic, acting like anybody owed anybody anything, and then All right, tell the and truth. If I, no, if, I get, if I get if I get a piece of skincare line and i rub cream on my face you're gonna be annoyed right you have beautiful skin though so it's fine uh, okay. damn it where was i oh acting like uh 
like Zetetic Warrior should have known to come over to Paul's channel. Because what? Like, hey, Paul, do you think Zetetic Warrior, I, ha, you made it clear to him that you want him up as much as possible? Do you think Zetetic Oh, yeah, I that? told him constantly, privately and publicly. There's pretty much no... Like and that, and that ever, was why O'Shea was crying. O'Shea's jealous right. that you want Zetetic Warrior. No, this is Paul why he's jealous. See how he's talking he's over jealous. me like that? That's jealousy. Right. That's that moose shit, right? So, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, I told him, like, you know, most people I don't talk to anyone. I talked to him privately. And I said, you know, I want you up there. I think we got a good energy, and I think the people enjoy us going back and forth. So yeah. I can read myself and him in the room and know what people are going to like more than the alternative. So, yeah, of course I've told him that. And he's yeah, got all these fucking emotional issues, I guess. I don't know. I don't really get into it with him privately. It's just kind of brief. But he's come up here before and talked about it. I don't know. Maybe you it's the name for everybody. Yeah, that's the point I was trying to make. And then he's got. Sorry, I'm going through a bad reception. I'm on the end of a bad reception area. But um, Paul, how do you feel about O'Shea going on someone's stream and then complaining on your behalf because of what he imagines you wanted? Because what he did was he went to OTW's channel and started bitching about OTW should have ended his broadcast. And Z yeah, been over I'm there. totally cool with that. Yeah, I'm totally, I'm totally cool with that. Yeah, no, you can stop talking. Why is he still talking? He's barely talking with that. Yeah, I'm totally cool with that. If O'Shea wants to go around town and tell everyone to shut their fucking broadcast off because daddy's going live, that's what he should fucking do. Right, and he's All a right. moderator now. Okay, well, I guess that you have permission. Yeah. Why the fuck? Carry on being a bitch, places. He, no, it's not being a bitch. He's just supporting the team here. There's a lot of jealousy. O'Shea, you caught him again. You caught another one. This is why. <laughs> this is why I made O'Shea the moderator because he's not only a. He's great with like sexual torture and that wrench, but he can spot him. I didn't even see that coming. That's why I put him next to me. He spotted you a mile away, talking over me, jealous, uh, now hating on O'Shea, going around telling people what they should know automatically, which is defer to me in this broadcast. Are you kidding? OTW stream? Yeah, shut that shit the fuck down. Bring those 20, 30 people over here. Get next to daddy. Let's get to something. We're around with Anton Daniels today. Okay, he's talking big money, big deal, skin cream, the whole deal. What the fuck is wrong with you? You want to be a loser failure forever? Or you want to go places? No, 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 no. Take the damn skin cream and rub it on your face because I'm about to shoot an ad. I didn't say I wouldn't shoot the ad. I'm just not doing it. But I'm getting a piece of it now. All right. Me and Anton are working together. So put the lotion on your skin or you get the hose, like they say. Uh, and 30% off for the promo code for all you broke ass slaves. See? I'm I pretty good. Fuck at this. me. What is that? Well, well, he's a he's a perfect foil. He's the I couldn't have picked a better guy for you to go after to get into it with you. I couldn't have picked a better guy, right? This is interesting as fuck. This is gonna be good TV if he's willing to join in. Right. I will coincidentally take the side of the white man every time, not because I'm white, but because he needs someone to do that over there. So yeah. The only thing I've ever seen was the clips I saw of you and him. I haven't taken the time to go watch the show yet. Right. Yeah, so, uh, but I can tell he's all about the bread. You're all about the uh, truth shit. That's a battle. Uh, it's going to be a good fight. <laughs> well, he says he's about both, sir, so we'll see. Oh, but you know he's not, right? You know, he preaches that bread shit too much. It's an obvious one, right? It's the fucking leg sweep through the gate when this shit occurs. I'm looking forward to it. Again, and that's why I say now we we get to have the interaction to get down to it. Because like anyone else, he may just be good at what he does. You know, have a diplomatic presentment and know what to say and when and how to say it. I don't know. Um, I don't know what it does. It's just talk about how shitty white folks are. What what just what's his little stick? Yeah, I mean, sometimes he'll he'll do pop culture stuff. Sometimes it, you know, it's a morning show essentially. It's like a, a sort of a, a a morning zoo kind of thing, right? I guess no pun intended. 
Um, you know, you could argue I kind of started to go that way with doing the news clips and certain stories and talking about certain popular ideas. The difference is, is I always end up, see, the bit is that every news story I do, it's always the same news story, right? Like I always <laughs> wind up saying this is slavery and genocide. It's stupid. And I don't even want to listen to the rest of it. So it is a bit of a looping bit, non-bit where we cover the news. We point out the, what should be obvious, which isn't because common sense isn't common. And then every story winds up being slavery and genocide because it is. You so imagine. I don't know. You know, but yeah, he, he does that and then he'll talk about the issues and um, the back and forth. And again, it's it's a morning zoo kind of drama controversy. There's hip hop culture stuff, whatever else. But again, I can find a seat at the table anywhere because I do what I do anywhere I go. Just like I'll go with David Rodriguez or Castro or whoever else. Impact flicks. I, I don't know what they do day to day. I have a pretty good idea. Doesn't fucking matter to me. I don't have to live with them. I don't have to work with them. We share a seat at the table for what we do. If we're all cool with that, we keep it moving. You know, so the problem and the issues become when folks try to love you or try to open doors for you and you say, no, nah, I'm good. And they go, what the fuck do you mean? That's not how this goes. Right. No, I don't. I'm good where I'm at. I keep saying I'm good where I'm at and I keep getting further. So I'm good where I'm at. I keep getting further because I just do the next thing that appeals to me uh, to be something that could lead to something yeah, valuable for everyone. Right. So if it's internally valuable, first and foremost, it's going to get to external valuables. I'd rather long game it. I'd rather push my integrity, credibility and authenticity as far as it'll go rather than do what everyone else does. I ain't hating on it. It's just not for me. And again, there may be a day where I turn around and go, I should have got to the bag when I could have because I'm not as hot, quote unquote, as I was. And I can't replicate it. You know, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, I could come back to you with that story, but I, that would, to me, be, again, unthankful and ungrateful. I've already gotten to more than I thought I ever could. So if I ever take that attitude, I'm losing sight of who and what I was and what I've become and what I've gotten yeah. uh, through just being me and doing what I do. So if I stay thankful and grateful and feel blessed, I shouldn't have that problem. Yeah. Then you have the uh, success. I see that everybody needs to make a certain amount of money, uh, but it's success, how rich you can get. That seems to be the scale, at least for some people, uh, and certainly, uh, dude, uh, you know, it's success learning to uh, be comfortable with what you have. You know, it's the point is, like you know, he's trying to lead to, like he was trying to talk about, it's about okay. finding a place for everybody at the table based on what they could do. I've talked about it here before. I could use different people up on the panel for different segments or different pieces, but they don't let it be that. They make it now, they're going to orate about what, like what I do in other areas. It's not their position. And the people tell them. It's not even me. They go, you're being egoic. You're telling me. I go, bro, look down in the chat. You got like 10 people in a row that say, shut the fuck up, let Paul talk, or go back to doing your bit. Like how much more uh, feedback do you need between me and them saying the same thing before I even fucking say it? So, you know, it's it's it's, it's the successful team is people who come to the table and be honorable and ethical. That's a big if for me. That's my table, right? Because I can't get into business and contracts with folks who are not honorable and ethical. It's going to go wrong. All right. you know, so that's where I start. People end there. I start there. They start with, what do I got to do? What's the bag? Who is it? But I go, I don't even care who it is. Honorable, principal, respectable, you know, stand for something. If not, I, it's yeah. limited. So Anton may go, to go do events, right? I don't have to do skin cream or whatever else, and I don't have to hate on it. He might know something I don't. Great. But if he's doing events and we have a dynamic, then right. I'll show up and get on stage and fuck around and bullshit and do a, a, a kill Tony kind of rap. And if they want to give me a, a piece of the door, then that's what it is. I want to do that anyway from the beginning before I ever did this. Go on stage and do comedy like O'Shea. That's why he's here, because he's a reflection of self. Right. So I, I'm cool with associates and, and limited business interactions and limited partnerships and limited trust. But, you know. That's how you Again, that's like day by day, man. And, 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 and just go all in. Uh, 
I I mean, dude, <clears throat> I know my cousin knows something I don't, right? I mean, this uh, weekend I saw him for the first time since New Year's. He's riding around his 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 second Bentley. Well, he's got two, right? He's about to, but he's about to trade this one in that I was riding around in uh, for the Maybach. Yeah. He wants the Maybach. Um, <laughs> and I'm I'm in this Bentley, and I'm just, you know, I'm not gonna say I'm not. Uh, uh, I, I don't know the right word. It's not impressed because I'm not impressed. But uh, it's it's cool. The gadgets and gizmos, the screens on the back of the uh, of the uh, headrest, you know, and the and the refrigerated fucking wine, uh, the refrigerated glass holders and shit. Uh, here I am at at uh, still living at home with a with a broke down 2005 Nissan Altima that I don't even know what the fuck's wrong with it. It's been sitting there for for so long, but it's okay because <laughs> I was so. I was so nervous riding around in it anyway without with with all my stuff expired but uh I've been doing it I've been doing it for a while and ra even ran into a couple instances and continued to stand on you know what wow. I know to be good right and true and it worked out for me two out of actually three out of three times once in like 2021 and then So uh, you some, but this is the thing bro you're sitting here trying to tell us all how you know somebody with a Bentley but what the fuck does it amount to If if right. I was you I go create a bit like these people do and do your version of the modern day, you know, I'm like, you know, corporate mail. So you're like, hey, this is my Bentley, whatever. I don't know. Do something with it. Right. Um, and bring it somewhere. Well, you, you know, know like, it makes me, it brings up the point why, why I'm bringing it up. Like how Anton's coming over here, multi-million dollar, apparently, allegedly, uh, Anton, like my cousin, coming over here. And there's something obviously of value for him. Right. Like how my cousin wanted to subscribe to my YouTube channels that now I'm not even going to be up uploading to for a while now because they're both both under uh, strikes and whatnot. But um, you should do a bit where you're Andy Taint's little cousin <laughs> and your whole deal is he lets you borrow the Bentley and you don't actually do shit. You just say, hey, I'm <laughs> hey, I'm, I mean, well, well, <laughs> I'm Adam Tate. Right. And they go, what do you do? Oh, I'm related to Andy Tate. You know, like something like that, you know, do the bit where, <laughs> where you're special and better than everyone, but it's only because you're Adam Tate, but you're a real man. Right. And right. You know, you get where I'm going with this. You work the bit. Yeah. But yeah. The you man. can do something with it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, people love just the, the things, seeing the things and whatever comes along with it. I mean, whatever. Right. Yeah, I mean, if it's no, fun, if you have fun doing house, it. My girlfriend is fucking Impala. You know, I'm a. Go ahead, Joe. Uh oh. Go ahead, Joe. No, 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 no. Go ahead. That was all I was saying. I thought I lost you. Oh yeah, I mean, that was it. That was all I was saying. <laughs> you know, I mean, who doesn't like pretty and nice things on some level? But the other side of that is you, you kind of got to know yourself. <clears throat> I'm a gorilla creature, like they say. So I don't need all that. It's more drama than it's worth. You know, I got fucking refrigerators and coolers in a Bentley now. You know, there's going to be some fucking drink in there. It's going to get spilled everywhere. Like, I don't need all that. I don't need this. It's just for what? I'm not going to ride around with fucking wine cooler in there. Um, you know, and I'm just like that, man. You know, and maybe again, they say if you say money don't change you, maybe you have a made enough. Maybe if you gave me three million every three months, I'd say, "Oh well, fuck it, I'll get a detail or this or that." But you know, I'm used to having little to nothing and having no way to get it. So just getting to something and having what I need a little and some is plenty for me, right? I live within my means, um, and that's where I believe happiness and true power is found: enjoying less. So maybe what I have, I, I, like I said before. I'm more likely at some point I'll probably wind up doing it if I go long enough and and, and consistent. Uh, however that works, um, I'll go buy a fucking nineteen thousand dollar Honda. That little purple one with the you know it's like I got a little purple hue to it um, is one of the colors, you know. And I'll do no plate and I'll get the documentation for it and it'll be like a promotional marketing piece and kind of a symbol for me. Like, hey, you know, I worked hard and sometimes you can reward yourself with something, right? But to me, like, I, it doesn't even it doesn't mean anything. You know, like I'm going to be more worried about it getting beat up at fucking Slave Mart uh, by these folks letting their carts go wild. You know, I'm going to be more worried about fucking up the interior than I'm going to be sitting there going, look at me, I'm the man. 
You know, that's just kind of how I am. I'm just, I guess, regular person. But again, I, it's naive of me to say if you didn't have opportunities and more there that you wouldn't get out of that. But I, I'm not so sure I want to get out of that. I don't want to be the guy riding around. Look at me, I'm the man and throw money at every problem and every situation. I like my power being who and what I am in every situation and my shit not owning me. You know, me having maybe a little bit of something nice here and there if I keep it that way. Um, if not, you know, I'm cool. Whatever's used or whatever's affordable or within my means without feeling like I'm getting tricked and suckered. You know, I, you could give me a billion dollars. There's some shit I probably would never go by that everyone else goes by because I just feel like a sucker doing it. It ain't about me not having it. It's about me giving it to them for what the fuck I'm getting. I feel like a fool. So that's just how I came up. My father was like that. It wouldn't matter how much he had. He'd say, I'm not giving you $4 for a slice. You know how many times we walked into a pizzeria? He'd say, I'm not giving you $4 for a fucking slice of pizza. And, of course, everyone's like, so now we're, we, we're going to go somewhere else now and do a whole. He's like, yeah, it's the principle. I'm not paying the extra dollar fifty or $2 for this guy to fucking jerk me. When we all know it's a $1.25, $2 at best, and you want to double that. Right? So at the time, he's like, I'm not doing it. I don't give a fuck how good it is, blah, blah, blah. It don't look that special to me anyway. There's a place down the block that we usually go to, and it's just as fucking good, if not better, and it's half the price. So I came up that way. I lived that way. I look for the best deal in all situations, and I usually get what I pay for, and I find the, the happy medium, right? I look for something pretty quality. It's a good deal, a good price, and I, I, I stick with that. And I'm kind of a creature of habit, you know? So <clears throat> I, I don't know. You never really know. That's why I try to be objective because you never really know. I'm sure maybe Wes Watson might have said the same thing at one point. Now he's riding around pimping on everybody with Aventadors and <clears throat> eating $200 lunches and all the rest of it. I call it pretentious is what I call it. And it's it's how people get their value a lot in this world. And it's what people have been taught and conditioned that their value is based on is how much money or what kind of things that they have. And I'm, I tend to agree with you on you get your value from what you present or what you offer to others. And that's really all that matters. We're all people and nobody's better because they have something. And right. But here's the other side of that, right? Cause there could be a toxic relationship. I talked about this before, even coming out of a tent, we have to be aware of our toxic relationship with saying like trying to play self-righteous. If somebody gave you a million dollars tomorrow, could you feel like you could let that go because you're going to get two million next month? Or are you so insecure and fearful that you're not valuable enough to to see that that's going to come in? Right. So you hold on to it. <clears throat> so there's a fine line between being pretentious and just letting go of it because, you know, more is coming in and, and living within a means that's acceptable. So like I've had to learn that, too, because I got to a point where it's just more numbers on the screen and I pretty much have whatever I need and then some. And then I don't even go anywhere, do anything. And I have to say to myself, bro, you're doing seven days a week. You go eight months straight. Go take a fucking dinner every once in a while. You know, go fucking do something or buy something. Buy a new fucking bag. The bag's all ripped up and torn up. It's been through war. I carry my clothes around. I look homeless. Right. And I don't need to do that. But I still do that. So it's like, bro, go buy a fucking bag. Treat yourself on something you need anyway. So like, that's where I treat myself with shit I'm going to need anyway, you know? Um, so, um, yeah, I, I think that, again, there's a fine line there between um, being humble with humility before the creation and not wanting to be greedy uh, and lustful and selfish versus being open to opportunities and kind of letting go and knowing that you're going to be okay and be enough as long as you don't go crazy with the fucking impulse, right? Even if you do go crazy with the impulse, you're going to be okay. You're going to be fine. That's, that's like up until this time, you have made it somehow, some way. It always say God makes a way. I don't know how you want to put it, but it always works out. Even when it isn't working out, it still works out or else you wouldn't be here. So it's like, how much do you really want? The question is, what do you want? And whatever you want, it's fine. But know that it comes from the inside or at least, you know, think about it from the inside is what do I really want? What makes me happy? I live by the golden rule. So to have a major excess of money doesn't seem right to me because other people are suffering. So it would be OK to have that 
but then I would be compelled to help other people with that. That's all. And I do the same thing now, you know, with what I have. I have plenty and then some. And if I can offer somebody else a hand, then I'll do that. And I think that that's a good place to be because nothing makes you feel better than helping somebody else. If you're always chasing a dollar, you're always chasing a dollar. You're always chasing a dollar. You're always chasing a dollar. So, you know, like what, how much is, is enough? How much is enough if you're in that mental state? You know, when yeah, you're that's the state, point, right? When, when you have that thing you're doing every day, you put your all into that you see, okay, this is generating value in different areas. You start to have faith, right? Um, in yourself and what you do in the process and how you apply it. So it's easier to let go. I know for me, most of my life, I didn't know where I was going to generate value in different areas. So it was an insecurity place. Well, like you say, it's not about hoarding. Um, you know, you can have a level of investments and quote unquote savings or whatever else. And then, yeah, some of it should kind of go back to this idea of tithing or paying it forward or, you know, giving little things here and there or maybe helping to better your and other people's situation as a community uh, endeavor. Um, but, yeah, I don't think we have to be guilty uh, necessarily. It's conditional. There's a lot of folks out there who you could say are poor and broken suffering that are choosing that every day, whether they know it or not. They're choosing it with the way they think, feel and live. You know, if that wasn't the case, then everybody be poor and broke and whatever else, because a lot of us live on the same conditions. Right. We're, we're created equal. We have a mind and a heart, a time, energy, attention. What the fuck do you put that on? That's going to generate a result within you. That's going to dictate your value and worth in some market. And then when you apply it and stay consistent, you're going to grow your reputation and your credibility and your integrity and, and your ethic. And it all works together. So I can see both sides of it. Having that toxic relationship with fiat and success, being afraid to fail and afraid to succeed. So I down it and shit on it. And then I see doing this. Oh, I wasn't even expecting this. And I generate value on different levels. So I can't have that opinion. Right. You give what you get in this round and then you decide what you're going to do with that based on your conscience. And hopefully or faithfully, uh, you're serving something outside of your own uh, wants and, and non wants. That's honest shit. Yeah, like I contend a lot of this shit, a lot of people like myself were poor and broke for a long time because our way of thinking and feeling and living was broken. I mean, right? I don't know the motherfucker, uh, and I don't know what you guys do financially, but I don't hang with motherfuckers, very few who I don't consider poor and broke. Most motherfuckers, you know, have the niggas I fuck with living in fucking trailer homes. I walk in and be like, this is a beautiful house and best house on the block. Joe, this is a trailer home. You know, what the fuck do I know? Yeah, but see, you know what it is to me, Joe? Like, it's not even necessarily about the amount. It's about, like, to me, right? And this is where me and Anton would wind up at each other's throat, I guess. Uh, to me, it's about, like, what I show here. I could take this fucking laptop anywhere on the world right now and generate value on different levels, right? So right. to me, like, the poor and broke thing, you, you could have a million dollars and to me be poor and broke because five and ten years from now, where does your value come from and what the fuck are you going to do? Like my father may have got to X amount over his life, but now he's in a period where he's still pushing a book because what are you going to do? I don't have that problem, right? I am the value. What I create here, facilitate and, and activate it sometimes is the value. So I'll never have that problem again. I feel that's what I'm, that's the proof of concept that I want to put forth and prove is I will never have the same worldly problems that I once had all my life. And most people have. Because it's we're back to pimping. I am the value. And there's always hoes coming and going, especially in a venue like this. So you're literally kind of living off hate in a way. Um, because, true. again, people don't want to see you win and succeed. They want to equalize with you. So one thing that's consistent is you're going to have folks showing up from time to time to show you all what the game is about. And then at some point it gets old to people. They go, I know the game. You're going to come in and equalize because you're afraid to fail and afraid to succeed. And you got to mind someone else's business all day. You hate your fucking life. So you got to equalize with somebody who doesn't live that way and doesn't feel that way. You know, what do you got going on, y'all? Well, 
Well, I got a guy telling me, um, I, I thought I heard gunshots. That's the first time I did it and listened to the scanner. Now I have a, a friend telling me how shitty I am because I was in a room with a guy he doesn't like. Real adult shit over here, Paul, if you don't mind. I don't deal with it. Personally, in my personal life, I don't deal with it. I'll fucking ignore you. I'll block you if you keep going. I'll tell you, this is what it is. This is what I see. Uh, unless you can give me something to compel me to think differently, I'm going with that. And, you know, if you keep going with this bullshit, we're done. Because I don't need it. I don't need that fucking immature, insecure power struggle and power games. I get enough of it on here more than I need here. You know, more than I was dealing with already. Um, I sacrifice my peace sometimes on here in certain ways. And that's something in my life I won't do no more. I refuse to do it. So get your shit right. Get your shit together. I'll work with you to do that or go your own way. I prioritize my own peace. It's got to be that way. When people don't have my number. Don't fucking text me. If you got my number and you text me too much, you're not going to have my shit no more. I'm going to block you. Um, you know. Because then I asked him, I go, why don't you prioritize your own peace? And there's never a good reason. Some kind of feeling. You know, some kind of need or compulsion or impulse. Hi, Your thoughts, Brian? Brian? Okay. I'm wondering. Brian, okay, what are you doing, man? Are you monitoring that chat heavy? Are you fucking yeah, monitoring? Gay shit about that? Brian. Yeah, I'm on it. I had I got my first uh, time summon off for thirty seconds. Since I was here, he kept putting watermelons in the fucking chat. Whoa, you, 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 so you're using you're, you're using the wrench on watermelons now? We can't do watermelons. Oh, he just kept doing it. I guess I could have just removed him and say if you he was spamming watermelons. So like you, you felt know, unsafe like, about that or what? What was the like? What was the reason why you felt like you needed? I don't know, cause then, cause the second fucking. The second Anton got here, then Ehrlich, they just started doing the the black, like talking about fried chicken and like, you know, we're trying to get Anton's audience over here. It's just like, slow down a little bit, guys. Like, what the fuck? You guys got to go straight races. Like, where? Whoa, like, whoa, 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 whoa. I got to stop you, bro. Because now you're doing it. We can't talk fried chicken all of a sudden. You know the motherfucker's no, racist. Can't. He pretty we much says can't. every day he's a Nazi. So Anton's going to know. He came over here, bro. He saw the panel of insanity. He knows there's racist, angry white people down there. He knows what he's getting. He better know. If not, I'm telling him. If you don't know, now you know. That's a good N word with the A on the end. Right? So, yeah, man, we're not switching everything up all of a sudden because Anton decided to see how you're a bunch of hoes who get pimped and macked on right out of your position. We're not doing that. So, go ahead and say something now again about fried chicken. Do it right now. Go ahead. Who, me? No, whoever down there. Type something down there about fried chicken. We're not. Anton's a big boy like the rest of us. He can handle it if he's oh, going to no, say no, wrong. Don't type something about fried chicken in the chat because I don't know you, and I will assume you're a racist piece of shit. Probably. Oh, yeah. No, 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 Joe. We're not having this. We're not having this. All right? <laughs> You fucking type down there right now. Call. I see that. And, and, and you're a racist. Insult Colonel Sanders, too, okay, while you're at it. This will let's, really get them going. Let's talk <laughs> honey buns. Let's talk black and miles. Great <laughs> now we're talking. Fuck that fried chicken shit, man. Grape drink, purple drink. I want the purple drink. Hey, this person is right. <laughs> How do I become a mob? There's no Did application I process for that. You don't actually get to become a mod here. It's the one place where you don't. Everywhere else, they like, you know, you could suck dick for mod. I don't do that here. Sorry. The, so. the one thing to guarantee you not get a wrench for me is asking. You know, right. It helps if you're... Yeah. So that's the thing. So when you... And, and I didn't want to bring that up. I was, It's unspoken, but he's right about that. Um, <laughs> when you say, how do I become a mod? The odd part is now you've just determined you'll never be a mod, so... Red flag, bro. Nobody trusts you. Yeah, it's oftentimes important to know what not to do, right? Did somebody say honey buns. I heard honey buns. Here we go. All right, the archaic yeah, spit. Go ahead, take over. Oh no, I just I heard honey buns and uh, 
you know, uh, when I hear honey buns, I come around because that's my thing in case <laughs> you weren't aware. In case you weren't aware, that was my. Oh, Paul, why'd you leave, Paul? Paul, come back, please. I actually have a perfect Archaea impression. Archaics impression. I just have to hear him for a second. It's like dead on. Listen, man, I came here for honey buns. All right, go ahead, go ahead. I yield. No, no, no. You see, I've been in prison. See, I have a normal voice. Like, I, I sound like this when I don't do my prison voice. See, I got this fake prison voice I do as archaics. But see, normally I kind of talk like this. But when I do my prison shit and I do my timeline reset Phoenix event shit, I do it kind of like this. I'm a grifter, bum, shut, scum, scumbag, fucking con artist. I'm a scumbag con artist. Do you understand what I'm saying? There's this reset event every 138 years. I got books. I read shit for 19 fucking years. All I did was read. Do you understand? You loser basement drilling bums. You didn't do shit. Right, it's a horrible oh, bit, but if you're going to do the bit, at least do the part where he said five times in a row, I'm not an agent. I'm definitely not an agent. I don't understand why anyone says I'm an agent. I'm definitely not an agent. Well, I'm not, an agent. Not, oh, I'm not an agent. I'm not an agent. You fucking scumbag basement dwellers. Read a fucking oh. book. I am not an agent. I am not CIA. I do not have a different voice. This is my real voice. Hey, Betty, can you get me a coffee? I have a real fucking voice, you punk motherfuckers. Now, listen. Now, I'm, now, you know now I'm starting to think that you're the one who uh, possibly, potentially, and correct me if I'm wrong here, uh, Mr. Uh, <laughs> I, I, don't know, I don't know your name, but... Are you Wait a second, the there's two uh, archaics on panel right now? It's archaics versus archaics. You know, this is archaics. new. I've never seen this before. Go ahead. That's a Are fake you the, fucking by, by any chance, you, I'm the fake archaics, okay. <laughs> are you by any chance, sir, the, the individual, I don't know your name now, but are you by any chance the individual who made the account Scumdog Millionaire? Was that you, sir? Fuck no, I don't make no sense. I don't even know how to use technology. I was in jail for 20 years, you dumb fuck. I was in jail with Wes Watson, too. We paid through. I choked that motherfucker out, that bitch-ass motherfucker. Now, I am not CIA. I am not deep fucking state anything, you crazy fucking hoes. This is my real voice. Oh, and it's a double, extra, extra cream. Anyways, motherfucker, listen. You punk-ass basement-dwelling losers. I've been to prison. I will fuck you, Pineal, right in your ass, you fake, deep faker. Right in your ass. You understand that? I've had sex with many, many men. Many men, like 50 Cent. I heard Paul talk about 50 Cent. Many men, yeah, motherfucker. Wes Watson, too. I took that shit right from him. So he's a fucking grifter liar. He's the fake fucking motherfucker. Anyways. All right, you're, you're a hater is, the, is what I'm getting out of this, right? And um, I'm just going to leave now. I'm going to run. <laughs> so, uh, Yeah, you better you get the fuck out of here. See you in 138 yeah, years at the next reset, bitch. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go get some honey buns, so uh, fuck you. Yeah, Phoenix event. Phoenix event, you understand what that means? Give me a Phoenix event up your asshole, motherfucker. I'm looking around, I'm yelling about fucking people in the ass. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck's... Oh, my God, man. Uh, that was great. <laughs> Oh, you're laughing now, you basement dwelling hey, fucking who's loser. This person? Hold on. Brian O'Shea, stand up. Yeah, who's that? Um Where yeah. who the fuck? Where? In the comments? Yeah. Who said that shit? I will uh, fuck them. Where are they at? <laughs> I do not see it. I do not see it in chat. There's a Phoenix event coming and you fuck it. I know how much I read. Does he actually say he's gonna fuck people on the broadcast, or you th you you just threw that in? It's creative license. Yeah, he fucking says it every time Pineal goes up there. He's like, "Look at your pretty ass face. Put your nice butt what's cheeks, Pineal." What's the Phoenix? Pineal event, used to be a right? power lifter. He's got glutes. <laughs> what's the Phoenix uh, event? Tell me about it. The Phoenix event is every 138 years. There's a reset event. It's called Phoenix. Now. There's some culminating in the ultimate. We don't know. It's been happening every 38 years, but there's a special Phoenix coming. 
Like when I go to Pineal's house, a special Phoenix event happens every <laughs> few days. But this, but this fucking Phoenix event is 138 years. Something's going down. I don't know what. You can feel it, right? There's something in the air. We're at an age stage. These supernatural elements. It's, it focuses heavily on, on, on Christ being being a, a the Christian concept of purity. Yeah, Christian concepts of purity. Pineal's butthole is the most purest Christian concept of purity that I've ever now, seen I don't in my appreciate life. you using my image and my likeness. Okay, first off, first and foremost, sir. Secondly, I will use your image, your likeness, and your asshole in any way that I want, Parnell. We know that. You know that. Your mother knows it. Your sister knows it, too. They like to peek around the corner like Jeffrey Pizer, like some free weirdos. Listen, you yeah. fuck whoever this Pineal fucking poser, penile, flower power motherfucker you're talking about is. I'm, I'm talking, talking about, about the, the Pineal <laughs> power that used to do workout routines like the motherfuckers in jail. Pineal used to be ripped. Muscular. That means glutes. That means cheeks. And his cheeks are tired. Oh man, do his cheeks get tired? I'm talking blowjobs. Yes. Now, fuck yeah. Who the fuck's around? It's a family of children. Blowjobs. Yes, children. Hello. There's a family of eight. Man, my Listen cheeks all... are, are tired after I'm done. You guys are cool. Paniel says. Every yeah. 138 minutes, Pineal says, damn, my cheeks are tired. Now, every 138 years, something fucking happens, some sort of reset. Don't you see these old buildings, you retards? Oh, they were built damn, in 1850. Damn, where'd you find dicks? Pineal, I just need you to be quiet and take it. I don't need jokes. I just need cheeks and silence. How many times I got to tell you? This one time at prison, well, actually, it was uh, after prison. It was at the uh, work release camp. Yeah, this one time at work release camp, I stuck a flute. Well, you know where I stuck yeah, a release flute. camp. I don't have to tell I released you. all over the fucking place. Now, play some more of that goddamn up fake archaic so I could fucking hone in on his fake and ass voice. on the red letter days. portions of the New Testament. And you have to understand, when I was making these associations and I was identifying these problems. When I was identifying Pineal's rectum, you understand? I wrecked him in his rectum. You understand what the fuck I'm saying? He got wrecked worse than Verily Verily in them goddamn Colorado videos. Have you seen that? Verily got fucking wrecked. I'm talking work. Now imagine that in Pineal times about fucking 10. You talk about 20 years of nothing. And then all of a sudden, Pineal's standing there. Fucking praise the Lord. <laughs> Whoo, I can't even. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that gets me right in my sickolacrum. The, the sickolacrum. Many, lacrum man. In my many, 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 many men. Now, I need some goddamn more of that fake archaics so I can hone in on his fraudulent voice and what the fuck he's talking about. These deep fake motherfuckers. I think some more goddamn I can do I archaic, and I haven't even heard the motherfucker. Well, Listen you know, there. I got it. Uh, I got a, a stream schedule with uh, Bro Sanchez. You know, Bro with the dot after it. God damn it! All right, the numbers are dropping insanely quick, so I think we're gonna call it. My bad. All right, so give oh, me one no. more. We need one, one more round of Phoenix event. <laughs> this, well, this, this, one second. I want to hear more about this Pineal Power Phoenix event. Well, play, 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 I, need, I need you to play our first. Problems. I was. Someone's got I was one hundred percent Southern Baptist Christian, so I was very well versed in the Old Testament as well. I was 100% Southern Baptist Christian. Someone's on repeat. Someone's got to turn off their second U device so I can do this fucking goddamn routine. Now, one more time, because my timing was fucked up. So there's, plenty, there's an echo. Something's fucked up going on. It might be on Paul's side. I can hear myself doing fucking bits. I don't like hearing my own voice. Where's that coming from? Oh, damn, it's my shit. I'm an idiot. 
fuck. That was Maybe me. You just got Piz. It could be Piz in your speakers there, Mr. Uh, that was me. Brian. Okay, please, one more time Shia. with the archaics. I fucked that up. Now, please, play it. I was 100% Southern Baptist. That's good stuff, no. Aaron. Go ahead and just tell us about the damn Phoenix event. Every 138 uh, please, it'll be good. years. Go just ahead, play the go thing ahead. one more time. I'm telling you, it'll be good. Now, play a little bit more. Play that motherfucker. If you Are you please. trying to get me banned? Because I hear this guy like bans oh. people. For... Oh, yeah. well, I hear you. Now, this fucking Phoenix event is 138 Christian I got sent books. Damn it, I need it. Just a little bit. Give me a little bit of that money. You won't get banned. Trust me. I need it. Well, and this is where... <laughs> this is where Pineal loses his ass virginity. I've seen a lot of ass virginity in prison. Now, looking around at that family of eight. The music is turning louder. They're fucking turning up the music on me. They're trying to get rid of me in this goddamn hotel casino. It's never been this goddamn loud. All right. Fuck. No, it's dropping. I got to get, get it together here. All right. There's a, there's a fake archaics out there. And Aaron, your fucking imitation of my voice is terrible. I know you consider yourself some sort of fucking comedic genius impersonation, motherfucker, master. With your bald-ass dick-looking head over there. I'll shove you right up my ass, motherfucker. Now, whoa. Now, Pineal with the fucking cheeks of his. He's got some nice cheeks, that fucking Pineal. We call him Cheek of the Week. He's a freak. He does it on a sneak tip. I give him the tip, the bits, all the shit. <laughs> all right, I got enough. That's it. I am fucking got anxiety. Oh, Brian O'Shea, oh. you shut your mouth. Get off the panel. Go do some comedy. So a theme. Listen here. Do you agree Listen with here. the flat earth? I will. I had no sleep last night, and I had my big event at the fucking comedy club. I don't know who I am. I'm Archaic and O'Shea right now. And I was tired, and I could play it for you guys. But whatever. We got to get out of here. We're wrapping up. Jeff, I would fuck you. Seriously, I'm saying a bit. <laughs> you got to get the fuck out of here before I do some more gay shit. It's freaking me out. It's enough gay shit for me today. Little by little, every day. I'm reading up with Rob You know Cleveland your real voice out. comes in every time you say something gay. It's like you go back to yourself to say that. Every time you say you something can't gay, say it is that the real other guy. voice comes in, O'Shea. It sounds really seriously, gay. Seriously, seriously, O'Shea. It sounds like, like drama you. I'm a school major, like, and I'm hearing From that okay? guy my to real that part. guy. But when I come on panel, I kind of go like this because I don't want to sound so gay. But when I'm at the gay club, it's like, woohoo, I'm Aaron, power bottom. Let's go. Woo. Anything goes. Who's got the poppers? You guys know what poppers are? It's a gay drug where you sniff it and you kind of almost pass out and it makes I'm your rectum like say, dilate or takes dilate. Takes one to know one, O'Shea. Bigger. That means you seem to have nailed easier. me. You seem to have nailed me. <laughs> All right, I'm going to shut the fuck up before I ruin my whole reputation and life forever. I was making moves here this past couple. I've been consistent. I'm going to go streets. volunteer my time and talents to those who want to reduce the population. Yeah. I'm I'm special, so I, 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 I'll be sp spared w w when that time comes. I, 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 All right, go uh, we're going to wrap up here, so uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's final words. All right, I'll, my final words are uh, my bisexuality. Uh, bye, Bri. See? All right, Brian saying bye. Bye 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 bye. See, you got it. Hey, I like that smile, young and fearless. You got some nice cheeks. I bet on you too. Anyways, all right. Take the example. Let's get the fuck out of here. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Bri out. Bye, bi. Not the bye. Bye.
All right. Well, I'll give my final final word again. Um, remember, folks, to feed a man for a day, you give him a fish. To feed him for a lifetime, you teach him. But the true principle is to teach him so he can go forth with his talent and teach others. God bless. Have a good day. Thank you, sir. A lot of times in the metaverse, in order to teach a man to fish, he must become the fish, in which case you got to get a hook in him. And that's what a little bit of pimping and macking and ego triggering will do for you. So uh, learn the game. All right. Learn the game and learn yourself. Uh, the more you know yourself in the game, you can put the two together. Uh, maybe get to something, but not have to sell your soul. Boy, would that be an exciting idea, right? Don't dishonor your principles either. Uh, as long as the creator and the creational force knows your heart and uh, as much as you can put that forth to the people and feel trusting about that. I mean, again, I contend authenticity is the way to go as much as possible. So I always tell the truth, even when I lie, as I say, or I don't lie, but and macking. All right, get the hell out of here, wizard creature. We'll see you later. Much love. Hey, Thank Paul. You, I've, uh, I was, I didn't watch the late night shit last night. I don't know what's going on. I was working all day. I've kind of uh, caught this morning a bit, but uh, I'm going to go over to Talcott's here. I don't know. I, I've never been given anything in life, you know, nothing. And Talcott blessed me with a wrench last week. And uh, I don't know if he's broken bad and I got to give this wrench back or what's, what's the verdict or what happened? Dude, I forgot all about Talcott, and I'm an hour ahead. No. Yeah, it's, I think, the 25 minutes, maybe. Oh, I don't I think know. Tonight I think will okay. tell a lot. Tonight will be a, a, right. an so, indicator of. Okay. So. I feel, uh, tonight will be a big indicator, in my opinion, in my humble opinion. In of my what? humble opinion. Of what? His and, constant and insanity and poor, poor life choices? <laughs> Is that what we're going to see you again? Have you talked to him, Paul, since last night? I, I missed all no. today. so he, he kept emailing me and telling me I was embarrassing myself. I said, Talcott, you're in no position to critique me. Don't fucking tell me about my discernment, how I'm going to live. Stop fucking emailing me. I'm going to deal with you when I deal with you. Same way I always do. It's like he, it's like he almost like he emails me all the time anyway. I don't answer. Then he like causes problems to email me. Right. It's like, no, it doesn't work that way either. Now I'm just going to email to tell you don't fucking email me. All right. I don't give a fuck what you think and feel about me. And I think you're being used or trying to use people. Simple. Paulie, don't don't underestimate the, the emails he got to Anton. Right. I know. And now Jack will tell the story that Anton would have never happened with me if it wasn't for him writing an email. Right. Even though he was already talking about me and had talked with me and I was already doing what I'd been doing uh, as I stated earlier. So, you know, contrary to popular belief, I don't need fucking Jack Talcott to do what I do. Right. As a matter of fact, the less I have Jack Talcott to lean on and his bizarre personality, the more I can get back to doing what the fuck I do and probably getting better results. If I really want to be honest about it, you know, I mean, again, Talcott has now become a gold mine because we let it be that. And now there's Talcott clip collection. So I'm going to need to get over there now and show him the clip. And well, first, I, no. OK, I can't start with the clip. I have to start with insulting him, um, abusing him as usual, uh, pointing out how fucking weak and pathetic he is, how much of a star fucker he is, a name dropper, and, and how egoic he is. And then once we go through that, then we'll play the clip and show how he's also an insane person who might drive a U-Haul into the White House to stop wars. Fuck, man, my head was starting to hurt. I didn't realize I thought we had another hour or so till Talcott's slave. And now he's right here in 20 minutes. So I guess, I guess we'll, oh man. Um, how are we gonna I run this? Go ahead, you take over, you produce. I don't know if, uh, yeah, you have it in you, but he definitely should fucking go over there at some point and, uh, I don't know. Right. Anton already told me today, a wink and a nod, that he's going to fuck with me more, and I doubt Jack Talcott or Scott are going to be part of that conversation. Um, you know, I could be wrong, 
and it's not about proving something. It's just about he's got nothing to do with them. When I said, okay, they'll be part of the conversation and you got to claim him. And he said, no, nah, that's on you. So he already told me what I needed to know indirectly, um, basically saying he don't see no value in it. Same thing I could have told you before you started fucking with him. Same thing I could have told you before you wrote Wes Watson and try to convince him to let you help him. Are you fucking sick in the head? Why am I asking that question? We know the answer. You fucking wrote Wes Watson, uh, who's like, as Anton says, better than you in every way. I guess we're pimping and macking the same way we always do, uh, the way he was when he said it to me. He knows he don't believe that. He's better than me in every way. He don't work like that. Um, but when it comes to Watson and Talcott, you know, pretty much in every way, uh, Wes Watson is better. So he's going to call up Wes Watson and say, can I help you, Wes? He's going to say, are you kidding? Are you going to join the program? And he goes, no, I'm not interested in that. Uh, we're going to work together. He's like, fuck off. I get thousands of people a day wanting to work with me and telling me they're going to help me. Who are you and what do you do? Nothing. So, you know, it's pretty quick with people like that who are successful. A lot of them, they're going to make a pretty quick determination on whether or not you're competent. And if you're not, they're going to put you on the back fucking burner until you get your shit together. What's up, Ryan O'Shea? You couldn't leave us? You got home well, I'm just glad. Yeah, I mean, I got to sit here and wait for Cleveland. I mean, what else am I going to do? I don't want to get in my car and go into that sun. I think I might be turning Cleveland off with all this gay shit. You might not meet up with me. I'm going to relapse on weed. I've been retaining. I know weed for a couple of weeks. No, I mean, I've been retaining no semen, no weed. See, those two go hand in hand. I smoke a little weed and I uh, no longer retain. Maybe they're putting something in that weed, some sort of methamphetamine, making me bust nuts or something. I don't know. Like Hitler at the stadium. Hi, Hard Hat. Did you see my comment in chat? Hey, what's shaking, bro? No, what was it? I said I'd give you a hand job. Yeah, I don't know, bud. I'm kind of thought you kind of knew. I don't really swing that way. I partied with lots of uh, gay guys. Um, I do pretty good. My hands are like full of calluses, but I, I still am fine with that. No lube, no piz lube. Um, but yeah, oh, no. Rock. Your dick's got calluses then too. That's what men do, man. We don't need no fancy fucking hand cream, well, you, face cream. <laughs> well, you got the pre lube. If you get enough pre lube, you don't really need no lube. I mean, if you get that pre cum, I mean, that pre, you don't need nothing then. Anyways, it's nice talking about this stuff with you, uh, hard at. I enjoy it. Well, I don't know. I might take a nice, do you give good massages? I want to learn how to do that. Yeah, because I was like, oh, I'm just going to do it on women. But now that I'm coming into my bisexuality, I think that might be the perfect career for me, actually. Dude, because I think a dude one time was like, give me a massage, and I was so stupid. He's like, uh, wow, you got really, he was like going down by my crotch area. And he's like, he, he's like, you, these bands, he's like, this is area right by your cock. He's like, it's really tight right there. Do you mind if I focus on it? And I was like, yeah, go ahead. Because I was like, wow, there's something tight down there. I'm so stupid. And later on, I was like, hey, that motherfucker was trying to give me a hand job. He's got the size. He was trying to hit you in the taint. And... Yeah, he was trying to hit you in the taint. A real good team job. And Paul, can you put it in normal, uh, normal screen so we can see the chat of all the Anton haters that might likely be in there? No, they were loving Talcott. They were hating on me, but they love Talcott. Well, that's what I meant. The Paul, sorry, the Paul haters in Jack's chat from Anton. Wait, why can I not? Yeah, there's no one there. Oh, never mind. I don't know why Absolutely someone in Jack's yeah, no one really cares about Jack. Remember he says no one ever listens, and no matter even if people like him or not, they don't listen, And but he's a leader, right? He's a leader, and he's been in leadership roles, but no one ever watches or listens, except to mock him and make fun of him. I didn't do that either, by the way. They keep saying I'm doing all that. I didn't do any of that. Beep Girl says Brian's using Paul's channel as a gay hookup joint. It's kind of rude. I used to use it to creep on chicks, but now that was uh, I'm using it to creep on dudes. Just can't stop creeping on. <laughs> <laughs> Who's laughing over? Who is that? 
<laughs> yeah. He's just hey, not- what's up with everybody identifying for whatever they like? You know? Like, hey, I'm a Furby. Hey, I'm a, I'm a black transgender female. You know what pisses me off the most, though? Is the, the they and them. Yeah, like, what's up with that? Now you can be more than one person. Get out of here. It pisses me off. Fuck off with that. I'll fuck you in the ass. That's right. Who's this no palm guy? Doesn't have palms? He's got his palm surgically removed. Right on. It's your crook. Whoa, listen to that voice. Sexy as fuck. Talk some more, dude. Oh, baby. Whoa. What's up with that fucking voice, dude? It sounds like you got some broadcasting fucking chops, dude. More, dude. Just keep fucking talking. Just ramble, dude. I really don't got nothing to say. You shut the fuck up what and you, talk more, motherfucker. Except that Jack Talcott clip. Yeah, that ta- that Talcott clip was uh, that was right on point. Actually, that was hilarious. Which point is that? Well, I uh, I kind of do have an ex- funny, experience. Um. All right, guys. When you pause, don't pause forever. Just fucking go. Well, I got a, I do have a little fucking uh, story about a massage place that happened to me about a year ago. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. Um, I go, I usually get regular massages uh, once a week during the summer when I'm working like a dog. And it helps, it helps uh, with my age and that, shit. Are that that gay bar you talked about before? No, no, no. No, no, just you- like straight up. Actually, usually deep tissue, like the kind of shit I need is uh, they need to break up all the scar tissue and that in my back, my arms and that. And so it's I need like so anyway, well, I'll make this short. I, I went over to Thailand and in Indonesia. I, I traveled over there years ago and I used to get Thai massages like legitimate Thai and they're fucking awesome. From anyway, so. No, nope, no, nope, from like regular Thai ladies and uh, some little old ladies too, right on the beach in, in big places too. But anyway, they're amazing. So I'm, I, I've been, I've been going to like traditional Chinese massage because it's walk on the back, right? They fucking have these railings on the roof and they hang on to them and they walk and they can really break up your shit. Right. So I hadn't had a Thai massage in years. And so I looked one up and this was a professional, real good place. And I went in. Anyway, long story longer, uh, the lady kept grabbing my cock, right? And she wanted me to go into this other room. And so I realized what was going on, right? She kept grabbing my cock and ha uh, ha. How and, long was uh, she grabbing your cock before you realized what was going on? Well, I mean, right away, right? And then she's like, well, we have a better room here. And I'm like, no, this room's cool, right? Because they're all little rooms side by side. And uh, anyway, so I, I'm just not down on that, right? And uh so, I mean, and she did give a good massage, honestly. And, uh, but yeah, I didn't go to the back room for the fucking, uh, happy ending, but, uh, and I never went back. Right. But here's the thing. Listen to this gentleman. If, if I was a woman and a man was massaging me and he was grabbing her crotch, kind of like whatever, that'd be like a major sexual assault shit. But for me, I don't know. It's just kind of like, you know, I left. It was no, there's no trauma. I don't know if I'm fucked, but. uh, No, No, you're healthy, dude, because I would have fucking got the hand job and paid for it and got fucking negotiated. Because that's what they do. They get y'all excited and they'll negotiate the price while you got a boner. It's like, no, $10 more. Dude, every time I've left a rub and tug, it's probably, I don't know how many I've had, five or six. Every time I left, I want to walk to the parking lot, the walk of shame. It never felt good walking to the parking lot. There's always some shameful, regretful, just wasn't worth it. It's gross. Like, think about that. You're just give him fucking. It's a good way to get some fucking dick warts or something. Yeah, like that last time I was at this. I, I was at this massage place and like, um, like first it was like, like they were walking on my back and it was like feet and then it was like. Then they started like using chopsticks. 
And then they started like eating sushi off my back. And I was like, man, this is getting weird. I was like, next thing you know, it's like they got a fucking uh, sashimi roll in my asshole. And I was like, man, what what's going on here? And I was like, but it kind of felt good. And I didn't really know where to go with that. And um, I was just like, yeah, just j- just put it up there, uh, you know. But make sure you do it with the chopsticks, because I think that probably feels better. But you gotta, you know, some soy sauce. And then, uh, then I started thinking about Brian O'Shea, and I was like, uh, and, and that was it for me. And, and that's all I ever needed. Jeff, you got RSL. Hey, uh, hey, hey, snafu, you pogo motherfucker. You think I'm fucking with trannies over in Thailand? How about you get up on panel, you pogo motherfucker? You look like a tranny in your car. See how Talcott is? Anton says, oh, Talcott's part of the crew. He's been down at me. Soon as he thought that it was going to be maybe something that he created, he took them keys away from me for StreamYard. He's sitting back there all insecure, lacking trust, talking about surrender and going with the flow and love, don't keep records. He's been giving and taking them keys. That's the second time he's taken them from me, acting like I'm a hateful bitch like him. I'm going to be controlling and domineering and try to interfere. All right, I wasn't even going to do that. I was going to go into the backstage and tell him stop being a bitch and then, <laughs> and then see where it goes, get him to start this fucking thing. But, uh, yeah, you know, this is this is why he got into it with the moose. They got no trust, these people. Jackie Fox is here. How are you, Jackie? I'm doing good. I, I, I've had a, a really crazy last 24 hours just trying to catch up with everything. And I don't get how he he turns it around that you did something. Well, I never helped him get his son back, he says. Hey, I'll read you the email this morning and then you can see what I'm dealing with that I like love these people in my life who are sick and twisted now because I don't deal with them in real life to avoid this shit. You have to put up boundaries with narcissists. But if you let them into your life on any level, this is what they do. They get you to love them and be endeared to them and care about them and then just abuse you and your boundaries and interfere with you. So um, let's see. Your parents yeah, great job. Your patterns show you have nothing to offer towards achieving peace and no interest in helping me in big letters. Succeed with what you disbelieve. Paul, you haven't even tried to help me speak with my son like you bragged you'd be so easy for you to do. Yeah, because if I would to encourage him to speak with you, I'd be doing a disservice because you're an insane, two-faced, backbiting, selfish, greedy narcissist. There's but a reason you, they laughed. But you also told him the whole time that you weren't going to speak to him until you right. saw progress. So you didn't go back on your word there. And, because- and, and not only did I not see progress, I see him clawing and scraping for power and fame and attention so he can prove to his wife and child he's better than he was. That's even worse. Because now you're not addressing what caused it. And now you think your wife and child is going to come back if you become a rock star. It's insanely dysfunctional. So, yeah, I said I could probably do it. Like many other things, I put my fucking time, energy, attention, and will on, unlike you. If I say I'm going to do it, it gets fucking done if I decide to. You don't live that way. So I'm not going to do it because if I did, he'd look at me and go, what's wrong with you, jerk off? And then I have to go, you know, like, yeah, I shouldn't have done this because he's going to go, did you hear what he just said? This is why we fucking laughed and don't deal with him. And he's going to be giving excuses. And he's going to ask me, what the fuck made me think that he would want to talk to him when he's doing the same shit that he left for? Right. So then it becomes about my credibility and my discernment. How could I help somebody and work with them and facilitate an environment where uh, he's going to act like this? Right. He don't even get right with me. He's going to get right with a woman and child who's been gone and going to trigger him emotionally. I doubt it. Right. Fascinating. I bet right now, because of what's going on, Moose is probably going to suck uh, Jack's dick big time to get back oh, there with him. I didn't finish. So, like it or not, uh, you've been wrong about yourself and others when it comes to many different things. When you find your own mistakes, you will learn how to improve quickly on your own. There you go. So, we're back to the narcissism where he's going to help me improve, but he can't 
create any functional relationships and interferes with ones that could be something greater than whatever he could do on his own. Right. So then he says, you've been showing symptoms of denial, right? This is the pot calling the kettle black. Uh, your disagreements are without facts and without merit. Uh, again, same projection. I still care. See, this is how the narcissist keeps you caring about them by like showing the love and the bliss and like they want to be in your life and tell you, I love you, man. I love you, man. I love you, man, every day, but you don't do nothing for them and you need to fix yourself. So they love bomb you and say, but you don't do nothing and you need to fix yourself while they don't love themselves or you truly and won't fix themselves. See how the game works. So that's, I care. That's why I stuck around for so long. Not for the selfish, stupid reasons you've been saying, right? So I'm stupid and selfish. He's not. He's caring and loving and godly. I'm stupid and selfish. See how it works. They abuse you, call you names, project onto you what they're doing, and then tell you, you got to fix yourself, AKA comply with their fucking narrative and their wants um, and let you use them, right? We'll figure it out, he says, uh, how to understand each other, or we can part our own ways. Right. Yeah. Hey, Paul, like, Paulie, what, what do you think that that attracts you to him? Like, are you just, like, trying to crack this nut that is, like, incrackable, you know? Like, it, it, you just keep trying to think, like, I mean, like he's you're the, like the only guy that he will actually kind of listen to but at the same time it's round and round and it's like this endless endeavor but it's like i told you i care for him as a being i know that he's had a difficult experience because of his delusion and i don't think he can put it together so he's suffering right so i have empathy for him and i'm fascinated by him i think he's an interesting character on the world stage and i think he lives a bizarre life that is like right out of a script. He might just, like I said from the beginning, be an agent here to interfere with me uh, in many different ways. Uh, it's possible. I don't think that's the case. I think he really believes a lot of the time the shit he's saying or wants to believe it to cope. And he's acting from that place. Um, and sometimes it generates certain results that make people question. Um, is there something there? Is this real? Uh, but over and over again, again, you see the same narcissistic, selfish, self-centered tendencies and the denial while claiming others are in denial. You're the one in denial, denying that I've ever done anything for you and haven't helped you get your family back. I didn't help you lose them. You did that. Women and children don't run from me and block me. I got fucking people in my life who don't go away. Right? So our experience is completely different. No one's listening to him. Nobody wants to be around him. Apparently, folks are listening to me on some level and want to be around me more than I really care to desire. He's needy. He says, I just wish people would be around me. And then you're like endeared to him because you're like, oh, I feel so sorry for you. Yeah. Till you realize the reason why, you know, when you're like that, nobody's going to want to fucking be around you for a prolonged period of time. And really, the um, the root of all of it has been just for somebody. I mean, he said it since day one. And I remember whenever Dick was on it on his channel and they talked before he started coming over to your channel. And that was the main topic was just getting somebody to talk to the people in his community or his son, his uh, ex-wife. And so really that's like, you know, you think it's like the fame and the, you know, whatever, wanting to get his message out or get to the UN or whatever. But really it's just, who can I affect that will be enough significance that will change his son's mind. The point is, is every time he gets, he doesn't get what he wants. He tantrums like a child and changes the conditions of the relationship. Right. That's not somebody who's a writer. That's not somebody who's down for you. Like Anton says, that's not somebody who's reasonable. That's somebody who's insecure, living in fear, oddly enough, and constantly changing the conditions of the relationships to fit his wants and needs. And that's not how trust is built. So don't tell me, Jack and others, about building trust and why won't I trust? You're the reason why and the way you conduct yourself. You should have left me with the keys. Yes, fascinating narratives. You have the same fucking raps for everything, Jack. It doesn't work. Never has, isn't ever going to hear with people who see you and listen to what I'm saying and know it's true. Right? You want to talk about trust and cultivating trust, but you want to take the keys from me as soon as you think that we're on choppy waters. 
right? So you're a punk ass bitch. You live in fear. You don't live in faith and you try to alter the conditions as soon as you get scared. I don't need motherfuckers like that next to me who want to use me at that. So it wasn't good enough. You fucking used my name and got into an interaction last night and made it all about you instead of, like I said, support me and what the fuck I'm doing. God forbid. Right. Um, you made it all about you. So uh, it is a fascinating narrative how you make everything about you and what the fuck you want and claim it's about saving the world while you can't save yourself. And really, you just want something for yourself. That's why you impede or impinge on everybody's experience and their walk and their journey and claim it's just to help and be part of the team and all the rest of it. But then you turn around and say, I'm just looking for people on the metaverse to help me do what the fuck I want. So it's obvious who and what you are. Uh, we've seen you from the beginning. It, you, you show it over and over again when you get the slightest chance. You put your back against the wall. You fail. You give you a little bit of power. You fail. A man is judged by his back against the wall, given power. And you fail in both arenas every time. As soon as I challenge you or attach to you or hold you accountable, you fucking fight or run. You try to take control back over the dynamic because you have no control and power within yourself or you wouldn't need to do that. Who is barking? So, you're, so, you're. so, yeah, like, again, you know, it's a fine line between ego, pimping, and macking and truth. It's a blessing for you to be involved in my life. Uh, I don't get much benefit from you other than making content out of you, right? So for me to have your keys and be on your panel and work with your shit is my responsibility and accountability. If I fuck it up, I look bad, right? If I stay true to myself and, and what matters, right, and don't get in my feelers, then it's good for all of us. So you don't even let me pass tests you should give me to know who and what I am completely because you just don't get how this shit works. See how it's looks like, and if he's fucking happy about it, how he's living and what he just did again. Like the lagoon creature, you know. Greetings, brothers and sisters. I'm here to drink to manipulate again. Hey, good evening, brothers and sisters. Welcome back to Chats with Jack. I am Jack Talcott. We know. And I want to start with my greetings. Uh, our singer, whole. Yeah, it's not fucking egoic at all to greet everyone who comes here every day from my audience and say, I am Jack Talcott. You know, like if as if I come out every broadcast, go, greetings, everybody. I am Paul Unslaved. Right? You're so fucking arrogant and egoic, even in your intro, and you don't get it. Right? We know who the fuck you are. Nobody's here who doesn't know who you are because you have no value. Everyone knows you by now. It's a fucking small world and a small community that apparently is getting larger every day because of me. Thank you. Holy brother, our pole, brother of all media, brother, Chuck in Tennessee, freedom grower, free speech advocate, hello, baby, and Austin Murphy, be good, do good, and Paul Unslaved, proper instruction, motivates people, his panel, and his listeners as well. So for all of those who joining now and maybe joining later golly geez let's just take just a moment and feel the peace the peace of just being who the peace of just complete absence of accountability responsibility and only caring about yourself and what you want and don't want just feel that peace everybody we are at this time Man, what an amazing, amazing life we've been gifted to share together. So tonight, tonight's one of my favorite topics, peace. <laughs> As I'm saying this, I should have wore the Veterans for Peace swag, but I didn't. All right. Uh, before I get into the topic, though, let me address a couple of things. Yesterday, I reviewed um, the stream again, 
And I recognize that I spoke about uh, Mr. Anton Daniels without, without properly looking at facts. I didn't consider what I might have been ignoring. In, the, in my defense, in the little bit I've seen where he was speaking of Paul Unslaved and in the context of white people, he brought up some pretty... So now Talcott's going to go even deeper with the black cock down his throat and say he might have offended Anton and wants to apologize because he desperately wants to work with him, even though he still hasn't figured out where this is going to go. So just keep apologizing because Anton's your new daddy. You might have offended him. Definitely not me with what you emailed me over and over again this morning. There's two or three other emails, by the way, him disrespecting me, being completely bizarre and insane and selfish. Um, but I didn't read those. So, you know, fuck Paul Enslaved. He never apologizes for insulting me pretty much ever. But Anton, he might have offended, in which case he's going to apologize up front because, you know, he's got to get what he wants and needs now. And he's, you know, doesn't he doesn't think we're on on great terms, he and I. So he's got to focus on where he's going to grift next uh, and get his power. What I felt were offensive generalities, but. Oh, and now he's promoting Anton's YouTube down in the chat. Right. Both channels, giving you links to both of Anton's channels. So, you know, Jack knows how to play the game and how to suck dick and what to kiss and when. And you say jump how high and he's going to get to something. So yesterday I made some offhanded comments about him. About me? Meeting people the oh, wrong way. Him. Well, after this stream last night. Uh, I found my way onto his, and he shared uh, some time on his platform. Anton Daniels, you know, I'm going to do this. So, I mean, if 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 all goes well, then Anton should be showing up at Jack's live stream, no? And he may now that I've mentioned it, just to kind of further the game, because I'm sure Anton's a lot like me. He's fascinated with these white people, as he says, and he wants to play the game. So he may show up at Jack's panel and say, Jack, you're so great, and blah, 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 and make him think that he's getting to something to watch him uh, look like a fool even more. But, you know, if he doesn't hear me or he doesn't get that idea because uh, he doesn't care about Jack or Scott, he's not going to show up. So he showed up to me today to talk with me and with a very respectful manner. I have to give him credit for that. Um, I don't perceive he'll be showing up at Jack's live stream. But I could be wrong. Right. So hey, just, Paul. just keep sucking dick and apologizing and maybe he'll show up at your live stream and defer to you and be respectful to you and want to work with you. Oh. Uh, and then pretty much tell me indirectly that if I dropped all the losers around me on the panel that I could get somewhere in this world is what he told me directly, indirectly. And I knew that already. Go ahead, whoever that is, bellowing. Paul, did you say that Anton called me a cornball? It's possible. It's possible. Um Pretty much he threw me off because I was too powerful and then went to the most powerless white men he could to basically make fun of them in front of his audience. Indirectly. One and a half speed, Paul. Okay. I got to go back over to my show. All right, bye. Yes. Um, Anton Daniels, there's his. And, uh, Anton, oops. my new black daddy. New black daddy. <laughs> Anyway, like drop his link in the chat. He, he, I met him last night, and I reviewed his stream with this stream this morning. For some reason, it's not opening up. Oh, it's right there. Uh, um, this morning I caught his what's it called Millionaire Morning Show, and uh, I got a little better chance uh, to understand what what he's sharing. And the man's the man's speaking the truth. Okay, so God, I took a long time for that. <laughs> what I was trying to get out is uh, correcting myself. After meeting him last night and hearing his messages today, his message today was about uh, stop allowing yourself to think that other people have power over you. Stop making fucking excuses. I don't think he swore, but that's me. Um, that's, the, that's the messages I resonate with. That's the stuff I care about is, you know, we can all do more. We can all be more. We can all, you know, we can all live as more. And uh, I resonated with his messages and I emailed him last night. The question was, who's Jack emailing today? Yeah, I emailed him again. And uh, Anton, if you do see this, you're welcome here, of course, as I shared. Um, yeah, I know. I know many people want to believe this Paul Enslaved is my daddy. I understand that. But see, I actually am pretty confident the roles have been kind of reversed in this particular case. 
And not to detract. Oh, from the no, it's Jack's like, doing it again. He doesn't even know Anton came here today. I'm going to have to inform him Anton came here and he probably won't be showing up over there. And the roles aren't reversed, Jack. You're off on a grandiose narcissistic narrative where you wound up me and cut me out of the deal. And you're going to work with Anton, um, even though you have no history because he played you. So this is more pathetic cry for attention and power and status. And you're pretty sure you got it this time. Hasn't worked in the past with you and others, but this time you're on to it. Right. You're going to throw me under the bus and you're going to get somewhere and you're going to be my daddy and show me once and for all like your children and wife who and what you are. Um, that's what I've been sharing people. Hey, guess what? You know, you might want to check yourself with me just in case you're wrong. No. Because I'm an honest no, man. No, you're not. Oh, yeah. And I got to you're hear delusion. Paul Unslaved over on Proper Instruction Motivates People right before I start this presentation and message about peace. I got to hear my brother, Paul, call me insane, two-faced, backbiting, greedy, selfish narcissist. Correct. It's his description of me. I have I more adjectives if you on like. Panel and 140 others who are listening. So this man wants to describe me as that, as his excuse. I'm tired of people's excuses, brothers and sisters. I don't allow my myself excuses. And sisters, I place no excuse. very, very little blame. But I am fair in assigning credit or accountability. And brothers and sisters, it's time for humanity to become accountable. If we stop collectively, if we collectively chose to, to change the rules, change the direction of humanity, this is what I've been saying. Ending secrets would end wars and economic debts. Ending secrets, wars, and debts would change the world. By the way, I haven't dropped the link yet. Um, I've got the uh, church men's group this evening, and, well, that's right. I didn't really update a lot. Yeah, more <laughs> so my diary, you want to my diary. I'll come back to the presentation. Agenda, Thank you for bearing with me, brothers and sisters. I do love you all. Oh, yeah, and in the description should be <laughs> a link to Talcott uh, Clips premiere, another episode of maybe a parallel dimension, parallel timeline where, um, hey, what is real? Anyway, the link is in the in the description for the Cot Flicks premiere that came out today. Paul, thanks for the contribution. Hey, chase success. Stop complaining and blaming. blaming Take brother. that whole black thing, Jack. Appreciate Take it. it all. Chase um, that bag. So I had some uh, inspiring conversations today. So I didn't give the daily drama a lot. But after I visited with uh, Met Anton last night, and he had his words with Paul, I got to I got to see Paul throwing a big temper tantrum last night on his stream, blaming me uh, for what he thought. And so then I saw that again this this morning as well. <clears throat> yeah. Hey, world of Unreal, worst time of day for your right live streams. Thank you. I don't know what is best. I mean, today actually clearly. I've got things scheduled after this. I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, I'm going to keep it shortly around an hour. But um, hmm. I've wondered about the time. And like I said, I do intend for my schedule to change. But, um, you know, please, I'm open for feedback. And in the link, in the description of the video should be a link tree thing. And I'm easily reached. So if you've got feedback, especially constructive criticism or helpful suggestions, holy cows, man, please. The negative ones, oh, gosh, <clears throat> please think, think twice before you send them OTW analytics, you know, there's, see, this is the thing I've been learning about today. There's so many, so in the technology, there is so many tools available to, to us. If you understand what's available and you know how to use them at this point, I've been, I don't even know what's available to be honest. I'm figuring that out. So thanks for that tip. OTW. I may, I may investigate that, but uh, as I was saying, I welcome feedback. I am going to wrap this up around an hour ish. Um, but yeah, I, last night I was very disappointed in Paul witnessing the relationship that has been happening for over six months. You know, after what I have said and offered, the little things I've asked for, you know, private conversation. So I don't have to deal with your distractions from the audience and ego. Right. You're not owed a fucking private relationship with me whenever you want. I'm not on speed dial with you and your fucking bullshit life. You want whatever, what a lot of, not everyone. There's a lot of people who stay the fuck away from me. They don't even want to talk to me. I don't blame them necessarily. Um, but, you know, you, you don't get to decide who is going to do what with you privately or publicly. Like there's two ways to how relationships work. He goes, I asked for something very small, a, a private relationship with you where I can fucking work you and use you even more. Right. This was enough, Talcott. It's, I suspect it's why you haven't talked to people in five years, as you say. Like nonsense. You put the damn ego aside, Paul. You and I will, could have some great enlightening and no, transformative can't. conversations. No, but no. Praise be. God allows me to be 
and others get to choose the relationships right allow. so where i am today is i am telling us there's better ways ending secrets wars and debts would have significant far-reaching consequences it should be for the future here are some of the you know here's the thing too is i've been saying this stuff and it's like people don't they can't imagine a world without wars and debts and you can't imagine why i'm saying we need to eliminate secrets when i've also said god is the truth we want to serve the truth not the lies and if we're going to sell our time and energy for slave paychecks and celebrate the immoral people that have risen to such influence selfishness has destroyed humanity and it's time for us we have to choose when and how we change i'll get to more positive stuff here some of the obvious man greater trust and cooperation right between the nations yeah. Not only between the nations, but between the citizens and the governments, there would be greater trust and cooperation. Yeah, you don't trust or no longer need to keep secrets from one another. Or resort to the stinking military conflicts. It would obviously reduce military spending. If there's no secrets, there's no lies, no lies, no enemies, no enemies, no military. We can transform the future, freeing up resources for other important areas, education, Right? How about <laughs> really offering education to our children? Really offering health care, right? The knowledge and support to remain health, to increase health, to not to recover or just <laughs> deal with disease. These bodies, man, they're friggin'. We don't know what's capable. We don't know what the human race is capable of accomplishing. But if we ended secrets and wars and debts, we'd have more time and ability to do so. Obviously, without secrets and wars, there'd be an improved global economy more stable global economy the nations no longer saddled with these imagined and enforced debts it would lead to greater growth greater investment fucking millions of people are struggling to find food right now hey, yeah thanks paul love the support it was ironic. It was sarcastic. Do the subscribe thing, brothers and sisters. I'm sitting here talking. I need more about viewers and attention to the benefits the of ending wars. And Paul Unslaved wants to offer the opinion blah, blah, blah. I don't do shit except Starfuck. <laughs> fascinating. You are a fascinating man yes i am and tom thinks so as well your new black daddy <sighs> praise be Boy, is he gonna be brothers and sisters i do love you i really do and paul unslaved you know i love and admire you oh yeah you know you admire you me know that i do use me you don't give a fuck so about back me. to the what i was saying we'd have a more improved and stable economy without these secrets and lies keeping nations and everyone divided There'd be greater transparency and accountability. I was saying this the other day. Let me just offer this. If the average citizens knew how corrupt our governments are, not were, but are, if the citizens knew how corrupted everything had become, it would change. I have confidence in that. I have confidence that Paul, that <laughs> <laughs> I've lost confidence in Paul unslaved. Right. Turns out he wants to argue and complain instead right. of <laughs> choosing peace. Right. The topic of the video. <laughs> Praise be, golly, geez, man, God is amazing. Gee, worker, so good.
All right. So without secrets and all of this, obviously, greater transparency and accountability. There'd be more. <laughs> it would prevent corruption. It would actually improve the governance of the government. Government. It would improve governance of the administration. It would ensure that decisions are made based upon the greatest good, based upon the facts, based upon what life dictates is right, not by some fucking lobbyist. Ending secrets, wars, and debts, it would imp obviously improve international relations. That would foster greater cooperation on global challenges. We can deal with <laughs> the migratory patterns of humans. People are becoming more migratory. It's time to stop enforcing these imagined borders and crap. Poverty. You know what? Poverty is a man-made choice. It's a sickness our collective has allowed. Now, there is Excuse truth, me. and this is where Excuse Anton, me. I think, had some truth. Where <laughs> I don't want to misrepresent, but there was disagreements I understood. That was my initial disagreement with him. I thought he was the man, type of man who chases money. But I no longer think that. He sees that money is a tool. Money is a tool and poverty. It truly starts and ends in the mind. You, you keep thinking you're lacking this. You'll never, you know, you're not good enough. You're not, this is whatever. You, you keep be believing that abundance is out of your reach. Guess what you're going to do? You're going to live a life proving yourself right with abundance just out of your reach and you'll always be wanting. So poverty is a real thing, okay? Just like slavery is a real thing. These are man-made constructs that do not have to exist. They defy God's laws. God's love, laws of love dictate abundance, uh, dictate transparency, dictate cooperation. I hope Joe Cool is seeing this, man, because he's one of those, need to see it. <laughs> uh, ending secrets and wars, secrets, wars, and debts would provide more resources for social welfare. We can direct funds towards social programs like education, health care, security for our elderly, right? <laughs> to improve the quality of life for people around the world very easily. There'd be more innovation and progress. This is the one I really really emphasize i mean think when you bring human minds together with the same purpose man there it's it grows the 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 power and strength of the mind in greater number greater perspectives not necessarily numbers so far but with a common purpose and intention common purpose and intentions we could oh, we could solve <laughs> there is nothing there is no problem that we cannot solve i truly believe that and there's a lot of problems that are in the news there's a lot of problems that people are experiencing there is a lot of opportunities for improvement so if we ended secrets and wars, overcame these delusions of authority, um, you know, th the new world would quickly start appearing.
and lead to more innovation solutions to the world's most pressing problems. <laughs> Niall, thank you for the contribution. Become a peace chaser with Tal, Tal Clout. U-Haul. <laughs> In reference to the the news reports of Jack and my and my activities in Washington D.C. That's the uh, caught flicks link that's in the description. In reference to that, I I believe. Thank you, Nile. In the end of secrets wars and economic death, it would usher in a new era of peace, prosperity, progress for the world. While achieving this, it would be difficult, could be very complex. The potential benefits for humanity, stop and think about it. Seriously. Oh, there I am. There I am. Um... I'm not going to stick around an awful long time, but I did post that a panel. Whoops. Whoa, how did I do that? I lost the link. Now I don't know what to do. I do know what to do. Um, Jack, thinking quick on a seat. I will do this. Appreciate the patience with the pause. Sorry about that, brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters. He's dropping. It's the to see brothers and sisters whenever I feel off balance to make you feel included in my experience. It's like a common style. I think this should work. Brothers and sisters. It's like a politician. <laughs> I right? pasted over the StreamYard link and I didn't know what to do other than maybe refresh it. Second, but, God's children. I just need here to. Here we go. Prepare this the clip. link is there. <clears throat> so, Wizard, thank you, brother. Before I continue, there's... I'm so loving, brothers and sisters. With the message of peace that I just covered, those are like the greater so perspective of the world. But I'm telling you, peace within yourself. Recognizing that beyond the conflict, beyond the disagreement, beyond the opinions, it doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't matter what you think. What matters is right now. <laughs> what matters is how you feel. What's up with hard hat? You over are in. You are in charge. You are in control of you, no others, and your destiny. But you don't pick and choose a destiny. Well, let me not get into that because future man, I don't trip in the future anymore. Um, what is happening here? Um, sorry, I allowed myself to get distracted. Peace within the self, right? Here's something I was thinking about today. Everything is the same until that one day. That day when your life is never the same again. Some choice, some thing or person comes in or out of your life. And maybe you won't even recognize it. That maybe today is that day when your life is never the same again. It might have been yesterday. You know? Change is always there. And it always seems the same, but the truth is everything is changing. So peace, not just the global, but within. Peace is the absence of resistance. That's why the acceptance, that's why I've been saying surrender is the path God allowed me to take in order to increase my faith. Um, it was surrender. So, <laughs> hey, Brother Daniels, thank you. Thank you. Respect. Appreciate the contributions. Safe travels and enjoy. Enjoy yourself, man. 
I think you do. <laughs> um, peace. It is the absence of resistance. And so resistance creates our conflicts. Now, when we get into conflicts, we can deal with conflicts, obviously. Fight until supremacy, fight until victory, fight until the opponent is just decimated and gone. Or we can recognize the futility of our anger, our disagreements. We can recognize the futility of conflicts, considering that we are all one. There is no separation except that which we imagine and perceive. So, what is there to resist besides yourself? So, peace within yourself. Stop resisting that which you know. Surrender to the facts. Find love in the, in the answer, and then you'll... <laughs> Love is the force that unites and binds. It attaches us and connects us beyond space, beyond, and then you'll, <laughs> love is the force that unites and binds. It attaches us and connects us beyond space, beyond time. So find the love behind the conflict. Surrender yourself to what is true and stop resisting. What is right? And then this one too, just mind trip a little bit. You know, we are made from the dirt, as the scientists and schools taught us. The dirt comes from cosmic dust or a magical creation. Regardless what it is, <laughs> the the stars and the planets astrology astronomy there's some stuff in there it, the wisdom wouldn't continue so much if there wasn't some truth and god's knowledge god's patterns they are so divine they're mysterious it's so many ways to understand so it's through the universe, the entire universe, not just your friggin' small circle of friends, not just your small routine of your the habits of your life. It's not just that that affects your life, your experience. It's the entire universe. So the universe surrounds you throughout your entire experience. You are the center of your universe. Now, our experience of the universe, it's spent within the limits of form, time, and space. We spend time in form within space. Time, form, and space, they're generously expressed and offered to us by the one who transcends time, space, and form. These are thoughts that I'm telling you, kind of meditate, contemplate on some of these, and you might <clears throat> recognize that your egoic mind has created limits in what you know and what you think. Okay? Truth. There is so much power in the truth, so it is up to us to seek it, to know it, to share it, Truth is eternally revealed through time and space. And again, it's that love. Love has no limits. And it is that which be binds us beyond time and space. So the strongest power of powers of our experience are those of truth and love. Thank you for your patience, brothers. Welcome. Greetings, Jack. You said earlier, when people connect with you, you they need to check with you because you know the truth. Now, last night, I was on Anton's panel, and I was expressing the truth. 
and you as a postal service worker sat there and said that this is fraud. Were those my words, or is that what you chose to understand? You agreed with him that it was fraud. He stated it was fraud. You giggled and said yes. Okay. Okay. Now, I want to explain to people, Jack does not know what he's talking about, despite the fact that he was a post. Have a good evening, Keith. This is not the place for your nonsense again. I'm moving on from the bullshit. How are you doing, Jack, Sean? Good evening. Smith? How Smith, are you? How are you doing? I don't know. I don't even know what's going on today. Um, I was going to share. I don't even want to share it now. I just want to say, oh, I saw Sean's there, too. I thought you were calling me, Sean. Sean, hope you're doing well, man. Uh, Brian, I hope you're doing well. No disrespect to anybody. I got no ill will, like I always say. No, I'm not drinking again tonight. What I'm is your point, share Smith? My point, is, my point is I wanted to share stuff. I just want So I'm in the back, and he won't put me up, it seems, today. Um, he doesn't want to get down to who and what he is and what he's really about, like always. So he's going to put everyone else up but me. So I've been in the back. He won't put me up. So we're going to play more controlled power games instead of just be accountable to what is. What a surprise. I want everybody, you know, to be good. I don't know what okay, is so going you on. Can't, so happened. now you're here to tell us what you want to do instead of doing what you want? I'm trying. Uh, I'm to doing what I want. I'm being. I, I'm being. I'm being peaceful, Jack. That's what I'm doing. And I just, you know, I thought the name of your chat okay. was peace, and so I was going to share some other True. stuff. And I just want to. I want to put peace. out a positive message to people. Okay. That's it. Well, the topic is choosing peace. I find your perfect. That's what I'm talking about. Your well, you started just talking about yourself, about what you wanted to do. So, what is your purpose? Related to choosing peace, my brother. I, I maybe I, maybe I caught you on the on the wrong foot or the wrong side of the bed today, Jack. I like I said, I got no issues. Um, I wanted to reiterate that I put something in the chat. I, I got I got timed out for a second, and it was going towards Brian O'Shea. But I don't even know you, Brian. I got nothing against you. I, I've made a couple little jokes here and there. I got nothing against you. I got nothing against Sean Paul. Again, I'll reiterate. I love what you do. I love what you're doing. You're behind a little bit. Positive all message that every day, regardless of what's going on in the world. I think, like I've said from day one, when I first came in here, I'm different than everybody else in the community. Okay, so now you're back to talking about yourself. So now you're back to, no, I'm not talking about myself. I don't know why you're getting worked up, though, Jack. That's the point. I'm not going to have you railroad me. I'm trying to understand. (laughs) Why are you getting all worked up? I don't know what happened with you and Paul. God bless you all. Jack, save it. Get him out. Yeah, get him out. I put you in the back, Smith, because you'll never find out why you're receiving... The response you are not going to like shut it, Jack, up and listen. This, this presentment, he's not going to be happy. With so it. <laughs> put it in one and a half speed, Paul. You got to get these I'm, losers out of your way. So you I'm can trying to figure Jack. things out. Okay. I'm tired I'm of you you're not gonna treating me and because because my life like it's some kind of fucking joke. I saw Paul call me. He's literally describing himself. Calling me an insane, two-faced, backbiting, greedy, selfish, selfish narcissist. Correct. Star fucker. Name dropper. I am not deceived. And the panel that I met all of you on has been enabling. Uh Uh-oh. We're back to that delusion. We're back to hate cot overnight, right? Overnight, we're back to hate cot and the rebuking of me when he says he Jack, I want to yeah. say you did a great job on Anton's show last night. You know, some things were exposed where, you know, Anton was giving you, you know, because you have been getting bullied around here, you know, and you haven't been given the proper respect. I've been disrespected. Thank you, Brian. Sorry for interrupting. Yeah, but yes, Anton, in the short damn time I've I've seen him, I don't think it's an act either. In the first short time I've seen him, he offered me far more respect than Paul has allowed me to earn. Right. I mean, and he's got a lot of followers. So, you know what I'm saying? If you like, it's like the God is like, things are lining up. Like, you know, Anton's giving respect. His chat was like, yeah, Jack. And so it's like all this abuse you take over here. I was like, man, I was starting to see things in a different light. You know what I mean? Thank you, Brian. (laughs) I've been seeing things. 
Well, I've been yeah. seeing the potential I'm, and the good, not just not even in go myself, no but in day. others. For whatever reason, most, I don't know, they, ab they admire from a distance. Uh -oh. Maybe it's, well, the chaos that has been brought into my life. Right. I did While that. it's gotten attention, it's also kept yeah. people away. Right. He didn't in particular, some brain. of the people that I did want to my talk to, audience. but, you know, it is what it is. I've been learning how to roll with the punches, and I have fun. I love my life. I love living. But Paul's arrogance, and he <laughs> wants to claim that every achievement I've made is all due to him. Like Moose my does the same old crap, too. Hold up, Southcott. I can't lie. I can't, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of, kind of angry, actually, Southcott. I see the mixed emotions on you. And I feel like you're going to run, dude. And I really want to go off. I was just placating to your Ask him why he shut me down when I tried proving oh, he was God, wrong. Damaged person. Damn it, dude. It's like, I love you. You have no you evidence of that, dude. Brian. You're describing yourself. Yeah. We I am quite it. healthy. And healed. Right. Emotionally, physically, spiritually. I've said this many times. I did not know being a human could feel so good because of the health that I feel and know. So you want to fucking sit here and try to get me to believe that I'm damaged? And that I should accept the gaslighting that and the false narratives that have been just thrown all around about me. You think you should accept that, Brian, rather than you considering, considering what I'm saying. That God has been with me, with us. I don't know why everyone is so ungrateful. So re so stuck on defending disbelief. I'm saying, brothers and sisters, if we work together and we try, I know God would help us find a way to end wars and debts and this insanity that we were born into. Part of what you're seeing tonight, Brian, is a shift in me. It's a change. I think people maybe should start taking me a little more seriously. All uh, right, maybe I now that I reconsider it, uh, maybe Anton did was up. You know what I mean, I'm, dude? Because you take man, you, you take a lot of abuse over here, man. You know, what I, mean? I don't know, dude. I'm, I don't know what to think. I've played. Thank you, Brian. I've been a good sport. I've played along. I've, <laughs> I've had my like, fun, but you know what? Brian, do the bit where you've been begging back and forth to see how many times from my you, son, Brian. from my union you reps, from the employer, the okay, neighbors. Okay. I've been begging for know. fucking mercy. <laughs> and you know what? <laughs> Brian, uh, doing I was showing, Alcott, respect showing his insanity. Last night. So, yeah, if Paul can't change his ways, <laughs> I'm happy to walk away right. completely. I have to change or else I'm Maybe gone. his job is done in my life. I don't care. Right. I got you in front hey, of him. Hey, Abnorm, 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 Hold on. Abnorm, stop assuming that I'm denying him access. Maybe God led you to Paul, which was meant to lead you to Anton. You know what I mean? That's what I wondered. <laughs> I mean, I didn't yeah, spell that out to you. He himself when I emailed every time, him, with but I've, been, I've told Paul and all, everyone, I've been vocal about it on my channel. Maybe his job's done. I like, have been right, following my faith. Now. It has been deepening and growing along with my understandings and abilities to explain God. I sold, I sold Calcott to meditation, him. health. He could put Talcott on the track and get I mean, the I've been <laughs> telling people I feel blessed. We are blessed. Why are we wasting day after day arguing like dysfunctional fucking children? 
I mean, that email you sent Paul this morning, I mean, could you just break that down a little bit for us? I was kind of resonating with you a little bit, dude. You know what I mean? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, what was that part about him being a horrible yeah. person and never getting your child back? Well, so I don't know what he read and what he didn't. I read, I told him, said him last night, you are embarrassing yourself and disrespecting truth. This was right after his, I don't know what the hell he was thinking. I didn't, I just saw him insulting me left and right. So anyway, the message, your public tantrum and lack of loyalty towards me, especially after everything you have done to humiliate and mock me online, combined with my public displays of forgiveness, compassion, generosity, and dedication, shows you to be a clown and a hypocrite. I'm listening to your words as you travel and I write. I hope you learn the lessons of honesty and self-control for your mouth very soon. While Anton's words were disrespectful in reference towards him, they were honest, and your BS of taking your feelings out on me is fucking childish. Have a great night. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, if we look at the hours and hours and hours, I'm and the days, and you know, you okay. up all the time. Paul's tried working with you. You know what I mean? That's a, you know, what I'm saying that's a lot. And so I'm saying, was that hey, a Brian? You know saying, yeah. Hey, Brian, Tell has he tried to work with me, or have I been trying to work with him? Hmm. Wow. Blowing my mind, dude. Wow. I'm quite confident he's been making our communication very, very difficult. He <laughs> brags about yeah. not communicating with me offline. And and so his response to me in the midst, let's see. Yeah, after his uh, tantrum, he brings it. Rather than address what was said, you only he claims you only want attention and status and to be looked at as a leader. You don't care if that's him. You don't care about truth or honor facts. That's him. Go let Anton play you and use you to to get to me like they always do if that's what you wish. I am myself. I don't know who they are. I want my own identity and not to be connected with you in these conversations about me and the panel I create. Oh, you finally accept ownership on your creation. That was a misplaced comment. It wasn't uh, about you. know you. what, Tenoka? Sorry, sorry, uh, sorry to interrupt. Go ahead. Thank you. It wasn't about you, and you made it about you and what you want, like always, and let him play on your emotions. Maybe at some point you'll get it. What delusions is this? Because I made it about what I want. Um, does anyone remember, like, world peace is my fucking goal? Yeah, I saw a man who's got greater, <laughs> who's greater, greater wealth, more secure in the family and the relationship, right. at least from a little bit I've, I've seen expressed. He's got more money and more, obviously more access. credible in the financial realm. I throw my people right under the Even bus. in the Can YouTube realm. Why he's not so, my yeah. people? See why he's not a writer? He'll Anton. jump ship in a second like a good <laughs> hoe. For another stable, if he thinks Anton has a better chance of opening doors, he's yours now, Anton. That's your hoe now. You don't know what you took on, Anton, when you gave him that super chat. He's gonna be your hoe now. He's gonna be right ahead, at your hip. Every no, go ahead. You were saying opening doors. Enjoy that shit. Doors. doors of communication. I want to build Anton got himself a new hoe and succeed. He's a man who knows how to build businesses and succeed, not just in YouTube, but he's apparently got a vast experience that I'm very interested in learning about. And hell, thank you. Thanks to Paul and 
the way he is somehow i involved myself in this and uh i got to meet him so holy should should talk jack is after fiat that's all he is after seriously the absolute delusions that are behind that claim after all of the things i've been saying for months and months now maybe maybe holy shiitake maybe you're brand new to me maybe you've never heard Well, the, here, I'll explain the connections very quickly. When secrets are no longer legal by man's laws. Here, I'm going to do this. Thank you, Brian, for your patience. When secrets are no longer legal by man's laws. Right? One and a half. Well, then the lies will never be passed around. They won't be passed around as easily. And if the average American citizen understood the truth of how our banking system works, I'm quite confident that the debts would become quickly forgiven. And there may be even some repentance and perhaps some generosity in the in the future who knows i don't know the future and i don't know what other people will decide but i know what i intend to try and accomplish and my goals is to try and open up doors of communication get the right ideas to the right people we i assume we sh should or may at some point include the legislators who everyone's given the authority to write. I mean, shit, they get paid just to make up laws. That's their profession. So we'll just get them involved to make some changes, reach out to the other global leaders, whatever, the figureheads. I mean, that's what I want to try and do with my life. I don't. I know building a subscriber base is one way, but I mean, just I know the reality right now. There could be someone listening or even at a later time, they catch part of this. And, you know, the idea of what if, what if a world without secrets is a better way? And what if it is possible? And, you know, maybe I'm they know something. I got to break in, Jack. I'm having mixed emotions, man. Uh, you know, I feel like I'm fucking with you. I'm giving good cop, bad cop. I'm praising you. I'm tearing. Because, you know, I, you know, maybe it's a bit, Jail Cop, Talca. Maybe it was a bit when I was praising. You know, maybe my real heart is I'm fucking really pissed, man. You know, like you're a snake in the grass, dude. After all this love and attention Paul gives you, you just fucking throw him away like a used piece of trash, like some sort of narcissistic. Wait, abuse. whoa, 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 whoa. I've not been the one who's just been running around bad mouthing me. I'm not the one who brings his face up and throws him up like a clown. I'm not the one who goes back and pulls irrelevant <laughs> clips <laughs> to, <laughs> to embarrass him. I think he's mistaken, my brother. Dumbass. Well, okay, Dumbass. let's say I'm flip flopping and uh, well, why don't you bring him up? <laughs> it was a big trend. Let's, let's bring him up and, uh, we'll I don't know. Zero and let him you two can talk about it. This is just friggin', uh, this is just fascinating. You guys, yeah, Salty Siren, I've seen some of your comments as well. Holy cows, man. Well, well you said it, it right, right cow, cow. Cow. Hold on, hold on just a second. Salty Siren said it right earlier. Um, Moose over Talcott. And... Paul and Moose, man, they make a great team. I, I wish them the absolute best. Uh, they've proven they are unloyal and untrustworthy to me. They've proven to offer me more disrespect than support. So, you know, hey, and the point, the reason I brought this up, Paul has a message for you, dummy. Let him up. 
he showed up for a brief period and I was allowing someone to continue their thoughts before I moved on and Paul disappeared. So don't blame me for his choices again. There he is. Welcome, Paul. Insist or ask. Okay. Hey, Paul, are you done? You're telling me we're done. Fucking leave. No time over here, Paul. You're the one who made these fucking lines earlier. You're the one who imagined these bullshit narratives. Go grow up. I don't. Okay. So there you go. That was pretty quick. Um, you know, there you go. Kicked out. So Talcott wasn't not having me up. He just wanted to bring me up to throw me around. Oh, him. Go tell Paul then. He's welcome to, to show up again. He said he's trying to come yeah, up. See, let him up. Me out let him up. Me out. He's yeah. lying. He showed I, he showed up very briefly. I'm lying. And has not come back. He's lying. I brought he him up this time before, and threw him right out. Before whoever was talking. He's, he's lying. lying. He's lying. There he is. Welcome, Paul. Hey, Talcott, you finally got what you wanted, an entree into someone with a network and a viewership and an audience. As you say, you, you saw someone who was wealthier and better than me, so pretty much fuck me, and now on to him, seeing how much you can use him. So that's good. This way you won't email me no more and uh, insist that I communicate with you privately and work more with you, and you get what you want from me and use me. Insist or ask. Right, asking dozens of times when I said I don't do it really with anyone, and I'm not going okay. to. Okay, hey Paul, are you done? You're telling me we're done. Fucking leave. Have oh, a good night. Okay. So, 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 like, you're so triggered and emotional, I can't even be here. You're now the one you who made these fucking lines earlier. You're the one who imagined these bullshit narratives. Go grow up. Talcott. Yeah. What the fuck, man? Why would I be jealous that Jack has a new daddy? I could still go over there, do whatever I want, fuck with him, make Talcott clip collection, and now he's going to email Anton and ride his dick for all the shit he wants and needs, and he'll stop trying to use me. I get the best of both worlds now. Why would I be mad about that? What the fuck, Talcott? You know, you get Anton stroking your ego a little bit, and you just fucking get rid of Paul after all. We also get to have a fascinating experience where we see where this all goes one way or the other. Um, so we get to see how it plays out. We get to see how Jack's ego gets inflated, and he undoes himself again somewhere. So it will happen at some point. Even if Anton puts him on and gives him a platform and introduces him to Dr. Phil, he'll tell Dr. Phil how to be a therapist better and get thrown out of Hollywood. So, you know. This is how fascinating the journey is to watch and experience. All this love and attention he's giving you to work with you. You know, you go on one stream with a lot of viewers and it's just, how does that look? How does that, I mean, do you have any heart at all? Do you, how does Paul, he thinks Are Paul you feels about fucking that? kidding me, Brian? Are you fucking kidding me? Do I have any heart at all? Are you fucking kidding me? Today, after all this month of months that you want to bring up of dedication and forgiveness that I've continually offered him, after all this time today on his panel, he claims that the reason he never, well, we didn't get to that part in my email where I pointed out to me that he's fucking bragging about how quickly he could get me reunited with my son, bragging about how quickly. He's the man, and it'd just be like that. But today, he wants to make the claim. According to him, the reason he's not offered 
any support towards that end is that I'm insane, two-faced, backbiting, greedy, selfish, narcissist, and you want to have the fucking balls, Brian, to ask me if I have a heart? You're fucking delusional, man. Hey, right, Drew, how right. you doing, brother? Hey, Paul. Hey, hey Jack, uh, can Jack, you hear me? Jack, just bring him up. Just bring him, bring yeah. Paul back up, and you know what I'm saying? Maybe it'll go, you know, you got the power position. If you need to kick him again, kick him, but let's bring him up again. Dude. You know what I mean? No, Anton's watching, you know. Hey, you know, Jack, show him one and a half speed. Oh, you know what I mean? Show him, go, go, you know, you bring Paul hey, Brian. Back hey, Brian. Yeah, I'm gonna live me because I feel pretty good about living as me. And uh, should Paul return, I'll allow him back. Um, but my <laughs> My patience and my tolerance for his his rambling nonsense is very limited. I've already made made it clear that I intended on shutting this down pretty quickly, early, because I have plans at seven, my time. So just over a half hour from now, I got to be where I'm supposed to be. What's up, Jack? Can Jack? you hear me? You know, I know I've been going back and forth with you, but dude, what the fuck is with this narcissistic personality disorder? Breaking all of our hearts over here, dude, with this abuse, dude. Hey, yeah, Brian, Jack, you take people who don't just care about thing? you, just throw them away. You got cuck body all happy here. Yeah, I want I want to just say one thing because I'm pretty neutral here between you and Paul. You sound like put a it in one and tick right now, Jack. Like one and a half speed, Paul. No loyalty at all. Paul puts you on, and then you do sound like a raging narc right here. And I, I love you enough to come tell you that. I don't think you. Yeah. Sun Tzu says, "Carry yourself in a way where even your enemies respect you." Drew has built himself as my enemy at times. Even he has to respect me and what I do and how I carry myself, and even advocates for me in the face of the Talcadian insane person. So that should tell you something. Thank you, Drew, for your bearing witness and testimony of my greatness versus Talcott's complete ineptness. Realize you're not able to step outside of yourself to realize how insane you sound right now. You sound like a Netflix villain. I find that fascinating. And Drew, your, your observations have been recorded. That reveals your... So it's, what you psych it's psychological projection of me, right? But everything you say, and that's never psychological projection, just everyone else. Well, right? tell you what, Drew, happy to discuss facts. And if you look at things from maybe from my perspective, just maybe try to accept that I'm not wrong in the way I am responding after <clears throat> Drew <Yeah. laughs> has, oh, has all been... Live. Helping me grow, or has he been helping himself grow by mocking me and disrespecting me? To me, as an outside observer, it seems like peanut butter and jelly. Like you guys, there's a synthesis when you guys are together. That's fascinating. Hey, Moose, you're not welcome tonight. Go ahead and have a good evening, brother. Um, that, that's interesting. But here's here's the thing I know, Drew. <clears throat> I've seen how you and Paul exchanged egos, right? You butted heads and tried to show each other which one was bigger and tougher. Me. Well, yeah, and I and I know you've been doing that with me as well. And it seems to be no, I'm I'm just I'm just telling you straight up, like these people aren't gonna tell you that like flying monkeys to you or something. Like I'm an external neutral observer. It seems like you went and got a bigger channel and now it just immediately like went to your head and that's how no. it's coming across. That's how it's coming across, hey. though, I would say. Hey, we're flying. Hey, Drew. Chips, Get it right. Hold it. Yeah. My Drew, hey. you're, you're about to get booted, buddy. <laughs> no, no, actually. Um... Jack, and Max, what Drew was saying on. is 100%. Hold, hey, Max, Max, hold on. Max. I, was all, I was just receiving your immediate assumption and attack and wondering, you know, what the fuck? So I got past that. Let me come back to Drew. Right? Fuck, I forgot what you were saying. Crazy person. 
Well, I know you've got that impression. Oh, you 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 said that you're going to be the one who's not going to be a yes man to me. Well, here, Drew, here's you're an honest man with that outside perspective. I've been making the claim. You know, that's right. Paul was complaining and painting this narrative that I've backbited him and I've gone around. Sean, you've told me 1.5 speed 10 fucking times already. I'm going to do what I want. If you mention it once and I don't do it, you don't have to repeat it. Stop fucking typing it and saying it. You're not my producer. Okay? I don't need to catch up another minute and a half because you have such severe ADHD that you can't just fucking wait. That's where we're at right now. I didn't know if you heard me. My bad. No, no, no. I heard you and saw it. I hear and see everything. You know that. Um, All right, you're good. I was choosing to just hear it. You know what? Here, let's 1.5 for the next minute and a half to catch you up. Then we'll go back to normal speed. I'm blasting his name, calling him a cult. I pointed out the facts that demonstrate cult-like behavior and the patterns that others others have also acknowledged. So, Drew, sorry to be so long-winded. The point is, you might want to consider Paul and his enablers. The fact that I've been yeah. kind of challenging the group dynamic on my own. Um, so if you see a little bit of me standing up for myself today, it's not only because of the little bit that you guys might know. I said... I had some great conversations. There are many things, many things aligning in my life. So you guys can be part of the success or part of the past entertainment. Do <laughs> you think Anton's going to be there for you, though, like after it was over in a week? I don't think it matters. You now Talcott tells us all, you could be part of the past, which is Paul Enslaved, using me as entertainment, or part of the real success with my new black daddy, Anton. This is so great. So Anton, I, I, you know, again, unless Anton's up to something, in which case, if he is, you know, actually trying to be loving and be there for Jack, he'll find out at some point his own way like we all do. Um, you know, if not, I suspect Anton's doing a little pimping and Mac and sending that 10 bucks to Jack and telling him to, you know, he loves him and he's watching. He, he probably was still listening to me before to see what I'd say. He heard me probably say he's going to go on there if at all to get the fire going and put a battery in his back. And Anton's probably on a flight right now, uh, just paid for private Wi-Fi to laugh and giggle at Talcott, say he's going to be successful because of Anton. Even if that's the case, Anton will regret it. Mark my words, just because of the nature of Jack's ethic. I think I think we'll, Jack, I know, we'll have conversations and the truth will decide what happens. I don't have expectations. Maybe, ever, maybe it goes from Paul to Anton to the UN. You know what I mean? Maybe you just maybe. use and discard Anton suit enough once you get to the next step. You know what I mean? Just use him for a little while. Get to the next. Person. Why would you? Hold on. This is what blows me away. Oh, Jay, you, you clearly have nothing to offer. Why would you not want to allow yourself to be used as as support? Well, God's using you. Why don't you, you don't have people, to go right? all the way. I mean, I like going all the way, but besides that, um, you know, God's right. using you. No, I'm just saying. I'm gonna thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna thank you. Have a good night, brother. You got caught it. All right, Jack. What? I didn't. I didn't come up here like challenge you. I just wanted to kind of give you a neutral perspective. I still appreciate you. Hey, Drew. Have, have a good night, man. Drew. Yeah. I'm telling you, if if you allow us to find ways to agree instead of finding disagreements, I'm telling you, there's something incredible going on. I am a man of faith. I'm not deceiving people. I'm not manipulating people. I am genuinely presenting Jack Talcott as Jack. So, for the for the claim that I'm a narcissist because I I'm confident tonight, it seems like a more authentic Jack, a little more rage god in there. It seems a little. That's what I, that was what I was saying to you in the past. Too. Just, we want to see the mask come off like it did tonight. Just, just stay here. Hey, Drew, this is the get. thing. You're projecting, brother. I'm encouraging you. Drop your <laughs> mask. Drop you're your always saying off. everyone's everyone's projecting. Then why aren't you projecting them? That's your like bread and butter. Is, oh, you're just projecting. Hey, them. Drew, may I ask? Please come back tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Let's have that back. conversation, okay? Have a good night. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. God bless. Thank you, brother. Hey, Jack, when Drew comes back tomorrow, is Paul going to be sitting next to you or under you? Ask Paul. Fuck, I don't. I don't know what you're asking. Have a good night, Max. Thank you for joining. Have a John good night. Christos. Yeah, Jack. I mean, have a good night. I don't know what to say, dude. I'm, I'm really at a loss of words here. Well, maybe go back and reflect, consider what you heard, and see what you think. You get to decide what you believe, what you know to be true. I know what I've said. I know what I've offered. What I don't understand is the patterns that I've experienced. So. I'll find someone to work with me eventually, someone who cares about my success rather than their fucking opinions. And Anton seems to be seems to be the type he genuinely cares about success. And I'm not done trying to get a hold of trying to get past the the misunderstanding started with Wes Watson. And I'm working with this other coaching dynamic. So there's a lot of things that are moving in my life. And I will gain the perspectives I'm looking for. Like I said, someone who cares about my success instead of their fucking entertainment. Hey, Sean. I've, I've, you know, I've been meaning to make it a point to 
for weeks now um, offer my help to you. That being said, I'm not necessarily sure what that might look like for you, what it could, what it could look like for you. And I've held it back. Um, well, and now I'm, you know, I'm still in a place of confusion that, you know, just in general, but yeah, what that could look like for you uh, and, 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 and in general, <laughs> I'm in, confu in confusion, confusion, things. So. Respect brother. Um, I'm pretty easily reached. If you don't have it, my number and email are in the private chat. Whenever you feel, you may feel guided, let's explore it. Let's see if there's opportunities. Cause honestly, Sean, you know, there's, I've been learning to trust the energy and trust how I feel and what I see. Okay? I allow what I see to be real. And I see, I saw the light in you, man. You and Chrisos both, you guys are young, <laughs> highly the right light. You're, you're the right energy. And there's a reason all of our paths have crossed. Okay. So you as well, Christos, I'm not, I'm actually going to, so that I make it on time, I'm going to cut you guys off and throw it to the back. So thank you for joining. And Sean, uh, Christos, what I wanted to say is please, the phone number and emails in the private chat as well. So I encourage. Part of what I am realizing, and I've shared this with Paul, he helped me learn how to have fun. Okay. I've been having fun and I've been learning and I've been growing in me. And I'm back to the confidence of me. I'm not arrogant. But I take my life seriously. You should take your life seriously, whoever you might be. Don't take the damn opinion seriously. Don't take the problem seriously. Take your life seriously. And just imagine, make plans, take steps, take actions to discover what you might be. How great can you become? You'll never know until you try. So with that, brothers and sisters, thank you again. Please do the subscribe. And oh yeah, I recognized I had a growth. So thank you for the new subscribers and for those who do join. God bless. Have a beautiful night. Choose love. Peace for everyone and live without fear. Crazy shit, huh? Hello? Hello? Yeah. Good fuck. Christos and Pineal Power are sitting in Jack's room right now. I was about to record the backstage there, but it didn't work out. He ran too fast. So Jack's like shook tonight. He doesn't feel good about what he's done, but he's going to pretend he's in the right and he has the high ground and all the rest of it. Uh, just more nonsense. Yeah, he's in the right, all right. This is mail fraud, right? Funny how a postal worker doesn't know how the postal service works. It's funny how when you go up there to prove him wrong, he shuts you down. And then professes he's telling you the truth. And he just got done shutting somebody down that was telling you the truth. So fuck anybody that wants to support Jack anymore, including you, Paul. Fuck him. You get it? Fuck him. Have a good day. All right. So I don't need to fuck him one way or the other because what's meant to be will be. And there's no amount of, uh, you know, again, the support goes away overnight that I provide because it's just the audience of the people who come here. So once they realize he's a piece of shit who's two faced and backbiting, they just don't go there no more. And they don't, you know. Uh, give him his fix of attention and notoriety. So um, I don't have to do anything one way or the other, right? I'll go over there and hold him accountable and tell him what he needs to hear and he wants to throw me out and move on, go ahead and do it. And then you'll see how the chat looks like. You know, that's the way it always goes. So at the end of the day, it's up to the God of creation and the people to, you know, the court of public opinion. So, um, as I said, I, I, I've said for a while that there's a great movie kind of bizarre story here where Jack actually does get in the room with people and gets to something at some point or become something and then is shown more and is revealed more. So it wouldn't surprise me if that happened for a time. But again, um, you know, it, it doesn't matter if I support him or not. He's so delusional. 
um, and unwilling to accept truth and be accountable that anybody he gets in the room with that talks to him for any amount of time is going to realize that and realize he's a liability. If not, they're going to be deemed a fool. It's not about taking a chance on somebody. I've shown it for six or eight months with him. It's a common pattern. Until he changes it, it's not going to change. So there's a reason his women and children ran off. There's a reason he says he hasn't had any relationships in five years. Nobody will talk to him, and he gets nothing but disagreements because it's his way or no way. He's like a belligerent child. Um, and again, he showed it. He, all he did was prove to Anton who and what he is. You think Anton's going to watch that and say, as he puts it, we're together and supposedly riding as soon as the shit got choppy or as soon as he thought he could use Anton for his success, he's going to say, fuck me and move on. The only reason, this is the point. A man is just a man, right? Anton or anybody. The only reason they're even going to talk to me or respect me, just like I would with them and the other way around, is if they do what the fuck they say and show that they have integrity and honorability. That's the only way you get respect completely. So, you know, I didn't say that tonight after he did what he did and been doing it. I never say that, that I'm out with him. He constantly says he's done with me, over with me, because he's got other options to explore and other people he's going to star fucking network with. As soon as he thinks he's going to get power, his back's against the wall, he fucking jettisons me like them rocket boosters, you know? And I just keep being there and going, okay, Talcott, like a child, go ahead and do it again, do it again, do it again until you learn. You know, I have no feeling about it one way or the other. It's a bizarre experience to be part of and watch unfold. And I'm sure Anton is just like me because he was literally like going through what he does today. And I'm sitting there going, fuck, I want to argue with this guy. Fuck, I want to call him a bitch and a hoe. And he's going down the list of all things that I say constantly. And he moves how I move. And I'm like, so now I'm more like Anton than like Talcott or a lot of people around here. So what do I do about that? Right. So then I go, odds are Anton's like going to research a little bit about this dynamic. He's going to figure out the power dynamics and he's going to start to feed all sides of it to watch how it expresses. Right. Because he's probably a lot like me. He gets a kick out of sitting on his plane or whatever and watching Talcott think he's going to be the next Bill Gates. Right. And watch him throw everybody under the bus and get power hungry and crazy. And it's, a, you know, fascinating thing to behold and observe about the human condition, the ego, right? Um, just like I'm sure part of what he was doing here today was testing me and taking my temperature, seeing how quick I'll fold, seeing how quick I'll suck black dick like Talcott and Scott. And I don't do it. I say, hey, bro, we could work together. We could move in certain ways on certain levels and certain things um, when it comes to the content and the broadcast. But I ain't, you know, just going to start fucking here, do this, do that, have this. I, I don't move that way. For me, I do that for me. So it's not even about a tough guy thing. The only way a man would respect a man is if you were like that. If you came in the room and said, no, nah, I'm not changing really anything I do and who and what I am. I'm on a moving train here. That's why you're here. What up, Christos? Sa thank you, sir. Same thing he would tell me or anyone else would tell me who feels successful or is going to be successful. Um, get yourself some rest. You don't need rehash. Uh, okay. So, yeah, let's get some final words and get the hell out of here. How the fuck did you hear me in the back chat? What? All right. Thanks for having me, Paul. It's fucking insane, dude. Crazy. But uh, man, good shit. Thanks for, thanks for everything you do, Paul. See you guys later. Salute. Love right, chat. Love you guys. Here. All right. Bye, bye, bye. I don't know, uh, Paul, I'll jump here. Uh, I only caught a bit of the day, but I've loved what I've gotten. And uh, kind of, we all learn and grow and time heals all wounds. And I'm pretty sure fucking Talcott is a flip flopper. And I'm sure we'll all be good again. Um, he's going to learn his lesson like uh, Laguna, like Moose. Uh, all these things where we say, hey, advice, and he won't take it. And uh, he's going to get burned and he'll be back and then we'll all be a happy family again. I love everybody. Thank you, Mr. Hardhat. There's a good possibility, uh, but not before Jack Talcott sees immense fame and wealth and um, networking. Because uh, he's on a train here. You know, he's seen bigger and better and more wealthy and he's on it. He needs someone who cares about his success, like he says. Not just me, you know. I didn't do that. So final words, please. Right. Somebody who's invested in it, uh, in the, well, maybe not necessarily the long game, maybe just a 
one lump sum type of way, you know, or just, you know, maybe in the form of a very large cash donation all at once, as opposed to a long game investment. Like some people might say, uh, certain people have invested into him. I don't know, man. The truth will prevail in in time. How long that that might take is a whole nother story entirely. Uh, but you know, I don't know, man. I'm I'm in my confusion. I got to get out of my own imagination. So I I appreciate you, dude, and what you're doing. I hope you realize so many people recognize that and wouldn't be here for this long had if it wasn't for that. Uh, so, uh, you know, I could say a lot more, but I'll, I'll leave it there. I'll let you get off this fucking screen, myself included. So I appreciate you, man. Have a good night, and I'll see you to- probably tomorrow. Take care. All right, we'll see you later, Sean. Go ahead, number six. All right, I'm out of here, folks. Another one of the books, um, rather eventful the past few days. So we'll see how it plays out long term. Like I say, long game. Stay true to yourself. Uh, don't sell out your soul and your principles. Keep your freedom and your personal choice. Stay inspired, empowered, co-creative. Stay peaceful, uh, but understand uh, those who make peaceful resolution impossible make violent revolution inevitable. Um, and but what I mean by that metaphysically is there's some people you can't teach. There's some people you can't love. There's some people you can't connect yourself with on all levels. You can't merge with, man, because they'll fuck it up. So um, we'll work on that. We'll work on getting better at that and be on a path to success. And Anton is going to be everyone's new life coach. So we're excited to see how Anton Jack's new daddy handles this task. Um, it's going to be great. All right, I'm out of here. Uh, thank you, uh, brothers and sisters. Much love. <laughs>